Nine years ago, I began playing GTA 5. You can become anyone you want. A police officer, soldier, medic, sea monster, even the owner of a prison. I've done a lot of things and played as a lot of people. And 3,000 videos later, I'm finally able to make a movie. I've been rich, I've been poor, I've been a kid, and I've been the strongest man in GTA 5. The list goes on and gets pretty crazy. I once played as a giant robot the size of skyscrapers with laser eyes and rocket boosting feet. My favorite was the undercover police officer with the objective of taking down and sabotaging an organization. Anyway, sit back, relax, grab your popcorn and your soda, smash like, subscribe, and enjoy the movie. <sighs> Rise and shine, buddy. Oh, what a sleep. That was terrible, guys. It was raining all night. It was windy. It was cold. Wait, the sun hasn't even come up. Oh, man. What is it we have to do now? My back hurts as well, guys. This was a terrible night. Oh. Hey, guys, can you give us some support and press like on this video? We're playing as the poor kid in GTA 5. We're gonna need all the support we can get, especially when we're sleeping on stuff like this. I mean, look at it. Okay, buddy. No time slacking around. Let's get off the bed and I'm ready for the day. No shower, no breakfast. Actually, what is for breakfast? Is there any? What are they? Dude, they're tiny. Th that's like the size of a shreddy. <sighs> Okay, this is gonna be our breakfast. I'm not looking forward to this day, guys. What's that bucket for? You need me to collect some water? Fine, I will take the bucket with me. All right, let's go. Oh, watch out for the fire. <laughs> Don't walk in the fire, buddy. Not a good idea. Well, this is us. Welcome to the video. My name is Ben, and we are playing as the poorest kid in GTA 5, and I am not looking forward to the day. We have to cross the train track. Are you kidding me? Like, <laughs> no one would allow their kid to do this. Okay, let's go and get some water. We've collected the water, and now we're having a wash in the the alarm OC. Oh my days, I can't believe this. This is great. <laughs> We don't have a shower or a bath. This is the only way we can wash. Guys, we gotta help him out, dude. All right, don't forget the bucket and let's go back to the base. Hey, I've got your water. Enjoy. <laughs> Probably shouldn't have done that, actually. Well, this car's seen better days. Look at the radio. What happened to it? We can't even listen to music. And it's literally falling apart, dude. Oh, man. Guys, I couldn't make this up. The car can only drive at like three miles an hour. I could walk faster than this. This is not efficient. So what is it we do exactly? I, I need to check this out. This is Trevor's airfield, guys, and we work in this junkyard flywheels garage. <laughs> It doesn't look very good, to be honest. This is actually terrible. I want to see what use I have here. Is this our back area? Yeah, this is our back area. We literally work on Trevor's land. This is crazy. <laughs> oh, we got a port loo How nice of them. We actually have a toilet. Oh, here we go. He's already working. Nice. So we're just fixing up these two cars. They don't really look too expensive, to be honest. How much do you reckon we'll make when we sell them? Oh, he's asking me to do stuff. What do you need? Hammer? Okay, hammer. Hammer. Where's the hammer? Where's the hammer? Where's the uh, hammer? Oh, in, in the red box, of course. Hammer, can we see? I don't see a hammer in there. Where's the hammer, dude? Oh, hang on. Is it? Okay, it's in this room. He's telling me it's in this room. Got it. Oh, here we go. Spanner, hammer, wrench. Excuse me. I've got your hammer. Here you go. Enjoy. Uh, how do I just, just throw it? <laughs> Jeez. Careful there, buddy. I think we make quite a good partner, guys. We're doing pretty well. Now, all we need to do is fix up this car and you want me to get some... Where do I get the water from? The Alamo Sea? Are you kidding me? I'm not doing that. That's so far away. Okay, you know what, guys? I'm doing what I, I never should do, but I, I'm running away. I'm getting out of here. I'm taking his car and we're going. I'm so getting fired for doing this. <laughs> Oh my days, guys. We're not going back there at all. I'm starting a new life as the poorest kid in GTA 5. I am determined to live this around and not be the poorest kid. We can do this. We can do, <laughs> we can do this. Whoa, whoa, jeez. Oh my day. Hey, buddy, I'm a kid. I'm a kid. I'm a kid. I'm a kid. You can't pull me out the car. You just can't do it, okay? Don't go near me. <laughs> okay, I got, I, I got, I got to get to the city. We need to find work. Uh, we, you, we still got to Los Santos, which is what matters. The car didn't quite make it, though. It's, uh... It wasn't our fault. It wasn't our fault. Okay. Right, let's carry on. Uh, I am quite hungry, to be honest. That was a very long journey. Hey, this is so cool. I'm on a little trip to Los Santos. <laughs> Can I cross? Am I allowed to cross? Yeah, this guy's waiting for me. I think we'll be fine. These guys are crossing as well. Fantastic. All right, clucking bell, clucking bell. Oh, we're gonna get so much chicken. <laughs> Is it closed? It's not even open. Oh, come on. Man, I was so looking forward to clocking bell. I was gonna get a bucket of chicken. It was gonna be amazing. Oh, my days. Well, there's gotta be somewhere else I can eat. Is that a hot dog stand? That's a hot dog stand I can see. Perfect. I'll go down there, guys. We'll grab a hot dog. Not my preferred choice, but it's food at the end of the day, and I am starving. And the only thing I ate was three tiny fishes this morning. <laughs> How much are hot dogs? Uh, $5, $5, $2, $1 for a soda. I don't want a soda. 
soda. Okay, we can really do a hot dog. That's $5. I'm gonna pretend that, you know, I just really, well, I do need food. Excuse me, sir. I haven't got $5, but I can give you, um, a button from my shirt, please. That's all I have. I have a ripped piece of paper in my pocket as well, and... Uh, <laughs> Okay, I don't want to give you this, but I do have a bracelet as well, which I've been keeping for the past three years. Come back when I've got- Oh, come on, dude. I don't have any real money. You know what? Just for that, I'm gonna take uh, this hot dog. You snooze, you lose, mister. <laughs> I've got a hot dog. Yay. I have food. Oh, wait, he's telling me to come back. No, no chance, buddy. No chance. <laughs> All right, I gotta find somewhere quiet to eat this. Oh no, he called the police on me. I've got one star. I can't afford to go back. And they can't send me back home. I'm in Los Angeles, city of dreams. <laughs> hide in the building site. Yeah, this will be a perfect hiding spot. Uh, okay, run around here. Nice. If we hide, like here, this will be good. This will be good. Okay, I think we'll lose the ones of level in here. In the meantime, I got a hot dog to eat. <laughs> nom, 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 nom. Well, that wasn't very fun. I don't want to lose the police every time I need food. We need to make money. I need a job. What if we can get into the Los Santos school? Ooh, that's gotta be a good idea, right? Maybe if they take me in, we can get free food for the duration of school. That's fantastic. Let's see if they will take me in. Aha, the Los Santos school. Yes, this will be the place. This will be the place we make it, guys. We go into school, enroll in a few classes, and then by the time we leave, we'll be able to get a job to make us one of the richest kids in the world. Yes, that's a great plan. <laughs> All right, we just gotta put on our, our sad face and keep our fingers crossed they'll accept me. So where do we go? Is it through? Whoa, oh my days, you can sleep here as well? This is awesome. Oh my days, they could take me in. Are there any spare rooms? Uh, not in that one. That's the kitchen. Oh man, all of the rooms are taken. Maybe they got spare rooms elsewhere. Uh, everyone seems a bit older than me, to be honest. I'm kind of nervous, guys. What do we have through? Is this one of the classes? Is this what school looks like? Everyone looks so old. There's gotta be classes for me. There has to be something. Oh, who's this person? She's speaking to me. Hello? Uh, what are you doing? No, you can't call my parents! What do you mean? They're... <laughs> I'm not telling you where they are, actually. Can I come to school here in five years' time? Come on! I thought this was school for kids! Oh, man! Okay, guys, we can't go to school. No! No, I'm getting out of here, quick! Run before she comes after me! <laughs> we can't afford to go back home. He's gonna be so angry! I took his car and crashed the car! No way are we going back there, guys. We've committed. Think about it. We can't go to school, and we can't buy food. We can't afford to get a wanted level. There's gotta be things we can do. I've got an idea. This car looks drivable. It's similar to the last one. I'm gonna grab this and sell it at the nearest garage. That should give us some money. We'll be fine. Just drive this to the nearest garage. Why are they running away? Why? What's up with you guys? Why is... Did they see me? Did they just... Let's keep on driving. Everything's cool. We're gonna sell this and we're gonna get some cash. Come back in nine years. What? You serious? <laughs> it just told me... To... You can't tell me that. It won't accept the car because I'm not old enough to drive. <laughs> Come on! Okay, that idea is out the window. We gotta find another way to make money. A doobie doobie. Hey guys, come on, can someone give me a penny or anything? I need some money. <laughs> I have no money here, guys. Look, it's a kid dancing. Are you guys blind? Come on. Oh, this guy. Maybe he'll give me some money. Don't just look at me. Come on. What's up with you guys? Something, anything. Okay, maybe if we do this for 10 minutes longer, we will get some money. All I need is a dollar and that's enough for a, a soda. I mean, that will that will get us something at least. What about this guy? Come on, buddy. I see you in the shirt. Come on, walk past me. Give me some money. Give me. Come on, look at me dancing. Look at us go. <laughs> We're tap dancing. No one's giving me money. I even like. I did like a kick. You know, I'm tapping the heels and it. What is this guy doing? Guys, no one's giving me money. This is really annoying. Please, anything? Oh, guys, I've only made $2. Oh, yes, we have somebody. Wait, you want to give me a job? Oh, this sounds exciting. All right, what's the job? He needs help on the junkyard. <laughs> Yes! How much does it pay? $25? You know what, guys? This is perfect. I fixed cars in Sandy Shores. Well, I, I helped. I carried items to the cars. This sounds perfect. Okay, I'll be there right now. Let's go. So this is the spot, and we're going to be working here for a while. Nice. Okay, I think we can do this. <laughs> we got our first job, guys. You know what? This has been a success. I'm glad I left Sandy Shores. $25 a day is way better than what we were earning over there. All right, let's get started. What are we going to be doing? 
Right, press E to start working. All right, we can do that. Go to the first car. I can see it. We got the spanner. Okay, Uh, so this is the car. And do we just... We repair the car. Okay, we're repairing cars now. Is that a truck? You're asking me to repair a truck? Oh, my days. We're getting so much experience in. All right, repair the truck. You got this, dude. Uh, nice. We just got to unclog the grill and uh, twist that thing. Car fixed successfully. Go to the third car located on the map. This is awesome. He's doing great, guys. <laughs> if this is what we have to do for $25, then we have hit the dream job. Fixing the car. And we fix this one. You got it, dude. It looks a bit rusty, but I'm sure you can fix the engine. Fix successfully. All right, go to the fourth car. There's another one. There's another one. How many cars do we have to get? <laughs> All right, let's get this. Da -da -da. Give me one second. Just changing the wheel and we're good. Yes, collect my paycheck from the office. That was easy, guys. <laughs> we fixed four different cars and we get to work here every single day. Within a week, we're going to earn $175. That's awesome. We can literally buy an Xbox for that, guys. We can buy a PlayStation. <laughs> All right, receive my paycheck. Paycheck received. See you tomorrow. Thank you very much. Guys, I just got myself $25. <laughs> oh, wait. I do have a problem, though. Where are we going to sleep? Yeah, maybe I will sleep over here. There's a container here. It looks perfect. Yeah, I think we'll take shelter here, guys. And we'll be here tomorrow, the next day, and the day after until we finally earn enough money to move on and get a better job. Yeah, guys, do you smell that? Chop's kennel hasn't been cleaned out for weeks. There is so much poop everywhere, and Franklin has not been bothered to clean this thing out. Franklin, come on, man. I have literally got to sleep in this. Guys, I'm playing as Chop today because life hasn't been very good to him. Every single time I try and get Franklin's attention, he always tells me to leave. Let me show you what happens. All right, I'm just going to try and go inside Franklin's house, tell him about the poop situation outside. Franklin, get out of my house. See, he kicks me out of the house. I don't even know how he knows I'm inside, but he doesn't want me in there. Franklin is a terrible owner. I don't know what everyone else says, but he's terrible. He hasn't looked after Chop for weeks. I'm starving hungry and... What's that coming from upstairs? Guys, I can smell and hear something. Sounds like a party. Is Franklin having a party tonight? That means he's got to clean out the kennel and get rid of those flies. Oh, I'm so hungry, dude. Oh, what's going on up here? Whoa, this has nothing to do with Franklin. What you looking for? I got a gold bone for you at home. Let's go. A golden bone? What? Hey, guys, take me with you. I got to join them. Sounds like a party with them. I'm going to go now. Don't make any friends with these guys. They're poor. No. Oh, come on, take me with you. I'm not poor. I, I can be anything. Oh, my days. Guys, I gotta find out where they live. They're the richest family I've ever seen in GTA 5, and I gotta find them. Smell their car. I'm sure you can find their scent. Yes, Chop's barking. He's picked up the scent. Let's go to their house right now. Now, according to my scent, the house should be here. Wow, this is a really nice house. 1954. Okay, guys, this is kind of far away from Franklin's house. We've gone really far. I'm at the other side of the map. Let me just see if the car's over there. Yes, it is, guys. I recognize that one. That was the one outside my house. So this must be where they live. Wow, this is a crazy party. <laughs> Franklin would never do anything like this. Hey, come on, let's go and explore. Maybe we can, like, sneak in and join their family. These guys seem super rich and I want to be a part of that family. At least then they'll take care of me and look after Chop and, you know, clean the kennel once in a while. Wouldn't hurt to do that, Franklin. Wow, they even have guards on the door. Uh, mister, I'm with the party. Thank you. I'm inside the house and this place looks amazing. They're even dancing on the inside. Look at this guy. He's loving life. This place is good vibes only. I love it, dude. They got bodyguards in here. Okay, we don't want to get on the wrong side of them. Let's just pretend we belong at the party. There's so how many people here? No one will notice we even exist. Oh my days. Okay, this is a really crazy party. <laughs> I really want to join this family. And hold on, there's dogs down here as well. Check it out. That's one of the dogs I saw in the car. Wow. <laughs> this guy owns so many dogs. I think we're going to fit just right in over here, Chop. This place is awesome. I don't want to leave. Now I got to find somewhere to sleep and also plenty of food. I'm getting kind of hungry and I can begin to hear Chop's stomach. Hey, you. What are you doing? Yeah. Oh, no. I think I've been spotted. Uh, hey, mister. You're the guy from the car. Uh, are you looking for an extra dog? I I'm really good help, you know? I would love to join your family. You seem way cooler than Franklin. You're from that poor family, aren't you? I remember your face. Get out of my house. I'm the richest man in the world, and you don't belong here. Well, you can't do that. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm an awesome dog. Come on, everyone loves Chop. Oh, fine. Whatever, mister. I'll get out of your house. Oh, man, do I even want to live with this guy? 
mind if he's just gonna judge me all the time and have a really shallow personality, then I don't really want to be in this house anyway. But he is the richest man in the world. I mean, we could get golden bones, we could be fed whatever we want, and we can do whatever we want. Guys, I've decided. I want to join this family. Life will be so much easier if I could be a part of these guys. Maybe if we get this video to 20,000 likes, that'll get me on his good side. I mean, after all, that's the best thing you can do. Smash like on the video. Now the coast is clear, I can get my revenge on this awful human. Hold on a minute. I think this guy's trying to break into one of his cars and steal the car. That's not cool. Isn't he the valet guy? Aren't you meant to have the keys? Well, mister, I don't think that car belongs to you. I think that belongs to the richest man in the world. Quick, job, get him before he does anything else. Get down, buddy. You're not stealing this person's car. It's not yours. Quick, bark really loudly so we get his attention. Hey, mister, this guy was going to steal your car. See, I stopped him. Wow, maybe you're a good dog after all. I lost my glasses in the garden find them, and I might let you join my family. Yes, I finally got on his good side. Well, mister, it didn't end well for you. Now, I gotta find this guy's glasses, because once I do, he might let me join his family. Could you imagine? Okay, Job, let's take a look around this place. We're looking for some glasses, remember? What about in the helipad? I mean, this guy would have come down this helicopter and maybe dropped his glasses as he left. Uh, I don't see any glasses here, though. What about around the other side? Any glasses here? Man, no glasses. You know what sucks when you lose your glasses is you can't find them because you've lost your glasses. Good job, we've got 20 out of 20 vision shop. <laughs> we'll find these glasses in no time. What about on the other helipad? This guy has two helipads. Mm, I don't see any glasses on this one either. They must be in the garden. And now everybody's gone home, it's gonna be so much easier searching the place. Glasses, huh? Glasses, where would they be? If you guys see his glasses, I need you to shout as loud as you can. Trust me, I can hear. No, louder than that. Okay, let's see. Where could these glasses be? I mean, all I can smell are leftover sausages and burgers. That's what's taking my stomach. What about down here? <laughs> That's one way to fool. Very graciously chop. I don't see any glasses down here, guys. Okay, I'm going back up the staircase. Any glasses around here? Wait, what's that? Did someone scream? Let's take a look around here, chop. Anything? Anything? Glasses? Oh, hold on. I found them. There they are. There's his glasses. Thanks, guys. You really helped me find them. Now I've got his glasses. He's going to let me join his family once and for all. <laughs> go, chop, go. Excuse me, mister. Excuse me, buddy. I got your glasses. See? Here they are. Good dog. But you haven't won me yet. Follow me. I want to show you something. Okay, mister. Whatever you say. Let's get in the car, Chop. Welcome to my office. I like money, but so does my competition. Find a way to disrupt them, and I'll let you join my family. Oh, wow. This is his office. Whoa, there's so much money everywhere. Hey, buddy, do you have any dog food? I mean, that's really what I wanted. I just wanted a nice meal today. How am I supposed to eat this stuff? Speaking of competition, though, we're actually trying to overtake the rock. So if you want to help us do that, subscribe to the channel now. We're getting really clocks. Ooh, this must be the competition's office. All right, there's no one at the reception desk. I think there's some conversation happening through here, guys. Let's go and check this out. There is so much money on the floor. Wow, this guy really is competition. <laughs> hey, who let the dogs out? Oh, no, he's already spotted me. Well, in that case, let's just cause some disruption, shall we? Is this guy scared of dogs? Let's find out. <laughs> get him, Chop, get him. Screw you, buddy. All right, that should have disrupted the competition. Why are these guys just chill? Did you not like the boss or something? <laughs> What's going on with these guys? Beautiful. <laughs> Now he really disrupted the competition. Now I've done this, he has no choice but to let me join him. I mean, I've literally taken out everyone in the office and set the place on fire. I don't know about you guys, but I have a feeling Amanda's gonna be fired the next day. I mean, where was she? If she was here, maybe she would have died as well. <laughs> Good job she wasn't. Hey boss, the competition in Mace Bank? Yeah, something tells me they're not competition anymore. Let's just say they're a little bit disrupted. Tonight, you stay with us, but you're not part of my family yet. Really? What do I have to do to join your family? I set the whole building on fire just for you. You can sleep anywhere in the garden. And if you want any food, come inside. I'm cooking lasagna tonight. Lasagna? I'm definitely going inside for that. I want lasagna right now. Well, these guys must be my friends. Hey, were you guys adopted as well? Or were you like born here? I mean, how does that kind of work? You're all different. <laughs> guys, I'm so glad to be part of your family. And hello, check it out, guys. There's a girl Rottweiler right here. Hello. Oh, oh, I would love to get to know you. Anyway, let's go and like find somewhere to sleep and maybe I can make friends with them 
a little bit later on. This is going so well. It looks like at this rate, he might actually adopt me into his family. Anyway, I think I'm gonna sleep right about here so I can smell the lasagna and I can dip in the water if I get too hot. Ugh, I could get used to this. I'm living in the garden of the richest man in the world and wait, I remember you. She wants to talk to me. Hey, listen, as both Wattweilers, we should definitely stick together, you know? Who needs Franklin after all, guys? Chop's made a friend here. Yeah. Ow, jeez, she pushed me off the edge. Wait, what do you guys want? You're the dogs from earlier. Oh no, guys, they're barking at me. I don't think they like me here. Guys, please leave me alone. I don't want any trouble. I just wanted to join this family like you guys. Why don't they like me? Let's just walk around here. I'm gonna leave you guys. Ah! Guys, I've fallen down into a hole. Wait, what's going on? This can't be. Come on, I gotta find a way out. Guys, they buried me. They're putting me in a hole. Hey, guys, I think there's been a mistake. You didn't mean to do this, right? Why are you standing on the edge? Can someone please get me out of here? It's getting taller, guys. Are you trying to bury me? Guys, I think they're trying to bury me. No, don't do this. I just got here. I've been completely buried underground. Chop, we need to find a way out. No one's gonna know we're down here. I'm underneath the garden. Hello? Hello, is anyone there? Come on, dude. I can't believe they did that after everything and now i'm buried in the garden yeah finally fresh air guys i didn't think i was gonna make that but we just managed to make it out alive please someone's gotta help me he's here amazing i'm so sorry they did this i'm dismissing all of my dogs and just keeping you it's okay man it wasn't your fault but screw you guys that's what you get for being evil we could have all shared this place but now it's just me thank you so much mister i didn't think i would make it out alive but now it's just me around here i get to enjoy the life of the richest family in GTA 5 without anyone to share that with. Where are you going? I gotta show you something. We're moving. Moving? But I was just getting used to this place. You even have a waterfall here. Guys, I think he wants to move somewhere. Well, let's see where he wants to go. What? I get to live up here? This is above Franklin's house. <laughs> Hey, Franklin, check this out, dude. I'm now living in the sky. Wow, he really is the richest man in the world. No one has a house like this. That is a massive swimming pool. And speaking about that, check out the blades, dude. <laughs> I would not want to walk into them. Anyway, let's check out the inside of this house. I haven't been inside yet, and wow, it is so spacious. I get to sleep indoors, outdoors. There's a monkey on the toilet. Okay, let's not go in there. What is going on, dude? This is so weird. I've just realized there's monkeys everywhere. Do I really get to share? this place with them? I mean, this is gonna be really fun. So this is where he sleeps. I think I will stay up here, guys. There's a hot tub. This is where the owner sleeps. No one's gonna try any funny business up here. <laughs> anyway, Chop, we have officially joined the richest family in GTA 5, and I am so happy to be here. There's a man named Tony in Los Santos, and make no mistake, he's the most dangerous individual you're ever going to meet. He's the boss of a mob, and we tried to arrest him 17 times, including the underbosses, his right-hand men, Ricky and Tommy. Every single time we arrested them, our evidence never seems to stick, and they wriggle straight out of my hands. We're dealing with the most dangerous people in the entire world, and there's no way of getting them other than joining the mob ourselves and going undercover. If they even catch a suspicion, we're being fed to the pigs, and I don't want that to happen, guys. Can we get Michael some support? Smash like just below, and let's see if we can get this to 11,000 likes. If we do, hang on a second. Oh no. Guys, I think the station's under attack. That's the mob. That's Tony we're talking about. He knows we're onto him. The information we've collected has pointed the opposite operational activity to this house, guys. And it's a big house. It's a nice house. And there we go. We can enroll right there, dude. This looks like mob material to me. Ooh, all right. <laughs> Here we go. There is no going back. Can we enroll? Will they let me in? Please. Press E to start working for the mob. I can't believe this. We've just enrolled in the mob. <laughs> Michael, this is super dangerous. Everyone's staring at me. Hey, look how crazy this is. They just got parties going on all the time. So everyone here is associated to the mob one way or another. Do I recognize anyone? We know Ricky and Tommy. They're not here, guys. No Ricky, no Tommy. I don't know anyone here. Get photos of those two. I'm gonna get a photo of this guy. They got a husky. You got a husky here? Dude, photo of that guy. I'm send them straight back to the station, guys. All right, guards taken. Everyone in the camera is getting sent back. All right, there we go. Everyone's been... Hang on. I think I've been given a text. Press E to start job. Reward $6,632. Look for the guy. Who's the guy? We're looking for the guy. Do you see him? He may be here somewhere. 6,000. Is this the boss? Come on. Come on, dude. I'm after the boss. There he is. Wait, where, 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 where? Hang on. Where? Where is he? I gotta catch him. Guys, I gotta catch somebody. There's a red dot. There he is. I can see him. I can see him. Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Don't let him escape. Maybe this guy can lead me to the boss. Michael, this is not good driving. <laughs> come on. Come on. He's on a bike. I'm in a car. I'm in a car. 
car, dude. <sighs> Matt, slow down. <laughs> this car is not meant... Wait, where's he gone? What did you do that for? He's, he's left the bike. Come on, dude. He's not... Oh, my days. Where is he? Where did he go? Dude, this is my first job for the, for the mob. If I fail the job, they're not gonna... Oh, my days. Guys, I... Wow, I failed the job. He escaped. Are you serious? No! Guys! I've got another job. Press E to... Yeah, I'll do it. What's the deal with this one, then? $28,000 reward? Are you kidding me? All right, tell me. What is it I gotta do? $28,000. I can... Go to the loading area. All right, we can do that. Wait until it's... Okay, I gotta wait until everything's on the truck. One second. I'm just gonna get another photo. Oh, my days. They're loading it on right now, dude. <laughs> Hang on, who's that guy? He looks like a, the guy in the suit looks pretty important. Anyone else? There's that guy in the truck. Let me just get a photo of him. All right, nice. Nice. There's a photo of everybody. All right, I'm going to sit back in the car and wait until everything is on the truck. Everything's in. Close up the truck. Escort the truck to the destination. Oh, my days, dude. They <laughs> can't even alert the police. Oh, oh, I thought they were coming on to me. Guys, they're just getting in my car. This is... Oh. This is so tense. Hey, buddy, you're driving like a maniac. Way to draw attention to yourself. Hang on, we're about to arrive. Down this road is the drop-off point. Where are we dropping this off to? This is just a road. Is this where we're dropping it off? Come on. Wait for the buyers to bring... Hang on a second. What? Is this where we're... Yo, this is the middle of the road. <laughs> well, I guess nobody would suspect that. Oh, yeah, hang on. I can see the buyers, guys. Can you see that? That dot on my radar? There they are. I can see them. Oh, my days. We might have just done our first job for the bot. We, we, guys, we've done our first job for the for the mob. Hey, they don't know how to drive too well. <laughs> Quick, get in the truck, guys. Get in the truck now. This is the truck. It's all yours, buddy. Get out of here. Go. And there they go. Job done. Nice one. I need more evidence on them, guys. I've got a little bit, but not enough to lock them away for a long time. Go to the hideout and get the boys. Who are the boys? Guys, we got like a group of people with us today. <laughs> yeah. All right. Oh, my days. Hold up. There's a lot of you. What have you done? Are they tattoos? What is up with your face? Go to Marabunta Grande neighborhood. What's your business there? Well, you know what? No questions. Let's take him there. Oh, no. This is where Lester lives. Am I about to- what? Well, hang on a second. I, I ain't getting anyone. I ain't doing- hang on. Hang on a second, guys. Find the case. This is opposite Lester's house. We've just entered into another guy's territory. Oh, gosh. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, they're down. Where's the case? Where's the case? Oh, no. One of the boys is down. Another one's down. Are you serious? No. 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 Guys. Two of the boys are already down. They've ditched me. They've literally ditched me. I'm- oh, my days. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me right now? Speak about respect in the mob. They ditched me. Got the case. It's fine. Case secured. Bring the loot to the house. It's not the hideout, dude. We know where it is. <laughs> Come on. Lester, why do you live in this area? Jeez. All right, one boy. Oh, my days. Two of the boys are down. Where did the third guy go? Can we rescue him? Oh, gosh. There's another guy left. I'm getting him. Look, I don't actually work for them, but I know you're all bad people. All right, that's how I'm justifying this. Where did he go? He left me. Come on. I can't even take him in. Hang on. There's one left. Where? There he is. Well, now all of them are dead. All of them are done. Well done, Michael. Well done. <laughs> Where's he gone? Where did you go? The boss ain't gonna be happy about that. You call yourself an underboss and you run away from battle. <sighs> That's the worst thing you could have done. I think I've gathered just enough information on everyone to understand that you're all pretty bad people. <laughs> All right, who am I talking? This guy. Hang on. Is he the boss? Who is he? He looks rather important. Everyone is walking. Oh, my days, dude. Who is this guy? Hang on a second. I think, guys, I might have just found the boss. I'm going to get a photo of him. You want to get a selfie? I'm going to get a selfie with him. Let's get a selfie. So it doesn't look too suspicious. Hey, do you know about this new selfie trend? I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> photo done. He's giving me the evils. He really is giving me the evils, dude. So I found the boss. I found several underbosses. Some dead, some alive. I need information to pinpoint him, though. He hasn't done anything wrong wrong yet. He just lives at this house. What's the next job? $9,000 reward. There's something waiting for me outside. Enter the stretch and wait. Another underboss mission? Are you serious? Unless he's really into his movies, this cinema is associated to the mob one way or another. That's good news. I can send that back to the police and they can begin questioning. All right, Michael, just, uh, can we jam some music? What's the bass like in this? Oh, pretty weak. That's what that's... Man, the bass don't slap. <laughs> oh, my days. All right, you know what? This is fine. Cool. You enjoy doing your business. I don't even need to get photos of him. We know what he does, guys. Can I get photos in the car? Is that possible? Can we get like selfies in here? <gasps> I can. Oh my days. Okay, I'm gonna back this up. We're gonna flip this round and he's not gonna know a thing. <laughs> he won't even realize I flipped this thing round. Da -da 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 -da. I mean, we may as well get another photo if we can. And I don't want to make him feel too suspicious. Like, why is this guy taking all these photos? Here he is. Done. Man, I'm really interested. What do you reckon they're talking about in there? 
It could be anything, dude. Nice one, Michael. You've done well. Come on. I need evidence on the boss. He needs to be there for something. Anything. Literally anything. We just need evidence. Here we go. Another job. Go there and get it over with? What are you telling me to do? Oh my days. Guys, I'm crossing a line here. What has he done? I bet he was an undercover agent. Or maybe he... You know what? Let's just go there and see if we can work something out. I am an undercover officer, after all. Listen, guys, I know it's been an awful day. I will do this for you. Don't worry. You can go. You can get out of here. I will finish with this guy. Oh, no. He's... Oh, mate. He's, he's really... He's not enjoying this. Don't worry. I can sort him. It's fine. Um, you go. <laughs> you don't need to see this. Who needs to see this? Come on. Get out of here, guys. You can go. Oh, no. Don't think I'm letting you go, buddy. I gotta figure out what to do with you. I can't let you go. So I'm gonna have to take you hostage for a second. Now, let me just think. How are we gonna sort this? I know what I'm gonna do. I'm taking him to the station, guys. We're doing a little detour. Oh, man, I need to get this guy to the station quickly before they catch on. This is getting really tense. <laughs> this is horrible. I need to get to the hideout now. Get out the car. You're going in. Follow me. They'll guide you to a cell. All we need is information. You give him information on everything you know, and you're gonna be fine. No, don't tell me you can't do this. Last time I remember, you were underneath the pier with two guys behind you telling me to take you out. So don't say you can't do this. It's this or nothing, buddy. Now get out of my sight. Thirty. $5,000 reward, and I've got the boys again. Guys, last time I took the boys anywhere, didn't end too well. I'm taking this mission with a pinch of salt. Everyone knows we have arrived. <laughs> Whoa, get the case. Looks like some unfinished business happened over here. Hang on. All right, one second, guys. <laughs> Give me a second quickly. Jeez, there's so many of them. Dude, come on, do something. The boys, do something. Guys, I think I started this one a little bit too early. All right, they're all down. Anyone left? There's the case, there's the case, there's the case. All right, come on, get the rest. He's down. Another one down. Who are these guys? Why do you have so many enemies, dude? Okay. Well, I'm just gonna grab the case. There's the case. I'll just be taking this. Thank you. Case collected. Bring the loot to the hideout. One second. I'm just gonna get a photo. With this photo down, if we get to meet the boss, that's gonna be enough evidence for us to pin two and two together. And then he will finally be put behind bars. It's difficult catching the boss, you know. He really hides his tracks quite well. Hang on. There he is, guys. There's the boss, man. <laughs> Alright. One second, guys. Once I give him the paperwork, that's enough evidence to put him behind bars. And he has no idea about this. Come on, Michael. Just a few more steps. Here you go, boss. Got your briefcase for you. You enjoy. Here we go. I've been given a job. Now we finally get to arrest people one by one. $8,000. Look for the guy. Well, my days. Okay, I gotta look for him, guys. This isn't exactly what I wanted. <laughs> But I'll take it anyway. Right, I'm knocking him off. Stop right there, dude. Get off the bike. Oh, my days. Get off the bike. <laughs> I gotta bring you in one way. Get off the bike. You know what? I'm popping the tires. You've left me no choice. One tire off. Get the other one. Other tire off. Now, get off the bike. What do I have to do? My days. Off the bike now. <laughs> get off the bike. Dude, I won't ask again. I'm not gonna ask. Bro. Oh, my days. Guys, I gotta get him off. There we go. Now, thank you. Thank you, buddy. <laughs> All right, you need to follow me. Can you get in the car, please? Come on. Get in the car. No, 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 no. Oh, my days. Jeez, come on. Finally. Didn't take you too long, did it? <laughs> now, let me take you to the location the boss has told me to take you to. Jeez. You're difficult to work with. I'm telling you that now. Hang on a second. Who's this guy? I can either leave or stay. I'm gonna stay, actually. Uh, well, let me just get a photo of you, buddy. Okay, who is this guy? He ain't the boss. He's a random person, but at least I got a photo of him, and you know what, guys? I've got enough evidence. I'm going back to the station after this, and uh, <laughs> we're gonna be dealing with everything. Everybody. Okay, this is it. This is where we take everyone in, including the guy at the door. Buddy, get down on the ground. This is a hold up. Both of you, I don't want to see you move a muscle. I'm going in there and getting... Oh, my days, dude. Everyone's freaking out. Get on the ground now. I'll be refusing that next job. Thank you very much. No, no, no. Don't you dare run away from us. You're all going down to the station. Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. The entire mob. <laughs> I got this guy. I got the boss. I got the underbosses. I got literally every single person, including us star witness. A person who we rescued earlier today. He's giving all of the information possible and they're having a blast, guys. Don't worry, star witness. You're gonna be A-OK. -okay. As for the underbosses, yeah, I wouldn't want to be them. I think that one's Ricky. That one's Tommy. This guy, don't know his name, but the person in the purple coat is Tony. And just to annoy him, I put the boss right inside a cage with another random dude. Just literally a random guy. Uh, huh? Huh? 
Huh? Huh? Help! Oh, oh, Simeon! I'm playing as Simeon! Are you kidding me? Do you sleep with your clothes on, Simeon? And do you always have a boring face? What time is it, dude? Five in the morning? Oh, my days. This is an early start for me. What? Where am I? Oh, gosh, guys. I must be in Simeon's house. What is going on? One minute I was Franklin. The next minute I woke up as Simeon. Is this your bathroom? Yo, dude, you're living in a palace. Oh, guys, he does watch my videos after all. He does watch my videos. This is the last thing you watch. Shoot, somebody's playing piano. Yeah, no, I want to see what's happening. Oh my days. This is nice. See me on. This is really nice. Where am I, dude? We live up here. We're out of Los Santos. That's for sure. What? This is crazy. Hello? Hello? Is anyone in? Dude, somebody's playing piano. What? Simeon, why is there a pumpkin in your kitchen? And who is that guy? Hey, what's up, buddy? You enjoying that coffee? Yeah, you just made in my kitchen. This is so weird, Simeon. So weird. Hey, relax. I'm your nephew, remember? I'm Sasha. Hey, do you want to collect some cars? I know a contact. Sure thing, Sasha. Send me the location. I'll go speak to him. It's done. Check your map. All right. He's put a location on my map, apparently. Oh, there it is. Okay. Thanks, Sasha. I'll be on my way. All right. I got a supercar down here. It's pretty cool. And somebody is playing the piano. Who is this lady? Is this Simeon's wife or something? Like, what is going on? This is so weird. So, Sasha wants me to meet somebody over in this train bar. I've never been inside. Simeon, can we go inside this thing? Dude, someone's in there. and they, But they want to tell me some, like, secret cars. I'm interested, dude. This is kind of cool. Oh, my days. Yo, Simeon. This is insane. I'm in the kitchen. Oh, what are they cooking? Let's take a look. A whole lot of nothing. That's disappointing. Okay, okay. If the place burns down, it's not my fault. Dude, that pan is gonna explode. There's nothing in there and it's already smoking. <laughs> All right, let's go. He must be the guy. This is pretty cool. Guys, check it out. There's no one else in here. It's just me and this guy. Have you rented out the place? Like, this is so sketchy. Am I gonna die? I've sent you locations. There's four different cars. They need collecting by the end of the day. Total value, $100 million. Sure, I can collect them for him. Simeon's gonna love this. Great. I'll be taking my 25%, of course. Oh, I see where this is going. You tell me where the cars are. You take 25%. That's a free $25 million. <sighs> well, you know what? Dude, I'm still making $75 million from this. Simeon is still... No, I don't want to look... <laughs> Pleasure doing business with you. I'll be in touch. So as long as I bring the cars to him by the end of the day, then we get $75 million. Oh, this is cool. He's located every single car I need to collect. Dude, they're all yellow dots. You see them? There's not even that many. That's gonna be so easy. Of course, Simeon can't get his hands dirty. That's not his style. <laughs> so we're gonna have to cool on somebody else. Wow, sounds like a party's coming from that house. I wonder if Franklin's got time off to collect these cars for me. <laughs> that is really loud music. All right, let's just park this up. Ba -ba -ba. Is that shot barking at me? That doesn't sound very nice. Jeez. Okay, right. I'm just going to ring the doorbell. Well, off he goes. He's going to collect some cars for me. That was super easy. I can't believe it, dude. He's actually collecting cars for Simeon. Do I stay here now? I mean, usually Simeon would. I want to go and see what Chop's doing. Chop. Hey, Chop. Are you down there, buddy? Chop, it's only me, Uncle Simeon. Chop. Oh, my day. So good to see you, boy. Oh, wow. He actually likes me. Hello. Can I pet you? Okay, I'm going to go. Oh, oh, okay, 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 okay. Chop doesn't want to be pet. All right. That didn't sound too good. Okay, boy. Okay. <laughs> hey, Chop, do you want to play fetch? Yeah, this is definitely a bull. Okay, Chop. Three, two, one, and go fetch, boy. Go on. Go on. It's only a... Oh, don't look at me with that cute... Dog. <laughs> okay, Simeon, I don't think we should play with Chop anymore. I'm gonna go inside, all right? I want to see what Franklin was up to. Bam, bam, bam. What do you think he was up to? The music stopped playing. It's kind of tidy in here. He might have been playing some dominoes. Okay, that's boring. <laughs> Why would Franklin want to play that, dude? Is this really what he does on his weekends? Seriously, just plays dominoes and... Hmm, his laptop. I wonder what he searched recently on his laptop. Let's see. I find history. How to throw a party. Is Chop a dog name? How big is a black hole? Franklin, you really go through a lot of things in your day, don't you? <laughs> Why do you need to know that, Franklin? Jeez. Hey, if you want some context, a black hole is like huge. Oh, Chop, what are you doing here, dude? What? Is I'm being followed by Frank Simeon. We're being followed. All right. Um, what is this time left? A minute? Wait, is that for Franklin? Does he have like a minute left? Dude, is that I think that's coming from outside. What? <laughs> what is going- Franklin, what did you do? Dude, that's police sirens. Oh my days. Dude, I think he's being chased by police down there. <laughs> what is going on, Franklin? There's police helicopters coming on. <laughs> Hey, Franklin, don't take him back to your house. I'm here, buddy. What is he gonna do? Oh, Franklin, what happened to you? You look terrible, buddy. And, whoa, you got the car anyway. Thank you. This is amazing. General Motors Parade of... I don't know. This is awesome. Franklin... <laughs> Oh, my days. You don't look good at all, Franklin. Don't worry. That's just paint, guys. That's just paint. <laughs> what happened to you? Are you kidding me? 
Wait. Okay, well, check it out, guys. We have got the first car. Now, I think this thing is, like, older than Simeon. So, I'm gonna see if I know how this works. Oh, gee, sorry, Chop. Sorry. Uh, um, <laughs> I'm just running over everyone. Hey, Franklin, this is awesome. I love this car. I'm gonna open up all the doors and check out what's inside. Wow. Oh, my days. Yeah, I was right. It's got a nuke on the inside. Yeah, trust me, it's safe. It's even got an interior. I can walk inside and, like, chill out. Franklin, I think you've done great, buddy. Thank you very much. Go get the next one now. There's only a few left. So whilst I wait for Franklin to collect the rest of the cars, I'm gonna have a little, like, sneak around his house. I wanna see what else he was doing. <laughs> Let's go downstairs. Maybe I can try on some of his clothes. I wonder what Franklin wears on a day-to-day -day basis. I hate to say it, but this is the best we can do. Gray and purple. And none of it fits. But you know what, Simeon? You look better than you did before, buddy. Where is Franklin? He was meant to be here, like, five minutes ago. Wait, I got a text. What? Where are you, handsome? No. Simeon's got a girlfriend. I gotta meet her. Come on, Simeon. Smile, buddy. We got a date. How could you forget about that? I really want to know who this girl is. So apparently there's a date going on. I need to go and check it out. We gotta go. I'll be back when Franklin's done with these cars. <laughs> he doesn't need me anymore. No way. She's in there, apparently. Okay, let's go and look for Simeon's date. Simeon's got a girlfriend. Everybody, this is a miracle. Simeon actually has a dating life. He's a man of mystery. He really is. Simeon, this is so exciting. I feel like I've discovered a new planet. This must be her. Hello. Hello, beautiful. How are we doing? Oh, Simeon, she's she's a keeper. She is stunning. Stunning, Simeon. Don't you dare do anything bad to her. All right, I, I don't make her collect cars. Don't do anything stupid. She is beautiful. I want to know how these two even met, guys. Like, do you reckon Simeon was running the store and she came in or whatever? Oh, she wants me to come with... Oh, my days. Okay, 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 okay. What? One second. The police are on their way. I don't really want to be walking on the streets when they come past. <laughs> we'll let them pass for a second. Franklin, what's going on? <laughs> Dude, he's got a police chase. Oh, my days. Okay, well, uh, we'll ignore that guy. I want to hang out with her. I got about, what, how long left, uh, Simeon? Okay, we got three hours until... Yeah, we can hang out with her. Come on, let's go. Da -da -da. I can't believe that dude. Oh, my days. He just ran over somebody. What? Franklin, you're crazy. Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. Why am I pointing a gun, Simeon? Stop it. <laughs> oh, my days. I can still see him. Dude, he's still driving away. This is gonna be fun. I get to hang out with her for three hours. I think we're going back to her house. All right, let's go. <laughs> Franklin's just caused chaos down here, dude. Oh, she lives at the motel. I see. All right, guys, don't worry. This won't take a minute. I think we're just gonna play some board games or dominoes or something. Remember, Simeon, we can't hang out with her for more than three hours. We need to be back for Franklin because we need to sell those cars to that guy. If we don't, we're not gonna make the money. So only three hours, Simeon. Uh oh. Okay, I think we overslept a little bit. Um, yeah, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine, Simeon. I think we'll be fine. Right? Maybe Franklin's waiting for us with the cars. Oh, no. That's not good. Oh, no, dude. I shouldn't have overslept. What's happened here? Oh, man, there was always a risk this would happen. Oh, my days. Every single car has been collected, and the police have taken them. Ugh, man, we got the Ford GT, the racing car, General Motors. I was driving that earlier. Oh, no, Simeon's fingerprints are going to be all over that thing. Hold on a second. 139 missed calls? Are you kidding me? Franklin, 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 Franklin. Oh, my days, dude. Franklin's been trying to call me all night, and he sent me a text. I'm in jail. <laughs> Oh! <laughs> Franklin's in jail! I told you to be careful with those cars. Clearly, you weren't very careful, Franklin. Hey, Simeon, we got some pr troubles here. Franklin's in jail, and he would definitely tell us if we leave him in there. So I better go and get him out. <sighs> My days, I can't believe it. He got himself arrested. That's like the one thing which is never meant to happen. It's never happened. Prison area, do not pick up. Well, I mean, if it's Franklin, of course I'm gonna pick him up. Even if he's hitchhiking, I couldn't care less. I want him out of here. Anyway, let's lock the door in case those hitchhikers come along. You never know. Let's go and find Franklin Glinton. Oh, hey, Lamar. Are you speaking to Franklin? Oh, uh, yes, you are. Oh, he doesn't look happy. Hey, Lamar, skedaddle. Get out of here. I gotta speak to this guy. Calm down, dear boy. I'm gonna get you out of here, okay? See me on here, Franklin. <laughs> This is not my fault. I simply came to you with some money and... Yeah, okay, I know I wasn't here last night, but you shouldn't have to rely on me all the time, Franklin. No, no, this is not my... Okay, let's listen. Do you want to get out of here or what? Because I'm willing to pay you out of here, Franklin. I'll pay your bail. Yeah, see, I'm a nice guy. Now, here's the deal. If I pay your bail, you're still bringing those cars back to my store, okay? Free of charge. That wasn't so... Oh, no, Franklin, don't run from me. Franklin! Ugh, my days, why is he running from... Franklin! Franklin! Oh, jeez. He's, he's got to do it the hard way, hasn't he? All right, Franklin, I see how it is. You got to collect these cards for me, buddy. I'm gonna get a lot of money from this, all right? <laughs> now, do you want me to pay your hospital bills? Because I will. Get in my car. Really? Oh, no. Guys, he's still running away from me. I love how the guards are just letting me do this. <laughs> hey, Franklin, when are you gonna stop running? I'm gonna do some warning shots. Jeez, come on, they're still not working. But Franklin, you're getting in my car, whether you like it or not, buddy. Get in my car, Franklin. Get in the car. I will run you over again. We've got a problem. There's a couple of police officers at your house. So I'm gonna drop you off here. I'll let you deal with them, and I'll see you back at my store. Okay. Oh, 
I see. So we need those cars because we have no cars to sell. Ah, okay, it's quite empty in here. Uh, I'm going to go and sit in the office and wait for Franklin to turn up with those cars. Shouldn't be too long, I hope. Here we go. He's already here. Franklin, my boy. Thank you, buddy. You got all the cars. Every single one of them. Don't know how you did it, but you have outdone yourself, Franklin. Thank you very much. These are very nice cars. Here's your cut of money. There we go. Nice. <laughs> yeah. And check it out, guys. Look at this. Nice. Okay, Simeon, we're going to make a lot of money selling these cars. Today in GTA 5, we need to cheer up Franklin because he has had a rough few days. Tanisha broke up with him. Tonya doesn't like him anymore. And Denise, his auntie, won't even let him inside her house, guys. He has no one to go to. And to top it all off, his best friend Lamar's gone on holiday. The only person who looks after Franklin now is Chop. And Franklin is the one who's meant to look after him. So it's fair to say Franklin is literally at the bottom of the barrel right now, guys. He doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know where to go. And he's only got $10 to his name. So I have developed a plan. And this is a plan to kickstart Franklin into the best being he can possibly be. I spoke to Bruce. You know, the guy who sells things in GTA 5, which makes you super duper strong. And I'm about to put him on the strictest training program ever. Pick yourself up. No, don't lie down, Franklin. You know what? I'm going to kick you off this bench in three, two. I will do this the easy way if you jump off now, buddy. One. Right, I'm kicking you off the bench. Hey, listen, man. I wasn't joking when I said I was going to kick you off. <laughs> Don't be angry at me, buddy. Oh, yeah? Okay. You really want to go down that route? Guys, he's not moving until you press like on this video. So please press like or else I'm going to have to move it for him. And the whole video is just going to be a little bit more difficult. Well, looks like we got his attention. Thank you very much, everybody. You're legends. Right, Franklin. Let's take you over to Brucey and pick up your training snacks. This will make everything so much easier. There he is. I told you he would sell them to you for a good price as well, Franklin. Ten big ones. Yep, ten dollars. What up, my dude? Take these every 30 minutes and you'll be buff in no time like me. <laughs> Come on, Franklin. Let's get out of here. Time to get you trained up, buddy. Once we become super duper buff, Tanisha's gonna have no option but to get back with us. I mean, we're gonna be the, like the biggest person in Los Santos. And let's be honest, Franklin, we're probably gonna be the most handsome person in Los Santos. All right, this is gonna get you in shape. So not only will Tanisha want you back, but so will everybody else. But first, let's not go through the windscreen because that is not good. <laughs> and we have arrived. Park your car up, Franklin. Let's get training. You have no choice in this. I will keep training you for however long it takes. One day, two days, two weeks, three months, two years. I don't care, Franklin. You're training until there's no snacks left and there's no energy left to lift up another weight. And it begins. The journey begins. Ladies and gentlemen, this is is the last time you see Franklin in this shape. <laughs> I would do a training montage, but it's gonna take too long. Keep pushing, Franklin. Keep pushing. You can do this. Whoa, Franklin, look at you. Everyone's scared of you now. I told you, you would be the strongest around. Come on, Franklin, you can at least crack a smile. You haven't smiled all year. I don't think he can smile anymore. I put him through too much, guys. <laughs> He's so strong. He scared everyone out of the gym. This is crazy, dude. How on earth is Franklin this strong? We've ripped the jeans. Brucey, whatever was in those snacks, it's done me some good. Because look at us now, guys. We are the strongest person in Los Santos. Do you reckon Tanisha will take this back? I gotta find out, guys. I'm going to Denise and Tanisha and Tony. I'm going to all of them. Right there, guys. That's where we're going to. First things first, Denise. I'm going to meet Denise. Let's go, Franklin. Oh my days, we can run so fast, dude. <laughs> That's cool. I don't know where you learned that, Franklin, but that little slide up. I'm doing this again. Look at this. Slide. Yo, Franklin, that isn't... Come on, that's stylish. All right, people will see that and be like, damn, how does he do that? You can literally slide and make a little trench in the ground. That's so amazing. Oh, my car's still here. I wonder how many parking tickets we've got. <laughs> Spoiler, we ain't paying them. I can't. I have no money to my name. <gasps> that reminds me, maybe we should take some money. What if we rob a bank like this? We are the strongest person in the world. I think we probably can. Anyway, I want to see if I can drive this car. Uh, oh, jeez. Oh, my days. I have just... <laughs> Dude, I can walk into my car and treat it like a tin can. No way. How are we... We're so strong. I think I underestimated how strong we would get. Right, can we get in the car? Barely. This is not comfortable. Franklin, I don't think we should drive this. <laughs> Dude, I'm sticking out of the top of the car. Screw this. I'm not driving the car. When we're this strong, we drive the car. We literally drive the car. <laughs> 
The knees. Whoa. Oh, my days. No. <laughs> Not in the water. What the? My car. That was so pointless. I just dunked my car in. Franklin, you can't go around doing that, dude. I just got rid of the car. I did see a helicopter. I think it's... There it is. It's up there. Excuse me. Can you give me a ride? Can we... <laughs> Come back here now. I demand you. Come on, get him. Oh! <laughs> I don't know how we can jump this high, but I won't complain. Come on, Franklin. Bam! Ah, oh, my days. I feel like this guy must be terrified right now. Yeah, he's quite high in the sky. <laughs> I think we better get out of here. Let's go to Denise. Denise, I'm home. Look, it's me, Franklin. There is no way she's stopping me from coming inside this house. We're the strongest person in the world. I don't even think the police could stop us. Right, Franklin, let's go inside. I think we have to duck through these doors. Denise, I just broke her vase. She's gonna be so angry with me. Denise, Denise, where are you? <laughs> where is she, dude? She's not in here. Oh, there she is. Wait, what's happened to your microwave? Jeez, I'm so tall. Right, we're gonna duck under this. Hey, Denise, what's happened to your kitchen? Oh, Franklin, what, what, what happened to you? There was an earthquake and everything just smashed. An earthquake, you say? Well, Denise, I have been training and working out. You know, it's a thing called lifting weights. Doing exercise? Something she wouldn't know on her jogging group. Yeah, I know you just go around the corner to McDonald's, Denise. Anyway, is Lamar in? I'm moving back in. <laughs> Where's my bedroom? At the... Oh, no. Oh, no. Right, Franklin, we are taking matters into my own hands. Lamar, get out of my bedroom. I'm taking you outside. <sighs> I'm so annoyed. Lamar, what do you think you're doing? You know this is my bed. That is not cool. I think it's about time we show Lamar who's boss. This is what happens if you sleep in my bed. Oh, my days. <laughs> oh my, this is way worse than I thought it would be. <laughs> Franklin, he's had enough. Franklin, put him down. <laughs> Jeez! Oh my days! All right, one more, one more, Lamar. One more, two, three, and that's it. There we go, you can get out of here. No more sleeping in my bedroom, you hear me? You hear me, Lamar? All right, looks like we're moving in. Dun, da, dum, da, dum, da, dum, da, dum, da. What, guys? I mean, he was sleeping in Franklin's bed. You don't do that. You don't just sleep in someone else's bed. You make another bed. You sleep on the sofa. It's my bed, my house. Lamar, don't worry, I'll take you to hospital. It's fine, I do feel a little bit bad for what I did. Maybe it was an overreaction. Right, there's the hospital. Hospital emergency room. All right, Lamar, don't worry. I know just the place to send you. Right. There we go. A paramedic. Look, can you help him? No. <laughs> Franklin, you're not going to pick them both up. Right. Put the paramedic down. Let's go. Fix him, please. Thank you. Don't look at him. Fix him. Fix him. <laughs> What's wrong with... You know what? Fix him. All right. Fix Lamar. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Jeez, what do I have to do to get somebody some treatment around here? Oh, I think we've made a couple of enemies. Uh, hey, guys. <laughs> All right, let's pick up you. Pick up this guy. Throw... No. Nope. Right, throw him there. Throw that one on the ground. Yeah. Oh, someone's got a car. Thank you. Um, yeah. <laughs> Thanks, buddy. Right, we'll just steal his car. Let's go. And just like that, we've gone. We're out of there. And I've already blown up the car. You can have that. I don't want it anymore. I can't drive. We can't even fit in. So Tanisha ran off with a brain surgeon. And he lives in a very nice house just near to Franklin. Conveniently on this street. Don't worry, guys. I'm going to be polite about this. We're going to be normal. Okay? We'll go inside. We'll pay them a little visit. Tell Tanisha I love her. And then take her out. Let's brush our hair a little bit. Let's do that a little bit. Franklin, you're gonna be fine. Maybe do a smile if you want to. No, don't worry. We don't have to smile. Don't worry. We're strong. We can still get her back. Tanisha, do you love me? Take me back, please. I'm really strong now. I will protect you. No one's gonna come between us two anymore. And also, we're gonna need a bigger house. The size of this one. It's too small. I can't get to you. You gotta come to me. This beam's in the way. <laughs> Franklin, what's happened to you? This is not the person I remember. I've moved on. Go out of my house. I'm married now. This is awkward enough. But Tanisha, I love you. He wants you back. He's here. Look, are you really going to send his face down? Are you going to send him out the door? He came here for Tanisha and she's sending him away. Can we at least be friends? I'm counting to three and then I'm calling the police. One, two, two and a half. Oh no, she's going to call the police on me. Are the police really going to stop me? Franklin, the strongest one around. Tanisha, you don't know what I'm capable of. But that's okay. I'll get out of here. But first, I want to pay a visit and meet your new husband. Oh, we can just fit. This is so lucky. There he is. I found him. Right, let's go. Hey, don't worry. It's gonna be okay. I spoke to Denisha. She is totally cool with this. You exercise. You probably understand this. I'll be back, 
to Nisha, I promise. <laughs> Don't worry, it's gonna be okay. I've got you in my hands. Nothing's gonna happen to you. I think he's doing okay. He doesn't seem to have broken any bones yet, which is all that matters. Right, one more jump and we'll be there. Can we land it in one go? Guys, guys, guys. Oh, oh so close. Did you see that, buddy? We almost landed on the bank. All right, we're not failing this one now. We're on. And this is where you will stay now. So have fun. Good luck getting down. <laughs> right, so he's gonna have to find a way down. He has no idea where to go. He's just running back and forth. Go on. <laughs> Look at him. He has no idea what he's doing. Franklin, this was a perfect idea. I can't believe it. That was so simple. Oh, chop. I'm back after an entire year. Wait, do you reckon someone fed him? Do you reckon he's even okay? I've left him here for a year. We haven't even come back. <laughs> Completely forgot about this place, dude. Is chop still down there? Chop, I'm back. Oh, he's fine. He was just sleeping. Let's go down and pay him a little visit. Chop, I'm here. Do I keep creating earthquakes? I think that might be us. Or chop just keeps sleeping. Right. Right, what do you want to eat, Chop? I got pork chops. I got beef. I got chicken. Anything you want, buddy. I got to be really careful about where we walk. One step wrong and we've crushed Chop. I'm keeping my distance, buddy. I'm going inside and I'm getting you some food, all right? If I do anything bad to Chop, we will never forgive ourselves. Today in GTA 5, we're playing as a hitman. Yes, Franklin, an actual assassin. So wipe that smile off your face. Much, much better. We're working for one of the most evil people around. He's called Bane. And if you know any Banes in your life, you know they can be very dangerous people. The moment I phone him, he's gonna give me a job and this job could be anything from taking out a nobody to taking out a somebody and the somebodies are very difficult to get. Alright, let's phone up Bane. Let's see what he's all about. Your target is a man. Oh, hang on guys. There's three targets on the radar. Alright, Bane, don't worry. We're looking for a man. There he is. Got him. Got him, got him, got him. Whoa, they're shooting me. Go, 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 go. Total targets eliminated. One. I can't believe it. I've done my first task. Right, jump over this, Franklin. Get out of here. They're actually chasing me, dude. Come on. Go, 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 go. They're right down there, dude. Oh, yes. Oh, jeez. Franklin, careful, buddy. Right, don't worry. I've got the perfect escape plan. We run down here and go into the sewers. And just like that, ladies and gentlemen, target down. That was the easiest assassination ever, dude. What up? What up? Mr. Ammunition Guy. I need to buy some more gear. Suppressors, snipers, you name it. Whatever I can get with 13,000 big ones. I'm spending everything on this, guys. I want to be the best hitman around. Carbine rifle. I want to buy a car as well so I can't go spending too much. SMG. Can we get a suppressor? Fantastic. What else can we get here, buddy? Let's get a suppressor on the MG. Is that even possible? <laughs> it's not even possible. Screw that then. Guys, I have purchased an actual minigun. 2,000 rounds. Fantastic. Franklin, I think we're going to be fine. Now let's go and find a car for $1,000. Simeon, my guy, let's see what you got today. Oh, we got some muscle cars. I only have $1,000, so I don't think I can afford any of those supercars, although I would love to buy that one. That could get me away from so many people. All right, Simeon, tell me the prices. What's the cheapest you got? Franklin, my boy, for you, there's only one car you can afford, the $900 blade in the far corner. This one? Oh, the far corner. Okay. $900. It looks pretty nice. I think we can get behind this, guys. It seems fast. Simeon, you got yourself a deal. So now I've got guns, I've got armor, I've got everything I need. Suppressors and a getaway car. All right, Bane, let's do another job. I feel like a proper hitman. This is great. Popular Street, you say. Okay. GPS coordinates received. Dude, who is it gonna be? What are we gonna go after today? Your target is a woman. And she is in a vehicle. Oh, I can see her. They're on the radar. Bane's marked them out for me. Don't worry, guys. She's red on the radar, but there's three other cars guarding her. All right, Franklin, get ready for this. She's gonna be around this corner. There she is. Come on. No, shoot. Yes, I think I got her. No, that's the wrong person. Yes. Okay, they're down. Oh, guys, I now have like five people chasing me. <laughs> Her entire gang and a one-star one to level. Bane, what have you done? I gotta find somewhere to hide. I know the perfect place. All right, I think we're gonna be safe down here for the... Now, just stay here. Stay here. Stay here. We're gonna be okay. I've lost the gang members. That was so tense, dude. That was so tense. Now, let's get out of here, Franklin. We've got more work to do. Bane, it's done. He's given me a new location. Alter Street. Dude, they're just standing there. This is gonna be the easiest hit ever. Can I see him? Let's take a look from here. If we can shoot them from afar. There he is. I got him, guys. Okay, I'm shooting him. That's him down. Police officer didn't see me. All right, go, 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 Franklin, go. Quick, 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 quick. He's literally running after me, dude. All right, back it up. He's so confused. He has no 
idea where they came from. <laughs> right, round this corner. Nice. Oh, yes. That was the easiest hit ever, guys. That police officer is so confused. He had no idea where that came from. I think that was the stealthiest assassination we've ever done. I'm going to a clothes store because I need to dress like a professional assassin. If we're going after people who have police bodyguards, then I gotta make sure there's no DNA tracing me back. You know, nothing at all. And no face shots. Nothing. We can't get caught on cameras. We can't get caught on anything. Franklin, let's start wearing some new gear. Oh, this is way better, Franklin. Now, if we're ever caught on cameras, no one's gonna know who we are. <laughs> right, let's give this a repair. Bane, I'm ready for my next job. You need to get to that location. I call you back when you are there. Can we see him? There he is. Guys, I can see the arrow. Yes, I can, dude. This is gonna be the easiest one. Got him, got him, got him, got him, got him. Go, 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 go. I've been spotted. Oh, my days. Go, 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 go. How did they see me, dude? I thought I was covered. Oh, no. What if Bane finds out, guys? If he finds out that I've been spotted, that might be it. He doesn't want to get caught. I don't know who Bane is, but this guy means business. Come on, Franklin. Escape the police. We're not getting turned in. I'm gonna strike a deal with the man in the customs. We're driving in there. Quickly, quickly, quickly. The police have lost me, dude. Let me inside. Will this even work? Bro, come on. Yes. What a legend. He's hiding me from the police. My man. <laughs> Yo, this hitman work, this assassination stuff, it's difficult, guys. All right, let's get out. We're a new man. Bane, I can confirm. Contract done. We're looking for a female gang member. Somebody's running away. Dude, I can see the commotion. She is right there. Right, I'm doing this quickly. Yo, look at all the gang members, guys. Oh, jeez. She spotted me. Oh, my days. Dude, I, there we go. I got it. <laughs> jeez, get up. Get up. Okay, drive, 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 drive. Oh, that was not sly. That was not sly, dude. I know I've got two stars. Just brilliant. Just brilliant. Thank you. Wait, hold up. I think I can... I can. Beautiful. I'm so glad I remembered this spot. Let that close. And just like that, one's level gone. What's good, Bane? Get me out of this place. Oh, there's cockroaches everywhere. Oh my days. I've just realized something. This. Is this Simeon? It's Simeon. Dude, I just bought a car from this dude. <laughs> no. Okay. Sorry, Simeon. <laughs> I can't believe it. I just... Dude, I just killed Simi. Fine, fair enough. Let's get out of here, Franklin. How am I supposed to buy cars now? What did Simi on? You know what, guys? I'm not surprised. Simi on has done a lot of bad things. He's annoyed a lot of bad people. Hold up, is this the guy? My guy just crashed his car. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Uh oh, I didn't get him. Do we have stickies? Yes, I do. Just lob it. Get okay, I killed myself. We're not the best hitman after all. <laughs> me, Franklin. Why do we do that? Oh, no. I really hope he doesn't find me. Bane, please. Bane. You need to get to that location. We're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. He's still cool with it, guys. I haven't been fired. I've lost my car, though. Come on, Franklin. Get out the car, dude. I gotta do some more jobs. I think I can see them. They've got some guards. Like, proper guards. Dude, they work for a cartel. Are you kidding? I can see the target. If I get too close, they're gonna shoot me. Uh-oh. They're shooting. They're shooting. They're shooting me. They're shooting me. Franklin, get her. Yeah, she's down. Target eliminated. Go, 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 go. $7,000 for that one, guys. That's not bad. Wait, hang on. Since we did get Simeon, I'm just gonna steal a car. Which one do we want to take, Franklin? I'm gonna go for a supercar. Which one, guys? The yellow one? The blue one? The blue one. Let's go for the blue one. The blue one looks amazing. I'm going for this. Okay, so we're just after somebody in a Granger. They're right there, guys. I can see them. This should be easy. Don't sweat it, guys. I know exactly what I'm doing. Everybody in that Granger is gonna be going down. <laughs> oh, oh, don't destroy that. One second. Let's throw it again. That's on. <laughs> oh, yeet. <laughs> Been spotted. Spotted me. The rabbits? Oh, jeez, that guy did. All right, go, 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 go. 12 people down under my belt. We're basically a professional now, guys. Your target is a woman. Dude, we're going and for somebody in, in the a military vehicle. now. A woman Steel. in a dilettante? Do you see how many military trucks the Dude, she's right at the front of all of them. Hang on, I've got an idea. I don't want them to spot me, so we're gonna take a sly way around. By the looks of it, we're gonna meet up around here. Franklin, bring it out. That's the car down. Go, 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 get out of here. Out, Franklin, they got miniguns. Go, 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 Franklin, out of here now. Dude, that was so tense. Oh, man, the police have arrived. All right, quick, we're going off-road. I'm switching between roads. I got three stars, the military after me and the police after me. I better have been paid a lot for that job. I don't even know where to hide. There's too many officers chasing the spike strips. Oh, no, did they get me? I think we're fine. We just dodged them, guys. I have no idea where to hide. Wait, the sewers. We go down here, drive along just like that, guys. They've even got police cars in the 
sewers. Are you kidding me? Just leave me alone, guys. I don't want to go in the water because we could really risk losing our car and dying again. Come on, Franklin. We've done worse than this. Yes! I've lost the one to level again. Hiding behind this. <sighs> Bane, Bane, Bane. This is getting difficult now. Can you see the amount of guards there are over there, dude? I'm scoping out the area. Let's see. What have they got? If I lob one of these in, chances are I will get them. You? The one? They didn't do anything. Oh, no. This one. Dude, they're calling back up. Are you kidding me? I don't want to take them out. Get me out of here. <laughs> Kill me, dude. Jeez. And I'm... Oh, my days. Dude, there's backup all around the streets. Okie dokie. Right. This is not fun. I should have killed them when I had the chance. I thought I could scrap a mission. Jeez. Even this guy's getting me. Dude, it's like the whole of Los Santos trying to kill me now. I don't think Bane likes that idea, guys. Probably should have taken them out. Oh, my days. Come on. Bolt down here. Oh, jeez. There's someone on this road. Get ready, Franklin. Okay. Back on the road. Back on the road. I'm hiding in the sewers. This is actually insane. Quick. Get in here. No one will find you in here. You'll be safe and sound in here, Franklin. Don't worry. Oh. So glad that's over. Dude, their backup is patrolling the roads. They're finding me. They're searching for me. There's an... Another guy right there. Oh my days, he's turning in. They're shooting at me already. Come on, Franklin, we can do this. Let's get this job over. This will be easy peasy. We'll just drive by, take him out, done. Dude, it just said I failed my mission. Target successfully escaped. Uh-oh, I don't think Bane's too happy about that. Bane? Can we do another job now? Dude, one of my targets is in the water. The middle of the ocean. How am I supposed to get over there, dude? Seriously? I don't have a boat. Ah, here we go. Two jet skis. Although I think... Is that somebody? Oh, it's a dog. Oh, it's a dog. And there's a boat over there. Jeez, the stuff I do for Bane. Okay, Bane, I've got a boat. Now, who is the target? Who are we going for? Stop the vehicle, jeez. Keep checking. Area. I mean, I can check the area, but there's a boat over there. I'm gonna go over to that boat. Uh, excuse me, Bane's called after you. There's a police boat as well. Oh no, dude, there's yachts as well. Oh my days. Who are we getting today? It's like all of you are lucky people. Hey, what's up, Your Bane? target is a man. They're on the beach. They weren't even in the... <laughs> They weren't even in the water. Come on. Sorry, ma'am. I gotta do some work. He's got quite a few bodyguards with him. What if I just walk past them? Afternoon, gentlemen. How are we doing today on this fine, lovely summer's day? All right, put it up. Uh-oh. Oh, my days. I got killed. <laughs> Oh my days, it's over guys, it is over, but hey, I had a really fun day. We encountered so many crazy people, and my mission has been cancelled. I'm sorry, Bane, I'm sorry I let you down. The president has landed, and oh my goodness, he's dead. I was supposed to be his bodyguard, and everything just exploded. There's only one other person I can see alive. Everyone else died. Oh man, this is terrible, what are we gonna do? I think this was completely set up. Quick, run in, Franklin, run in. Is there anyone here? Hello, I'm gonna get you. Don't think they're here. Get on that plane, Franklin. We gotta find the president. I need to know if he's alive or not. I don't think he can be. The entire thing exploded. But there's only one way to find out. Let's go and take a look. Mr. President, it's me, Franklin. I'm, uh, I'm your bodyguard. Oh, man, I can't believe this at all. I can't believe this. Mr. President, everything's fine. I promise everything's gonna be fine. Oh, no, 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 guys. The president really is dead. And so is the vice president. What are we gonna do? Hey, you, follow me now. Yes. Sir, let's go. This is where the president was going to, and I don't think anyone knows what's happened. Time to break the news, I suppose. Oh, man, I'm really nervous. That was a big explosion. Someone is trying to take down the president, and they succeeded. I wonder if these guys have any idea what's happened. I mean, how bad it was. Everyone's dead. Whoa, this is crazy. There's even workers in here. I've never been inside. This is so crazy. Okay, ma'am, I got some horrible news. The president is dead. Oh, wait, she knows. That's his wife. Oh, boy. All right, yeah, Emperor, uh, that's his son. Okay. Well, everyone seems to know. Uh, all right. Let's just go in the back room. They're waiting for me, apparently. Let's go. Command room. Oh, my days, dude. What are we going to do about this? Gentlemen, nice to meet all of you. I was the president's bodyguard. The president is dead. We know. Now we got a bigger problem. A bigger problem? What do you mean? The president, th there can't be anything worse than this. I mean, even in the books, everything seems to be going okay. Rival parties are taking over. We need to stop them. Yeah, we do. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Now the president's dead, it's sort of like a free-for-all. Everyone's trying to become the president, and you guys need to stop the rivals. Oh, I get it now. Well, since I'm the president's bodyguard, you guys can count on me. Let's go and deal with the rivals. Okay, Barbara, I'm just off out. Uh, sorry for your loss, guys. The president was an awesome man. <laughs> I feel so bad.
<laughs> this is exciting, though. We could actually become the president and control Los Santos. How insane would that be? Smash like on the video if you want me to become the president. And subscribe to my channel if you want me to give you some money if I do. No one can stop us in this. This will survive anything, even a nuke, believe it or not. I know, that's pretty insane. Do you want to see something cool about this car? I've only seen it in the movies, but it can fire smoke grenades. Check it out, dude. If anyone gets in the way, triple smoke grenade. Oh, yeah. <laughs> no one's gonna mess with us. The rival parties around this corner. Meeting up at the hotel reception. Oh, no, this is the no crying zone, guys. If anyone gets a cut on their elbow, no crying allowed. All right, let's go and find these rivals. <laughs> I found their cars. And there they are, right outside. Hey, guys, you're going down. <laughs> get them, get them, get them. Nice. Oh, no, he's trying to get up. And I think that's the rivals dealt with. Oh, there's the valet guy. Leave no witnesses. Okay, guys, don't worry. I think the rivals are down. Has anyone started moving? No, that seems like all of them. Nice. Oh, they really thought they could become the president. Oh, man, these guys are so naive. They have no idea who they're up against. Now, let's blow up their cars, too. Whoopsie. Oh, my goodness, that's a grenade. Run, run. <laughs> Run, Franklin! Whoa, that was close. Just throw one more down, too. All right, that should do the trick. They're gonna be so happy when they find out the rivals were dealt with. Oh, gosh. I think he died when I exploded the cars. That's given me an idea, though. I want to be the most impressive out of all of them. And if they know that these people help me, nah, uh, 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 uh. it's got to be Franklin and Franklin alone. Hey, guys, are you surprised at this? This is the presidency we're talking about. Make no mistake, Franklin. We got to keep our tracks clean. Just going through the car wash. Oh, yeah. Dun, 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 Get the stains off the car. Oh, boy. The president's car in the car wash. Now you guys seen everything. Leave no trace behind. Uh, 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 what a crazy event that was. I almost died. Hey, Barbara, get me in touch with the command room now. I need to go. Gentlemen, I have horrible news. I, I know, I know, I know. But uh, listen to me. The rival parties are dealt with. Yep, I know. Amazing. But the people you sent out... They died. I saw them myself and... Oh, man, it wasn't good. I'm impressed. You're being promoted. I just got promoted from bodyguard to secretary. No way. I'm one of them. Well, it looks like that sneaky tactic did work after all. Now we know you're capable and trustworthy. We need you to collect the tennis ball. The tennis ball? Don't you mean the, the football? No, they changed the name. Just get the briefcase with the nuclear codes, okay? The nuclear codes, a.k.a. the briefcase, a.k.a. the tennis ball? is somewhere out there in the ocean. But using my latest sonar device, I'm able to track the ocean floor until we come across the submarine. And once I do, we're sneaking on board and I'm grabbing that briefcase once and for all. With those nuclear codes, we'll become the most powerful person on this planet. Oh, hang on a second. I'm already getting some signal here. I think the submarine's nearby. Take it slowly, Franklin. Take it slowly. The faster it beeps, the closer we are. The submarine is right here. Come on, Franklin, jump off and let's sneak aboard. Here goes nothing. There's only one way to find out for good. Let's see. Summer. There it is. Wow, that was easy. Oh, my days. You see that thing over there, guys? That's that's a missile. All right, you can fire that at anything you want. Steady, Franklin. Steady and sneak in. There are so many layers of this submarine. We better be careful that, you know, no one spots us. And I found the control room. Oh, my days. There's some guards. And you see me. You see me. Get him. Get him. Get him. Ugh, nice. Guards down. And that's the guy with the tennis ball. Hey, mister, drop the briefcase. I said drop the briefcase. I'm not gonna ask again. That's it. If you don't let go of the briefcase, you're going down. What do you mean you can't? It's handcuffed to your wrist? That's a stupid excuse. Just get him, Franklin. I need that briefcase now. Ladies and gentlemen, say hello to Franklin Clinton. Now the most powerful man on earth. I have retrieved the nuclear codes. And once they get their hands on this, they'll have no choice but to make them the president. Wait a second. Maybe I can use the codes to my advantage. To start things off, we better get off this submarine. Oh my days, that was quite a shake. Oh no, I think knocking it over has just launched a missile. I wonder where that missile was sent to. Hopefully... Nowhere too close. Da, 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 da. Hey, boys, check it out. I have the nuclear codes, all the power. Check it out, Barbara. You think you're powerful behind that desk? 
<laughs> you just wait and see what's in this briefcase. Oh, yeah. Hey, guys, you might want to conduct this next meeting in the bunker because things are about to get real. Now, I got the nuclear codes. It's all in here. But I'm not giving it to you unless you make me president. What a terrible idea. You got no experience. Oh, yeah? Well, looks like I'll have to get some experience setting off a couple of nukes then, shall I? Oh, let's see. I'm sure there's an easy way to open this case. Fine, fine. You get the presidency, okay? Thanks, man. That's all I wanted to hear. <laughs> hey, who switched the lights off? No cool. Where'd everyone go? Guys? Oh, my days. I can hear gunshots. Hey, security! Security! Oh, my days. He just got shot too. To the bunker. Of course, we'll go to the bunker. I'm in. Hey, guys, there's someone in here. There's someone in here and they're shooting all of us. Am I safe in here? I really hope I am. Open up, open up, open up, open up, open up. Ah! Ah, oh, no! Someone shot me. Are you kidding me? I don't know who this guy is. But he's just taken out everyone down here. Oh, hey, yeah, no, no, wait a minute. I'm not ready to die. No, no! Are we okay? You are the vice president now. Somebody tried to assassinate us. Hey, where am I? And how did I end up like this? Oh, hi. Someone tried to assassinate us? Oh, no, 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 that's not good. That's no good. Uh, they must have been the person who took out the president. Maybe they're going after every single one of us. And we're the only two survivors now. I'm the president, and you're the vice president. How come you get to be the president, huh? I wanted to be the president. I was the only one alive until you came around. Fair enough. Listen, all right, what are we gonna do? Come on, follow me. All right, let's get up, Franklin. There we go. Nice to be off that hospital bed. So where are we going to? We're going to find the assassin. Are you ready? In a few moments, the police will enter and arrest the suspect. We've got him cornered. I recommend you find somewhere to hide. So he's hiding behind that van. I'm gonna hide behind this one. And in just a few moments, the police will be entering. Are you ready for this? Oh. That doesn't sound good. Hey, President, did you see that? Did you? Ah! Oh, come on! Someone hit me! Ah, clean yourself up, Franklin. Oh, 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 you again. That's the assassin. Hey, man, I should really take you in. Listen carefully. You do one job for me. And I make you president, okay? One job. And we get to become presidents. What job is that? Do as I say. Kill the president and everything will be okay. Oh, man. But if I do that, I will become the president. It's like this guy was reading my mind. Very well, mister. I will take out the president. But once I do that, I owe you nothing. Take me to the airport. We're getting out of here. All right, mister. Let's go to the airport. Are you happy to take this? I mean, your car isn't exactly nearby. All I gotta do is find a way to take out the president and then we become the president. The president is on his way to the Caribbean. Little does he know, it's not gonna land where he thinks it's gonna land. It's gonna crash and burn. Hey, Mr. President, we'll prepare a drink for you. Thanks, my guy. I'll be there soon. Wait a minute. What's that noise? What's the beeping noise? Oh, jeez, this isn't good. Oh, oh my days, the plane's shaking. Oh, we're going down. We're crashing. Ah, ah, ah! Well, that's him dealt with. I've just been promoted from vice president to president. Franklin, look at me, buddy. We are officially the president of GTA 5. As president, I can do whatever I want. And first thing I want to do is go straight back to the White House and just tell everyone who is alive that I'm the president. Now I'm the president, I can do whatever I want. And I can't wait to send my first orders out. I can make new laws, I can control every single person in this world. But first of all, afternoon guys, I am officially the president. Hey Barbara, guess who's the president now? Oh yeah, that's me. That's me. And there's literally no one alive to stop me now. This is crazy. So, this is the command room. There is no one in here. <laughs> Just me. <laughs> Which is fantastic, because Franklin can do whatever he wants, and no one can stop him. Sir, Canada weren't too happy about you nuking their country. Uh, they sent one our way, too. Wait, are you kidding me? We we nuked Canada? Oh, that must have been when I dropped the briefcase. Oh, that's where it went. Hey, so I don't really see a nuke up there. Can you guys see anything? It looks pretty clear to me. All I hear are birds. No animals. Are you playing a prank on me? Look closer. All right, whatever. Let's bring up the phone, Franklin. Let's see. What can we see up there? Oh my goodness, wait a second, she wasn't kidding. There is a new coming our way. Hey, 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 what, what about the Secret Service? You know, uh, can they can they take it down? I mean, this is Los Santos, we could like defense things. A hacker close by disabled our systems. Well, do you know who this hacker is and how we can stop him? Sir, we found the hacker, let's go. Oh, thank you, someone with actual information. Hey, don't just tell me there's a nuke in the sky and there's nothing we can do about it. All right, you're coming with me, you seem strong and you're coming with me as well. And so are you, Barbara, come on, get in. Come on, guys, what are you waiting for? We haven't got long. This is the address 
This is Lester's house. Oh, man. He can't be working for them, surely. Oh, jeez. Lester, come on. Open up, buddy. I'm the president now. If you don't open up, I will destroy this house. Okay, boys. Careful. Lester is a dangerous man. Lester Crest. I know what you've done. Working for the other team. You do realize you'll die now because they sent a new guy away, huh? You do realize that. They promised me unlimited maple syrup. Lester, jeez. Yeah, You're so smart, but so dumb. You won't be alive to eat the maple syrup, Lester. Did they promise you unicorns as well? Oh, man, just just please put the systems back online. We're all gonna die if you don't. Yeah, okay, you convinced me, Franklin. Uh, you're, you're my friend. Yeah, we'll see about that. Just put them online, Lester. Put them online. It won't be too tricky. Just gotta go through my code, and there we go. Uh, systems online. Mr. President, we disabled the nuke. Thanks, guys. You're the best. Lester Crest, as for you, I'm not putting you in jail. You're under house arrest. That's even worse. Look at this dump. So, Barbara, that's our first job together. Saving the world. I wonder if it'll be like this every day. Mr. President, I got a delivery for you. It's a letter. It's been a wild day. But tonight should be fun. What's on the letter, huh? Oh, party tonight. Air Force One. That sounds pretty exciting. I didn't realize they do parties in Air Force One. Hey, Barbara, I'm going. Are you going to go? No, I got a lot of work. Okay, Barbara, that's cool. I will enjoy the party myself then. Party on Air Force One. Let's go, boys. Looks like they must have rebuilt the plane or something. Whoa, did everyone turn out just for me? Is this the party? This is an amazing party. Check it out. So this must be my new Secret Service agents. What's up, my guy? Some dude in the binoculars, making sure I'm safe. This is pretty awesome. There is no way that villain's gonna get back to me now I'm president. But there's Air Force One, and little do they know, there's gonna be a wild party on there tonight. I'm excited. Let's go and jump on board. Hey, I love the party, guys. Who chose the music? <laughs> this is awesome. Hey, ladies, how we doing? Wow, this is crazy. Anyone else? Oh, wait a second. You? Seriously? Listen, mister, you are not getting a single thing out of me. Think carefully before you shoot. Why think carefully, huh? There's people outside. They, they Go, you surrounded. Who, who's flying this plane? Who is the pilot? That is a friend of mine. You shoot me, the plane goes down. Listen very carefully. I'm taking you somewhere else, okay? Oh, man, I don't think I got a choice. The people outside have no idea that president's just being kidnapped. This guy's really got it in for us. I'm telling you that now. He needs to go. Sandy Shores. Wow, can't believe I'm here. Oh, great, there's more of you two. What do you want? Why don't you just take me out now? You're going to wire us one billion dollars, okay? Are you crazy? I'm not gonna do that again. I mean, <clears throat> I'm not gonna do that. I totally have not just wired myself a billion dollars now I'm president. Okay, we don't need you then. Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait a second. You... <laughs> this is the president we're talking about. I can do other favors, like, uh, I can make a law, which says you, you have the coolest name in the universe. Hey, guys, I need some lasers. I need backup now. Yes, they're on their way. Oh, my days. Hey, guys, are you sure you want to get me? Because I don't think we're going to live longer in this spot. Oh, my days. Go, 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 go. <laughs> Yes! Come on, Franklin. Yes! Looks like the assassin is no more. Hey, guys, maybe next time, don't get greedy. Now they're taken care of, I can finally enjoy the fun of being the president. Like making new laws, whatever I want to do. And since I can't really trust everybody, I think my first law of action is to set a curfew at 6 p.m. No one's allowed outside except for me. Hey, check it out, guys. It's just gone 6 o'clock and no one's on the street. This is a dream. Check it out. This whole world is... Wait a second. There's one person left. Hey, mister, you're not allowed out here. I'm the president. The justice is mine. <laughs> what are you gonna do about it? No. Oh, my days. There's another guy. Are you kidding me? Hey, come back here. Come back here. Get in now. Can I fire? I can fire smokes from the back? I didn't realize I could do that. Hey, excuse me, mister. You're not allowed on the road. And for that, you're gonna have to die. I mean, I did set the law. You can't come out after six o'clock. You might not be trustworthy, you know? Yeah, I wouldn't want to clean up that mess in the morning. And if I see anyone else on the streets, they're going down. Ooh, I got an even better idea. Let's rob the jewelry store. Hey, guards, people, what did I say? Curfew, six o'clock. Don't even think. Are you really going to shoot the president, huh? Oh, yeah, that's what you wanted to do? Oh, uh, yeah, that's a terrible idea. Let me just tell you that now. Oh, my days. I can rob the jewelry. I don't know why I'm doing this. Like, I could have literally just seized everything myself. But, hey, this is a much cooler way of doing it. All right, I'm going to clean out the store, first of all, with the curfew breakers. No one breaks the curfew. And let's just, yeah, there we go. All right, take some time. I don't really want this, like, stupid 
jewels and stuff. I want to get the big diamond at the back. This is the coolest thing, so let's just grab this. The biggest diamond in the universe. Come to Franklin. Come on. Come on. Come on. We're so close. Come on. Come to Franklin, your brand new owner. How much is this going to be worth? I mean, if I had to go off any estimate, at least a billion dollars. All right, grab the diamond. Beautiful. All right, we made half a billion already. You know what? Let's just get a couple more safes. I want to make this to a billion, you know. Oh, look at that. 1.2 billion. Well, thanks, guys. Let's get out of here, Franklin. We got other things to do. Thank you very much, everybody. Thank you very much. You're the best. Well, that was entertaining, but oh my goodness, I just got a ton of money. That must have been the first tax payment. Jeez, that's a lot of money. Let's go buy a house. I've been looking all night, and I've come to the conclusion that this is the nicest house there is, and I'm buying it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Guys, say hello to Franklin Clinton's new residence. It's behind the reservoir this time. So if there's an accident, we don't get flooded. I could get used to this kind of life, but I'm the president. I got big decisions to make, jobs to do, places to be. So Franklin, don't waste any more time and let's do some more president work. Back when I wasn't the president, I would always be bothered by police. So I want to make sure I bother them a little bit and make sure they're actually doing their job instead of being on their phone. Hey, man, what do you think you're doing, huh? <laughs> no one is allowed on their phone, not even police officers. Right, that's it. You get, you're, getting, you're getting that for that, okay? No one goes on their phone. <laughs> He's not doing anything. This is perfect. Oh, my days. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? I'm the president, bro. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Just stand back. You're getting back on your phone? Are you kidding me? <laughs> no, don't go on your phone. Well, get back up. Get back up. You're a police officer. you got important work to do. Don't even think about going back on your phone. Have you learned your lesson yet? Oh, no. He's doing it again, right? That's it. And you're getting another one. <laughs> right in the balls. Oh my days. He can't do anything. This is a dream. This is a dream. I can't even get the police on me. <laughs> hey, okay, Franklin. Let's do something else. I'm adding another Lord of the City. They're gonna love this one. First of all, tax 95%. You know, curfew is 6 p.m. Now, anyone who opposes the president. Hey, Barbara, add this law in. Anyone who opposes the president goes to jail, okay? That's a terrible idea. I'm the president, Barbara, and no one can stop me. All right, just do it. Amazing. Now, no one can dislike or go against chase down the president. I feel so safe in my own city. Hey, uh, Barbara, I, 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 I think there's a riot going on in Los Santos. That would have been the last law. Uh, they weren't happy about that. You don't say so. Okay, well, can we rewind the law? Oh, boy, they really weren't happy about that one. There's a massive right going on. Hey, guys, chill out. Come on. We better get going. Uh, Franklin, we're getting out of here, okay? They clearly don't like us anymore. Hey, move it. Move it. The president is coming through. I didn't think they would do this. They're actually retaliating. And a city where everyone is rioting is not a city I can control. This is chaos. Open the gates. Open the gates. I need a plane. Who's got a plane? Oh, no. They even made it into the airport. What's going on? Guys, chill out. This is the president coming through. Do as I say. This is the president. Oh, no. No one's doing everything I tell them to do. Okay, getting ready to take off. Let's flick the switches. Oh my days, there's a lot of switches. I've never flown this thing before. Go, Franklin, go. We need to take off. Oh no, it's beeping at me. Seriously? <gasps> Oh, no, 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 the plane's broken down. I will die. Don't do this to me. Don't do this to me. That's okay. We'll just leave the plane and run. Run, Franklin, run for your life. Why is everyone so angry with me? Why couldn't you have just gone on with your normal lives? I mean, 95% tax is hardly that bad. You get 5% at least. It's my boat. Get on, get on, get on, get on, get on, go, 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 go. Right, the president is going now. <laughs> I'll be back another time. Thank you very much, guys. I don't think I did the best run as the president. There's definitely a few improvements we could have made. 997, 98, 99, 1,000. I've done everything you ask, mister, from flying planes, doing the obstacle course, to even doing a thousand push-ups. Have I finally graduated? Not yet. This isn't the military base. Oh, no. Survive a hundred nights in the desert to graduate. Or, wait a second, ten subscribers to graduate. Guys, that's an easy option. If ten of you subscribe to my channel, then Franklin will graduate and finally be part of the army. If you don't, I gotta spend a hundred days in the desert. And this place doesn't look very hospitable. It's gonna be a horrible hundred days. It's going down. I just need nine of you guys to subscribe. Five. It's going down. Yes, it's going down. Say goodbye to the desert and press to graduate. Are you ready, Franklin? We are about to join the army. This is my first day playing as the army, and I have no idea what's going to happen. But since I'm part of the military, anything could happen, Franklin. We could go after a really evil person. There could be a disaster. Maybe they need our help. Who knows? Or it could just be an off day. You know, have a cup of coffee and just chill out with some mates. It has been three years since I got 
to play as the army. And for the first time, I'm actually welcomed in the military base. Hello, guys. Hello. Your brand new graduate has passed army, military, academy, training, whatever it is you guys call it. Well, now I'm playing as the army. I wonder what my first job's gonna be. Hello. Who's my superior? Hey, I found something happening. Let's go and check it out, Franklin. Come on. This could be our first task. What's going on, guys? Is there somebody on the floor? Tell us everything you know. It's too late. Uh, you can't do anything. Hey, mister, you better start speaking because my colleagues here are really trying their best not to shoot you. It wasn't my plan. It was the evil scientist. And today is the day you're too late. Evil scientist? What's going on? We need you to go to the reservoir. Retrieve the scientist. He's pretty easy to spot. He's a scientist, you know? A scientist at the reservoir? All right, let's go, Franklin. Looks like I got my first mission. This is so exciting. Hey, this doesn't make sense. They've barricaded the, the reservoir. What, what, who's done this? There has to be another way through. There's got to be another way through. Oh, my days. Whoever's done this has barricaded off the entire reservoir. All right, not to worry, Franklin. We'll figure this out. After all, I am part of the military. Yes, I can already see a way in now. All I gotta do is get down onto that cliff edge. This is gonna be really tense, but I think we can do it. I have no idea what's going on but I need to find answers right now. Someone has barricaded the entire reservoir. And we're at the other side of the fence. Now let's look for this scientist. Where could he be? Scientist, scientist. Wait a second. I can see somebody right down there. Soon everyone will be my slave. Everyone! Well, Franklin, we found the crazy scientist. That's the guy they were talking about. Now let's go and stop him. I think he's pouring something into the water. I really hope there's nothing too bad. Quick, run, Franklin. Run, run, run. We gotta stop this guy. Hey, you, stop that right now. I said, Put it down! I said, put it down! He's not putting it down. Why isn't this guy putting it down? Fine, you left me no choice. You're going down! Right, I need to find the owners of this reservoir. Make sure none of the water goes into the supply of Los Santos. He just poured something unknown into the reservoir, and people are gonna be drinking this soon. Right, that's it. I'm going to Los Santos. We're gonna find the owner ourselves. Whatever it is, it can't be good. Whoa, oh my days. Wait a second. Uh, excuse me, ma'am, are you okay? She doesn't look normal. Okay. And that's just one person who didn't look too normal. Oh my days, there's another one. There's another one. There's, there's three of them. What, oh, guys, run. You gotta run. You gotta run. Oh my days, guys, I think they're drinking the water supply. This must be what he was planning. Let's just, oh my goodness, they're eating her. They're literally eating someone in front of me. Hey, guys, stop it. That was a warning shot. Stop eating people. Warning, warning, warning. Seriously? Oh, oh boy, this isn't good. This isn't good at all. They're getting back up as well, and they're carrying on. Uh, okay, I'm gonna go back to the military base and just tell them what's going on. But this guy poured something into the reservoir, and now it's turning people into what looks like zombies. Any zombies up here, guys? You need to run. Everyone needs to run now. You know what? Let's just scare them. Guys, run! Run for your life now! Yo, boys, I found the scientist. He wasn't exactly listening to me. I had to take him out. Couldn't bring him back. He poured everything into the reservoir, and I saw... What well, looks like zombies zombies on the streets and they were eating people I saw two zombies eat someone right in front of my eyes take this briefcase deliver it to the classified island now All right, we gotta go this doesn't seem good. I got a briefcase and we're going to a classified island. I mean, that sounds pretty exciting, even though this might be a zombie apocalypse starting. Right, I've never been to this place. I've now got a briefcase and I have to deliver this to a classified island. I've only heard rumors about this place, Sector 257. Technically, it doesn't exist, but I'm going there right now. We could be witnessing the start of a zombie apocalypse. What a day to graduate in the army, huh? What a day. Hey, man, my plane's bigger than yours. I got rockets on this, twice the size of that one. Right, come on, Franklin. Let's get out of here. Yeah. Strike force away. This is classified island, a military base so secret that even Rockstar won't tell you about it. They must be testing all of their classified stuff on here, from vehicles to weapons, maybe even testing on aliens. Who knows? This is a pretty epic island. Right, let's land this plane, Franklin. Come on. They told me to go inside the mountain, and I found the entrance already. Whoa, this place is huge. We better get running, Franklin. That apocalypse is not going to wait up for us. <laughs> X2... X3, oh my days, how many hangars are there? I found the headquarters. It's a tunnel inside a tunnel. It's pretty hidden away. I came as fast as I could. I got a briefcase to deliver to you guys. Thanks, we'll take it from here. Uh, cool, no problem. All right, I will see you guys later. Wow, that was quite an experience. I wonder what was in that briefcase. This is the military base? How did this happen when I was gone? Oh man, I don't like the look of this at all. If this is what it looks like on the bridge to Fort San Cuto, imagine what's happening in Los Santos. Well, it seems like you didn't get the zombie thing under control. Damn. 
this many people drive up here? And what happened to these cars? They're totally destroyed! People have brought their belongings up here in trolleys. Oh, this is pretty crazy. There's ambulances. Wow, they even had to make a barricade. Oh my days. Hey guys, I'm a military personnel. I'm allowed through, okay? They're planning something at the military base. Oh, we better go and check it out, Franklin, before it's too late. I think they're about to go to Los Santos. If so, that's a crazy idea. Guys, what's going on? Attention, we are showing our strength in Los Santos to tell people there's nothing to worry about. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. Sir, yes, sir. So yes, sir. So yes, sir. To show our strength, Los Santos. Oh no, this is a really bad idea. Hey man, I've been there already. I saw everything begin. And believe me, you don't want to go to that city. Trust me. Quiet, or you're out of the army. Okay, I'll be quiet, sir. Don't worry. Let's go to Los Santos. Sounds like a fantastic idea. Doesn't seem too bad in the city, at least downtown area. See guys, I told you nothing to worry about. The military are here and whatever apocalypse is about to happen, we will sort it. Oh my days, there's helicopters in the sky. Whoa, and look at that plane. All right, this is a pretty awesome parade. Front line, follow me. Front line, that's me and these three. Where are we going to? Captain Frank, you drive. You got it, mister. I will happily drive. This is calm. There's nothing going on and everyone reassured. Military are around. Nothing's happening in Los Santos. We're meeting the parade. President. He's landing in the airport in five minutes. The president? W wait a second. The president of Los Santos? Yes. No hurry. Okay. All right. We're going to the airport to meet the president. Wow. <laughs> I've never met this guy. This is pretty insane. This zombie issue must be so important that even the president's come down to Los Santos. Right, he should be here. Landed a few moments ago. There's his plane. And there's all of his security guards. Wow, that's the secret service. This is crazy. Hey guys, we've come to whip up the president. Get him out of here. Is he on that plane? Oh, there he is on the walkway. Hey, Mr. President, your ride has arrived. Out of all of these cars, this is the one you need to choose, okay? This is insane. There's even reporters here. Wow, this was gonna be a secret thing. And so Somehow, like, the whole of the police force have turned out. Come on, Mr. President, we don't need any of these police guys. They're below me. I I'm part of the military, you know, army, special forces. You are safe and sound. Yeah, wow, I've literally got the president next to me in my car. This is awesome. Right, let's get out of here. Uh, where am I taking you to, Mr. President? I am the safest driver in town. My subscribers can vouch for that. Can't you guys? Please don't let me down. Don't embarrass me. Don't even think about it. I I'm the best driver. I oh, jeez. Okay, keep your eyes on the road. Take me to the observatory. You got it, President. To the observatory. So this is what they've done to the observatory. They've made an entire camp for the president. Wow. Last time I checked, this was a museum for the public, but seems like this apocalypse has changed a few things around. If the president's visiting Los Santos, I can't imagine anything good's going on down there in the city, no matter how many parades we do. But since I'm part of the military, I am a little bit nosy and I want to see what's going on. Let's go inside the observatory, see what the president's talking about. After all, I am basically his bodyguard. Come on, Franklin, get inside, afternoon gentlemen. I'm still above both of you. I'm part of the military. There's a bunker in here? No wonder why the president's arrived. I got a feeling it's through here. There's a lot more cameras. Come on, Franklin, keep moving. Through the vault door with a password scanner. This is the reception area to the other side of the vault door. And there's even a yellow floor just to catch out any intruders. You know, trap doors and whatnot. That's insane. Oh my days. I found the president. He's in this room and I need to listen to what's going on. After all, I am his security service slash bodyguard. I must know everything at all times. Zombie virus. How bad? It's a tiny risk. I'm sure we can minimalize this. I don't like risks. Slaughter the city and evacuate the healthy. And don't serve me. Give me your best men, now! He's definitely talking about that apocalypse, but he wants to know about the best men. Ah, that's my time to shine. Hey, mister! Ah, uh, were you talking about best men? After all, I am your secret service security guard military guy for this place. I am one of the best men, I promise! Great! Well, use your house, then. Let's go! Use my house? For what? What are we using my house for? <laughs> hey, hey, I, I didn't just sign up my house for something. What? Are you coming with me? Oh my days. They're using my house as a fortress. Yo, that's pretty epic though. I, I, I don't mind this. This is pretty cool. <laughs> At least Chop's gonna be A-OK -okay in this apocalypse. Hey, Chop, don't worry. This is just another normal day. Franklin Clinton is just doing his business. So the military have totally barricaded my house. And if any zombies come near, they're gonna get it. Trust me, they're going down. But this is the outpost for now. And our job is to evacuate the people, the healthy people of Los Santos. I've already got my mission. And it's to evacuate Block 9. Wait, 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 wait a second. What's this doing here? I didn't agree to have one of these on my roof. If that goes off with Chop in here, I will come after each and every one of you. I really hope Chop makes it through this. Right, this is my block, block nine. Conveniently included, 
Michael's house. Also the jewelry store. There are two locations I gotta hit up and rescue survivors who are rumored to be there. I don't know exactly what's going on around there, but apparently it's not too good. So we better gear up Franklin and head off towards block nine. Yo, check out this ride. Whoa, that's awesome. I gotta get my hands on that. Hey guys, hope you don't mind. Just gonna borrow this for a second. This is a secret military car. All right, Franklin, let's get moving. Oh my days. That is the most powerful looking turret I've ever seen. Let's test out this turret on them. Whoa. Whoa. All right, this is a pretty powerful turret. I like this. We're gonna be A-OK -okay in this. I know we are. Here it is. Michael's house. Just one zombie in front. And that zombie is no more. Let's just double check. Is he definitely dead? No, he's now he's dead. Now he's 100 percent dead. Hey, Michael, I've arrived. The cavalry is here. Look, you joined the army. Okay, guys. I'm not gonna make this easy. Come on out now. Glad to see you guys are alive and you made it through the apocalypse. Come with me. I'm gonna get you out of the city. But first, we gotta make a little detour. Well, there's the jewelry store, and I've just Distracted the zombies waiting outside. Hey, zombies, get a load of this. <laughs> oh, boy. Okay, he wasn't too happy about that. Where do you think you're going to, huh? Well, I've cleared out a lot of block nine. There's the jewelry store. We're getting closer and closer and closer. Right, let's just clear out the way. Perfect. All right, we've got enough time. Michael, I'm just going to head off and enter the jewelry store and rescue these guys. Give me one second. I'll be out shortly. Everybody, you're safe now. I'm getting you out of here. Wait, 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 wait a second. Wait a second. He took my car. Michael stole my car. I can't believe you. You've done this, Michael. All right, guys, change of plan. You're walking with me, but don't worry. I got a gun. So have you. Everyone else, just stay close. Oh, yeah, don't come out yet. You trust me, you don't want to come out yet. There's just, just a couple of zombies out here. Don't worry, I'll clear the street for now. Right, this isn't good. Michael has literally left me to die. I can't believe he's done this. I actually can't believe he's done this. Bring out the MG, Franklin. We can sort them. We're a big boy now. We can get them across the border. Ah, come on, come on, get them. Yes, there we go. I don't think the zombies will be bothering us now. Come on, guys, let's go. Okay, guys, everyone know the drill. Stay close to me and don't try anything stupid. I'm getting you to the border and we're getting you across. Such a big responsibility right now. Like, this is... This is kind of tense. I don't want these guys to die. They're my responsibility. Just clear off the stragglers behind us. Nice. All right, they're down. Oh, my goodness. All right, I I'm going to try out a different tactic. After all, I am part of the military. I'm shooting some flares right there. And since I'm part of the military, they might actually do something crazy. Well, what do you know? They're coming in with some planes. Epic. That's great. Guys, we're going to be A-OK. -okay. We've got to run. We've got to run. We've got to run. We might be a little bit too close, guys. A little bit too close. Come on, run. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Everyone's alive. One, two, three, four, five, six. I think so. If someone's dead, raise your hand. We've almost made it to the Border. And if there's another cluster of zombies like this, I'll just call another airstrike. It's a shame they won't pick us up, though. That would be super handy. All right, last zombie. Zombies down. Now they're down. Let's keep moving, guys. Keep moving. This is a super duper proud moment. I've rescued each and every one of you. Let's get you across the border before the zombies eat us. I've got them across the border. I've done something. Now, if I see Michael again, we're taking him down. So this is where the survivors are being kept for now. Guys, I've got a few more survivors. They've been checked. You can check them again if you want, but I'm pretty sure they're not zombies. Yo, Frank, the boss wants to see you. This can't be good. I just rescued some survivors. You uh, wanted to see me, boss? These are desperate times, Frank. we got to destroy a Santos. Destroy the city? You can't be serious. That's where my house is. That's where Chop is. Don't worry. We got it handled. They're on their way back to the base now. Oh, that's good. Well, Chop's gonna be okay, but what about the rest of the survivors? We rescued most of them, Frank. Now drop the nuke. It's the only thing left. That's the nuke he's talking about down there. And I gotta drop the nuke on Los Santos. Not gonna lie, this is pretty intense for a first day. I don't think any military personnel has had a first day as intense as this. We get into the military. Suddenly there's a zombie apocalypse. We gotta rescue people in the zombie apocalypse. Almost get flattened by a plane as well. And then we gotta nuke the entire city. This is a pretty crazy first day. Right, let's pick up the nuke. Slow and steady. We don't wanna cause any jolts. I need to be super duper high for this. We can't just casually drop a nuke anywhere. We still have to escape. This is the right height. Now let's get over those towers so we can drop the nuke. Of course, this is the easiest solution to destroying the apocalypse. It's better than nuking the whole island. I think we're in place. Three, two, one. And there it goes. It's gone. I lost count already. Was it 10 seconds? Was it 15 seconds? All I know is that we better get flying as fast as possible. Go, 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 go. There's the explosion. And it's already reached us. 
Franklin, hold on to the joystick. We're not crashing. We're gonna be okay. Everything's gonna be fine. Everything's gonna be fine. We're gonna crash. We're so gonna crash. No, we're okay. That was pretty crazy, Franklin. Should we take a look at the damage? I can't believe what I'm seeing. This is where Los Santos was. And now everything's been nuked. It's just a giant sand pit crater. That's where the bridge was. Do you remember that bridge next to the airport? So that means the airport's down there. Well, at least we destroyed the apocalypse. We better report back to base. Hey, guys, I got an announcement. Los Santos has officially been destroyed. Franklin has done the job. That is the job you wanted me to do, right? I haven't just destroyed an entire city for no reason. You did what you had to do, Franklin. And we applaud you for that. Whatever, man. I still don't think that was the solution. My, oh my, oh my, guys. Have I got so many questions to ask. Dwayne Johnson, you're in prison, buddy. I mean, look around you. You're in a cell. Four walls, the floor, the ceiling. We're basically inside a cube with a metal gate. Dwayne Johnson, this isn't where you're meant to be. We ain't in the ring. We ain't in Fast and Furious. We ain't in any of your action movies. Although I wish I was, to be honest. We're in prison, guys. And I have too many questions to ask him. Do you know what happened the other day? Do you know what happened? It was yesterday. We were playing as a heavy police officer. We were on duty. And Dwayne Johnson, where was he, guys? Where was he? He was exactly where he wasn't meant to be. Let me walk and talk with you guys. Dwayne Johnson was hiding in a bathroom inside a house which we ambushed whilst being a heavy police officer, guys. And what was Dwayne Johnson doing? He was like, oh, 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 don't get me. Don't get me, guys. Initially, I thought, oh, okay, maybe he wasn't part of this ambush. Maybe he was just an innocent bystander. Wrong place, wrong time. But no, guys. But no. Oh, I have more stuff to tell you guys. We took him to the station. We got him processed. And they thought he was guilty. And we took him to the prison. Oh, what's this about, dude? The console burst again. Need money to fix. Hey, you look perfect. I'm gonna put you in my next movie. <laughs> Anyway, guys, moving along. Let's keep walking and talking. We're now stuck inside the prison. And a few people are actually scared of me. Look at this guy. He's actually lost it. This is not where The Rock needs to be, guys. We need to be in Hollywood, filming movies, and, of course, chasing Franklin Clinton and Simeon, sorting both of them out because they have been taking his cars left, right, and center. It was only last week. They destroyed three of The Rock's houses, guys. He ain't happy about this. You know, if anyone needs to be in prison right now, it's Franklin and Simeon, guys, not The Rock. But, hey, Dwayne, this is why you've got me. The moment I knew you were going into prison, and I knew to myself, we gotta get him out, guys. We gotta find a way out. So, are you joining us? Are you gonna be on board? Press like on this video, guys, if you wanna get the rock out of prison. I'm gonna try everything I can, but we need to brainstorm here. We need telepathy. And telepathy only works. Is it telepathy? I think it might be. It only works, guys. I can only read your minds if you press like on this video. If you don't, then there's some fuzziness. And oh, I got all my days. I can barely even hear anything. Oh, hey, fellas. You have a problem with me? You have a problem? You want my money? Wow, they actually want my money, dude. This is the problem of being a celebrity in a prison. <laughs> well, guess what, dude? You're my first target. Let's talk him out. <laughs> Whoa! Whoa! Okay. Dwayne, you are much stronger than I thought you were. And you can take one as well. <laughs> We just sent him over there. Oh, he stopped now. He's up. Yeah, you want to come after me again? Hang on a minute. He's limping. Oh, my days, dude. Look at this guy. Look at this dude. <laughs> he thinks he can take on the rock. What's up? Are you going to try and get me next, huh? You're going to try? Well, come here. <laughs> no, I don't think he wants to go for me now, guys. Yeah, you walk away. You walk away and don't tell anyone anything. You're lucky you survived and like your friend over there. We need some food, guys. We're getting a little bit hungry. We're getting peckish. <laughs> the guards are chasing an escape prisoner. They're like, quick, the prisoner are escaping. Go get them, guards. Go get them. Interesting, though. If we cause a distraction and send the prisoners that way, then half of the guards will chase after them. That's interesting, Dwayne. Maybe that'll help us escape. Anyway, I want to get some food. Oh, man, there's a queue. There's always a queue. Every single time. <sighs> da, 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 da. I'm so tempted to use my super strength. Hey, that guy's cutting in. Oh, no, you don't. No, you... Hey, excuse me. Don't cut in. That's what we're talking about. Jeez, that looked painful. <laughs> Yeah, you want to cut in again? That's what I'm talking about. Don't cut in line. If you want to get in line, go to the back. You know what? Since we do have these amazing strength abilities, I might just cut line myself. Why isn't the queue moving, dude? <laughs> oh, you're going to stop me from... Yeah, come on. Come, come on. come on. Stop me. Stop me. Are you going to stop me from cutting in? Exactly. That's what we're talking about. We're the rock. We're Dwayne Johnson. I'll be taking a banana, please. Oh, they're for staff? You really want to tell me that? They're for... Hey! <laughs> no cutting in! <laughs> oh, my days. That's what you get for cutting in, dude. Only I can cut in line. Anyway, as I was saying. A banana, please. Thank you. And uh, I would like three of those burgers. What? Only one of them per prisoner? Is oh, you want me to come back around there? I will literally take you out, dude. Okay, you know what? He's not giving me three burgers. I'm not happy, guys. I'm a bit angry. Excuse me, officer. Out the way. <laughs> we headbutted him. Jeez. Well, now we've taken out an officer, guys. This is not gonna help us escape. Can I have three burgers, please? <laughs> 
Right, you know what? Come here. You can't undefeat the rock, okay? It's just not how it works. <sighs> As I was saying, guys, the cafeteria clearly is not the place for us. <sighs> well, that wasn't too bad. Now we need to figure out a place to escape. Now, how have we escaped? Whoa, hold up. Hold up. Someone's going for me. Jeez. Oh, my days. Okay, okay, okay. Cool, cool. The guards don't like me, guys. They don't like me. <laughs> Come here, guard. Come here. I'm escaping now, guys. This is it. We're escaping. This is how we escape. Get the guards. Take them out, Dwayne. Take them out. Oh, this isn't good. This ain't good at all. Come on. Come on. Go on. Dodge. Dodge. Do the matrix. Boom. <laughs> this is crazy. We start in the rampage now. It's official. I don't know how we've done this, but now we've got a one to level inside the prison. That ain't good. Come on. There's got to be a place out of here. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Up the stairs. Let's go, Dwayne. Come on. Up the staircase. Up the staircase. We're going to try and like find a ladder or something. Let's see. Is anyone up here? Yes. No one's up here. I'm still being shot. Shot at. Where are you guys? Oh my days. We must be surrounded. <laughs> hide. Hide here. Hide here. Anyone in the towers? Oh, there's someone in the tower. All right, here's the deal, guys. Jump down. <laughs> are you okay, Dwayne? Of course you are. You're super strong. Get the guard. We're getting his item, guys. Watch and learn. Watch and learn. I'm coming to get you. We're coming to get you, buddy. You picked on the wrong person. Uh-oh. Oh no. Come here. Bam. <laughs> oh, don't knock him off. Don't knock him off. I need that. Yes. Look what we've got, guys. We've got a sniper. Is anyone in that tower. Yep, got you. Another person in that tower. Whoa, oh, got the sniper. <laughs> Whoa, someone's up here. Jeez. Oh, my days. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, this isn't good. Uh, okay, we're gonna go for the no scopes. There's two of them up here. Hey, can you guys leave me alone? Oh, my days. We're surrounded by officers now. This ain't good. Guys, they're gonna take us out. <laughs> I don't care if we got super strength. There is no way. Oh, my days. Get them, Dwayne. Get them. There's so many officers coming up the stairs. I am not going back down that staircase. Right, we're running. We're running. We're jumping. Since we're the rock, we can survive this. Oh. Uh, well, that didn't really work. This was a terrible plan. Why are you still shooting me? <laughs> I love how there's a prisoner trying to escape. Like, this is my chance. This is my chance. Oh, my days. You got helicopters out. There's so many police officers here, dude. Okay, well, Dwayne, this didn't work. Clearly, this did not work. Super strength. More like super stupid. Oh, my days. We screwed up, guys. Clearly, we can't jump from the towers, as we have just learned. We can't jump really high. So, the only way out of this place is to literally just use this. And, you know, just wade your way through the prison. You know, trying to find the right door etc. Speaking about right doors, this is the wrong door, guys. <laughs> We're definitely gonna be here for a while. Hey, listen, fellas, I don't want no trouble. All right, I don't want no trouble. Are you here to feed me or let me go? Hey, we get to... Okay, that wasn't too bad. A day inside uh, a concrete room. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Okay, I won't get up to any more trouble. I know you're around. Jeez, guys, have you seen what they've got? I mean, if we mess up, that's coming after us. That'll be in our back, Dwayne. <laughs> we ain't messing up again. Whoa, they're not messing about. All right, well, I'll be on my way now. Thank you very much, guys. Watch and learn, guys. No one is gonna be happy about this. Apart from us, we're gonna make it. We're gonna do this, guys. Nothing is gonna stop us. Are you ready? Let's go, Dwayne. We're charging. We're charging, dude. Let's do this. All right, run. Run up the stairs. Run up the stairs. Run up the stairs. Nobody's seen us yet. Nobody's seen us yet, dude. Oh, no. Now we've been spotted. Two stars already. <gasps> we got a guard. We got a guard. Out the way. <laughs> I ain't messing around, dude. Keep on running, Dwayne. Keep on running. Ah, there's no prison buses or anything. Right, we've got this, guys. We've got this. We've got this. We've got this. Keep on running. I know the exact way out of here. As long as we keep on running this way. <laughs> nice one. We're almost there. We're almost there. Get down the ladder now. Quick, jump down the ladder. Cool. <laughs> All right, get the officer. Get the officer. Bam. And the other one as well. And the other one. Boom. <laughs> we took the door with him. This is the deal. We're hiding inside this car. And we're driving this out of here, guys. Get out of my way. Get out the way. Get out the way, dude. Trust me, this is the preferred way out the prison. Come on, open the door. Yes. <laughs> yes. Oh, my days, guys. We've done it. We've escaped the prison. Now we just got to lose the three-star one to level. Only three stars. These guys are slacking, dude. We've got a chase already. Oh, my days. This is it. It's now on never. We ain't going back down to that prison. Where's the best place to hide in Sandy Shores? Clearly not a police car. I don't think a police car is a good place to hide. How about Trevor's runway? Trevor, please tell me you've hidden a plane or something on your runway. Please, 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 please. Oh, I don't see anything. I don't see anything, dude. No planes. No planes for us today. Yes, abandoned motel. I'm gonna lose them in here, guys. Lose them round here and grab the next vehicle we see. Nice one. All right, get out, get out, get out, get out. Oh, no, they're still chasing us. They're still chasing us. Through here, Dwayne, through here. Guys, I found something even better. We got ourselves a boat. I know exactly how we're gonna escape. Drive over to the Alamo, grab that boat, and we sail away. Almost, almost, almost. Nice one. Jump out, Dwayne. <laughs> Let's go. Da, 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 uh, I'm loving this action movie, Dwayne. <laughs> now what are you guys gonna do? You can't get a boat to the Alamo Sea very easily, huh? It's pretty much a lake in the middle of nowhere. Oh, you guys are screwed. Uh-oh, we got helicopters on us. Ooh, come on. Come on. Don't miss. Don't, Dwayne, you keep missing. Oh, my 
days. They're so difficult. Oh, we've got two helicopters on us. This ain't good. This ain't good. Just keep on sailing away, Dwayne. It's gonna be fine. It's gonna be A-OK. -okay. Ignore them. They have a terrible shot anyway, Dwayne. <laughs> And so do I. Don't worry. Everything is going to be A-OK. -okay. Make it for the bridge. This is where we lose them, guys. We go into the forest. We're like, whoa, whoa, where have I gone? Where have I gone, guys? I'm hidden away. They will never suspect a thing. Trust me, guys. Trust me. Trust me. This is it. This is it. This is how we do it, guys. Three, two, one, and jump, Dwayne. Jump out. Go, 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 go. Now, they will have seen that, and they will have no idea whether we survived or not. I mean, we literally jumped off a waterfall into rapids. Now, secretly, what they think is that I went down with the boat. You know, we're going to be down at the other side of the waterfall, but that's a secret, guys. What's actually happening is something else. <laughs> we're going to go back up to the top of the waterfall. We just simply climb. Ba -ba -da, ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Whilst everyone is gone over the waterfall trying to find me, there's us, Dwayne Johnson, the rock. They will never suspect a thing. Now we need to make sure the current doesn't push us under the waterfall again. But don't worry, there's a secret spot which I'm trying to swim to. Just around the other side. Stay underwater, Dwayne. Please stay underwater. Dwayne, underwater, underwater. This is crucial. This is the perfect escape, guys. They're never gonna find us, especially if we hide right here. What an amazing place to hide from the police, guys. Nobody's gonna find us. We're separated by a giant rapid, and we lost them, guys. You're welcome. You're welcome, Dwayne. We're pretty much a boss at losing the wanted level. I mean, you can thank me later, Dwayne. <laughs> Let's get you home, buddy. <sighs> oh, my days. What an exhausting day it's been, guys. Oh, a dog. Hello. My name is The Rock. The Rock may have actually just found himself a dog. Guys, welcome back. How are you doing today? I hope you guys are doing well. I, myself, am doing amazing because we're doing some Christmas shopping for the good old Michael D. Santa. And get this, I showed Franklin the merchandise store because, you know, I wanted to get Michael a mug. I wanted to get him a brand new hoodie or maybe even a zipper up hoodie. <laughs> But Franklin was so taken away with the merchandise that now we're shopping for ourselves. What do you think we should get him, guys? A hoodie? I think a hoodie would be quite good. <laughs> if you want to check out the store yourself, there's a link in the description below. I gotta show you some of the stuff we can do because we're playing GTA 5 as no ordinary person. Lester came in clutch and, you know, he sorted us out with a few things and now we can actually play as an actual hacker. <laughs> this white box over here. Hold up, hold up. No, wait, hang on a minute. I think I can hack my car from here. Dude, we can! Okay, this might- I'm gonna do it to my bike. I don't care about my bike, dude. Let me show you guys what we can do. Bring out the phone. Press this. Bye! <laughs> and now it's forever going right. Was that right? Yeah, it was right. It was just right, guys. Yeah, let's send it left, dude. I'm gonna send you- All right, reverse. Okay, get away from the plant pot. Nice one. And now let's spin you right. <laughs> <laughs> and straight. Okay, we're reversing again. All right, right a bit more. Okay, and then reverse down the lane. Get out of here, Mr. Bike. Go, go, get out of here. I didn't like you anyway. No, no, <laughs> don't fall over on me, bike. <laughs> You're better than that. No, I still see you around there. All right, that's good. That's good, guys. We got rid of the bike. <laughs> And yeah, that's basically how the hacker mod works. But we can use this in so many situations. Money trucks, ATMs, on actual people. We can send the police on whoever we want to. Even if they've done nothing wrong, guys. How amazing does that sound? So Franklin, look at me. Look at me, buddy. What kind of face is that? That is not a confident face, Franklin. Look at me. Look at me. <laughs> We are the most powerful person in Los Santos today. If anyone tries to track us down, we don't need Lester on speed dial. We got Lester's toolkit to hack whatever we want to. This is gonna be amazing. Let's go. Michael is gonna love this. We're gonna bankrupt him and then we're gonna get his cars to drive away. Who doesn't want to see this? Exactly. Wait, really? You? Come on, dude. This is gonna be hilarious. Don't worry. His car will respawn anyway. Hey, buddy, how would you like to drive that way instead? <laughs> Oh, where do you think you're going to, buddy? No, no, no. You can get out of here. Go on, reverse. Get out of here. Stop. <laughs> Stop. Yeah, okay. And then turn around, please. There we go. Have oh, my days. Okay. Right. I've lost control. I've lost control of the hacker thingy. <laughs> no, I'm sorry, sir. You have a good day now. No. <laughs> This is great. What would you do to Michael if you had this ability to hack like everything? I can already pick something up over there. What? Oh my days. Is it the maid? Dude, I can hack the maid. Wait, Michael, what are you doing? <laughs> Why is Michael standing on top of the kitchen counter? First up, I'm gonna steal your cash. Oh, only $15? Seriously, Michael? Come on. I know you have more than that. Give me more cash. Give me more cash. <laughs> That's all he had. Oh, man. Okay, Michael, you know what? I love you and all, but unfortunately, we gotta forge their evidence and get the police so over. <laughs> <laughs> yep, I can already hear the sirens on their way. Okay, Michael, you have a good day now. I'm gonna go and mess with the rest of your family. Jimmy, you got a phone call. Jimmy, there we go. <laughs> 
Yes! Get in there, Jimmy! Yeah, you'll wake up eventually. Don't worry. Sorry, Michael. All right, let's go and see where Amanda and Tracy are. Do you think they're in? Wait, Tracy, why are you running? Oh, Tracy, come back here! <laughs> come back here, Tracy! Oh, they picked up on it, guys. They know I'm hacking them. Oh, I can still... Oh, no. Now she's out of range. Doesn't matter, guys. I was gonna take our money. What about Amanda, then? Is Amanda in? Has everyone gone? Seriously? Guys, come on! Oh, my days. Yeah, they weren't so happy with me hacking everything, guys. That's cool. You know, it is what it is. I don't care. <gasps> The police are right outside, dude. I can still hear them. Hey, Michael, you might want to get out the back door. Just saying. <laughs> They're already here. All right, officers, he's in the kitchen. He's in the kitchen. I got to take a look through the kitchen. What's up with Michael? Is he still there? He's not even there, dude. He's not even there. <laughs> he's disappeared. Oh, guys, they got him. They got him. <laughs> I can literally send the police on anyone I want to. I did warn Michael after all. I mean, let's be honest, guys. I did warn him. Hang on a minute. Amanda was outside this entire entire time listening to music, dude. Okay, I'm gonna do this one more time on Amanda, and then we're gonna start doing some, like, mega heist or something. All right, Amanda, how are you doing? Give me a second. All right, nice one. Evidence has been forged. She's looking at me like, oh, what are you doing, Franklin? Is everyone okay? Mrs. DeSanta, everything's fine. Oh, she's run away now, guys. Well, um, <laughs> good luck. <laughs> Have fun. I wanna follow her. I wanna see where she goes. Amanda, don't think you're getting in that car. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Uh oh my days, she's legging it. She is legging it, dude. <laughs> All right, let's send the car on her. Go! No, that's reverse! Oh, I need to get the directions right. Watch this. She has no idea that she is now one of the most wanted people in Los Santos. All because we have a hacker device. Oh, she's walking towards me. Hey, Amanda! Hi! Hi! <laughs> Whoa, hang on a minute. Are you gonna go for her? Oh, oh, what's he gonna do? Go on! No, I definitely- I forged the evidence, dude. Come on, man. Come on. Don't let me down. The evidence has been forged. It's her. Go for her. Guys, it didn't work on this one. Lester, your tools are bugged. They're not working. Hey, what are you looking at, buddy? What are you looking Come on, pick up your phone. I dare you. Pick up your phone. Pick up your phone. Come here. Pick up your phone. That's right. Yeah, yeah. Sit down. Oh, uh, yeah. We've already scared a few people. Um. Okay. Let's do some other stuff. I want to go to an ATM, guys. We're gonna break this ATM open and steal all of the cash it has, guys. Where even is an ATM? Guys, they got Christmas trees up. I didn't even realize this. Oh, this is amazing. Yo, they got Christmas trees around Los Santos. They got a massive one over here as well. <laughs> Hang on a minute. There's a giant truck here, guys. I can't resist but to hack this giant truck. Okay, if I press this... Oh, now, now he's just barging forward, pretty much. Watch out for the Christmas tree! <laughs> oh, my days. Hang on a minute. What if I make the truck do donuts? Now, that sounds like fun, dude. You're gonna plow into so many vehicles. All right, three, two, one. There we go. He's, he's gone. He's gone left. Watch out! <laughs> Narrowly missed. Hang on a minute. Is he going for me? He's going for me! <laughs> Guys, I was looking in the wrong place all along. There's literally a bank over here. Hey, buddy, you saw too much. <laughs> you saw too much! I'm sorry, dude. Uh, you got a phone call for you. I'm, try I'm trying to hack his phone. Like, yeah, this is definitely it. He's not picking up his phone. Buddy, is your phone on silent or something? You know what? You've seen too much. <laughs> and that's what you get for not picking up your phone. Wow, he really is scared of me, dude. He knows something's going on. <laughs> Just please stop moving. Thank you. Uh oh, we got one star. Okay, I need to find someone to place this star on. Uh, excuse me, sir. Excuse me. Uh, no, <laughs> don't walk away like that. I haven't done anything. No, don't run. Don't, it's, I'm fine. Don't worry about it. Just come here. Come here. Take my stars. All right, there we go. We're fine now, guys. Look, we're already losing the one to level. Let's go and do our job in the bank, guys. So, ooh, here we go. Now we got an ATM. Okay, watch and learn, guys. What have you been spending your money on, Franklin? Uh, okay. Okay, not bad. Not bad, Franklin. Yeah. Uh, we've got some very big expenses. Why did we spend 264? Oh, that's money in from the theater. Oh, we're good. Nice one. Good to see my balance. We can always do with some more money. So a few buttons here. And <laughs> we just wiped out the ATM. Oh, my days, dude. That's great. That's amazing, dude. Is there anyone in here we can hack? Oh, it's empty. Okay, whatever, guys. Whatever. I'll just keep hacking these ATMs then. Oh, man. This is not gonna end well. <laughs> this is not gonna end well for any of us. <laughs> okay, here we go, guys. Here we go. Get ready, Franklin. And bring out that phone and start hacking this plane. All right, give us a second. Give us a second. Can we get it now? Can we get it? It's going way too fast. Oh, we can get it. Wait, no, we missed. Oh, come on. No, come back here. Come back here. No. Wait, no, I think I said it. I said it to go forward. All right, give me one second. I'm gonna send you that way. That's barely working, guys. This is too heavy. Okay, what about if we send you this way? <laughs> What if I just send you backwards then? Come back here. Go backwards. Backwards, I tell you. Guys, the plane is too big. It's too big to hack. How is this possible? Oh, jeez. Okay. Okay. We'll just walk away from that. And uh, it's okay, Franklin. That wasn't your fault. So apparently, we're able to... Oh, jeez. Oh, ow. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to work on my accuracy. No, not again. 
Oof, he's getting run over twice there, dude. Apparently, we can send vehicles into tankers and then blow up the tankers. I want to see if we can do this. Okay. No, wrong way. Wrong way. Wrong way. Okay, go that way, please. All right. And then straight into the tanker, please. Straight on. Boom. Good. That's exactly where I want you to be. All right, let's send the other one as well. Okay, you just go that way for a second and then go forward and then go that way and then go forward and then go forward again. Beautiful. Beautiful. Just what I want to see. And let's send this one as well. All right, this is a lovely car, dude. Whoever owns this one, you own a beautiful car. All right, let's send it that way. Send it forward. Let's sit. Oh, jeez. Oh, my days. Wrong way. Wrong way. <laughs> Wrong way. Okay, let's bring you back. Let's bring you. Okay, that was too far. That was way too far. Da -da -da. Straight into the tanker. Boom! Just like that, guys. And now all we gotta do is take a look at the tankers. And whenever you're ready, Franklin, three, two, one, boom! <laughs> That's what we're talking about, dude. Oh, no, you don't. You're not getting away from me. Come back here now. <laughs> we disabled the engine. Keep disabling. Keep... No, no, come back here. No. Oh, come on. You know what, guys? Who needs a hacker when you got an RPG? Come here. Come here, dude. Come here. Don't you dare try and dodge that missile. You're going down whether you like it or not. Come on. Oh, my days. Yeah, we're terrible with this hacker stuff, guys. Come on, dude. Oh, and he's losing range as well. No, hang on. I think we got him. He's trying to speed away. He's, he's trying to leg it now. <laughs> Wow, that was fast. GG. Got to admit, guys, that was pretty impressive. I want to see what these guys will do if I start, like, you know, hacking their phones. <laughs> hey, what's up, dude? How are you doing? Pick up that phone. Are you going to pick up the phone? Oh, there we go. That that's my man. <laughs> We got all three of them. That's a triple. Oh, they're scared. They're running away from me now. I really thought they would go after me. Not gonna lie. Apart from this guy who seems to not care. I'll leave you. I'll leave you. It's all right. You have a good day. No, no. Come back here. Come back here. I did not mean to. Uh, come, come, come forward, please. I want to get a taxi. Excuse me. Taxi. No. <laughs> Can I please just get in the taxi and get out of here? He's actually locked his door. Oh, my days. Hey, come here. <laughs> Oh, now I'll get in the back seat. Yeah, that's how it works, guys. That's how we do it. Just take me there. I don't care, guys. I'll go to the fairground. Oh, what's up? Are these guys in your way? Don't worry about it. We can just send them, you know, send them on their way. Can you hurry, please? I want to get to the fairground. I'll send this guy into you. <laughs> And this one as well. I'll just do a pileup. Why don't I? Let's do a pileup, guys. This person is really... Look at this guy. He's trying his hardest, guys. And I'm just sending vehicles into it. Hey, do you want another vehicle? Oh, don't worry. I can help you out here. Here you go. Have another vehicle. <laughs> and another one. And let's get another one as well. The richest person in GTA 5 lives in this house. They have a centillion dollars. And we're about to steal all of it. Now, I've done a big brain play. I've hacked into their security system. So I can see every single CCTV camera inside their house. From their bedroom, to the kitchen, to the lounge. And that must be the richest person. This is gonna be super tricky because this house is on a hill. I can't exactly just sneak inside around the back. I have to jump up these rocks. But Franklin's been training for this. I trust he can do this. Now, all I need to do is find a way onto that ledge. Oh, guys, this is gonna be so difficult. Okay, we gotta get on top of this rock. But whatever you do, Franklin, don't get caught. There's guards literally right in front of me. Okay, steady, slowly. Yes, this is going to plan. Everything's going to plan. Now, all we need to do is one big jump jump to that ledge and we can sneak inside. All right, here goes nothing. Three, two, one, go. Yes. Oh my days. We actually did it. Hey, did you hear that? No. Why? Uh, I'm going to go check it out. Oh no, guys. I raised the suspicions of one of the guards. I think he heard me when I landed on the ledge. Gotta get inside this house. I need to get that money. Here's a centillion dollars in there. Do you have any idea how much that is? Okay, I'm going to be extra careful. This guy doesn't see me. He's literally right above me. Maybe I was just imagining things. Looks like my luck's run out. I gotta figure out a way to get over this wall without alerting those guards. Not even a ledge I can stand on down there. Oh my days, this is not gonna work, Franklin. We need them to move. What if I just throw a grenade right over there? Go on, go on, go on. Who did that? Who did that? Two guards ran over there. Perfect. But now there's only one guy left here. Okay, this is the best it's gonna get, Franklin. Let's get him before they turn around. Three, two, one. Da! Nice. Oh, no. He shot his gun. Did they hear that? Oh, yes, they did. Franklin, we better get running. They found me. Jump down here, Franklin. We gotta find some way to hide in this house. They're chasing after me. All units. All units. We got an intruder. Oh, no, 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 no. They're already talking on their radio. Okay, I'm gonna hide in here for a second. I need to get this cash. Oh my days, there's someone here. Is he down? Nice. Okay, we got him. All units, suspect is fleeing the house. He headed north. Go chase him. Oh, amazing. I can hear them leaving in their cars. Well, here goes nothing. Is this the vault? Oh my days, what is this? I didn't see this on the cameras. No, 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 no. This is really protected. Is this what I think it is though? Oh my days, the gold is in there. I just shot at that and everything exploded. 
exploded. Oh my days. If I go in there, we're going to be torn to pieces, Franklin. I need to find a way to get rid of these lasers. Ah, the gold is literally right there. That's a centillion dollars. And all I can see is a keypad. Oh, it looks like a password to me. I don't even know the password. Oh my days. The cameras didn't show this. There's only one person who knows the password. And they're living inside this house. They're in the lounge. If I want to get this password, I got to go to him first. I will do whatever it takes to get that gold. Whatever it takes. And since we got a window, oh my days. No, we don't. They're back. Are you kidding me? He must have called his guards back. What am I going to do? They know I'm in this house. I'm literally trapped inside here. I need to get that gold. Well, in that case, I'm going to take him out. Stick him up, guards. Let's go get him, Franklin. You'll never get me through this bulletproof glass. Yes, it's actually working. I don't think they can shoot me through there, but I can shoot them through here. Perfect. I took out every single guard. Once I get the last few guards, he'll have nobody to protect him. Oh, that was close. That was really close. And now you guys are done. And now you're in the lounge. You were in the lounge. Where has he gone now? Oh, my days. He's left. And there's someone else in the garden. He must have fled somewhere. Don't let him escape, Franklin. He's got to be in the house somewhere. Now, if I was him, where would I go? He definitely isn't downstairs because I was down there. How many guards are there around here? <laughs> if I was him, where would I go? I'm about to enter the master bedroom. Oh, he's going to be in here. Stick him up. Are you here? Hello? Let's make this easy for us. You come out and, like, you know, give me the password sheet. <laughs> And I don't kill you. I think that's a pretty good deal if you ask me. Uh, hang on a second. I think I found the password sheet. Rich life for me. I'm never going to forget that password. Let's be honest. It's so easy to remember. No, 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 no. Something's happened. I think they shot me. Pick him up. He's coming with me. Uh, uh, what did you do? Wait. Hang on a second. Where am I? Oh, my days. <gasps> That's a shock. That's a shock. What are you going to do? Listen to me, mister. I'm angry with you. You've done a lot of damage. Too much damage. And you know too much. Hey, listen, man. All I wanted to do was take your money. Is someone just not allowed to dream or something? Come on. You've done a lot of damage to my team and my house. You're going to pay for that. Oh, no, 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 no. This is really bad. Franklin, come on. Get up. Get up, buddy. Get up. There is a shock there. There's a shock. I promise I will never come back to this house again. I'm going to have to find another way to take that money. It's too too late to beg for forgiveness. I've made up my mind, and my pet shark Harry is hungry. This guy is crazy. He's gonna feed me to the shark. I'm gonna have to make a break for it. Listen, mister, I'm sorry. Go get him, Franklin. Bah! Run, 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 run. <laughs> I'm getting out of here. Wait a second. If there's only one guard left inside the house, what if I take him out and use the password and get the gold and run? <laughs> That's a perfect idea. I think I managed to knock out the guy cold, too. Oh, come here, mister. Are you still there? Yes, he is. Get him. <laughs> Okay, now's my chance to get the gold and go. I'm gonna become a centillionaire. So I've got the password. Quick, put it into the keypad. Okay, rich life for me. <gasps> Amazing, it worked. No, 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 no. This can't be. The gold isn't here anymore. Where is it gone? What did they do to the gold? Let's check out those cameras, Franklin. Ah, oh, no, they moved the gold away. And they're driving it somewhere else. Fort Sankuto. They're taking it to one of the most secure places around. And luckily, this guy has a supercar. I'm gonna take this and track down that van. We got to get to it before it gets to the military base. Oh, no. No, no, no. I think I'm too late. I can see them on the bridge already. Come on, come on, come on. Come on. We got to get to that bridge. We got to stop them. We got to stop them. Uh, no. <laughs> They're already driving into the military base. Oh, this is going to be really, really close. Come on. Come on. Just catch up. Catch up. Catch up, dude. Come on. Oh, it's no use. I'm just a few seconds short. He's already met with the military. If I make a raid on this truck now, the whole military is going to be after me. Oh, yeah. I got the money on the truck. You know it's centillion dollars. Go on right in, buddy. We're expecting you. Please, guys. Uh, uh, I have a job in here. I'm an intern. I was back up for that truck, which is just going into the military base. Oh, come on. Please. You need to turn around and go. What? What? No, you can't do that. Please, man. I just want to get inside the military base. I totally belong here. I'm not going to ask again. Three, two. Okay, 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 okay. I'm going to turn around. I'm getting out of here, guys. Oh, my days. If I go inside the military base, they got tanks, they have jets, and missile systems. We're gonna be blown to smithereens. Ah, oh, man, but that money is inside the base. I need to find a way inside. If I don't get inside, then we'll never become a centillionaire. Oh, my days. They're taking it off the truck, and 
cabinet, putting it into the elevator? Hang on a second. It's going underground. This is going into a bunker underneath the military base. As if I thought it couldn't get any worse than this. There's got to be another way in. I've dug a tunnel. And believe me, this took me a long time to do. But since the money is underground in the military base, this is going to be the safest way to get to it. And behind that plank takes me down the tunnel, which takes me just inches away from what I believe is the vault full of gold. Oh my days, this is so crazy. They have no idea I'm right underneath the base. Like up there, that's the runaway. And I'm just walking underneath them. They have no idea. Now I do have this. This will tell me when I'm near metal, aka gold. And when it starts bleeping a little bit faster, that means I'm closer and closer to the gold. And I think I've just about nailed the location. We're almost there, guys. It's just down a few more steps. And here we go. It's already getting faster. <laughs> it's getting faster. Now it's just up here. At the other side of this wall is the vault full of gold and money. And once I blow this open, I'll take everything and become a centillionaire once and for all. Okay, one last sticky. All right, that's 20 different stickies on the wall. Now get some cover, Franklin. This is gonna be a big explosion. Three, two, one, explode! Yo, yo, <laughs> that was a massive explosion. And I think I'm inside the vault. Wait, what? Where's the gold? No, 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 no. I'm inside the vault and the gold isn't even here. Apart from this tiny gold bar. That can't be. That doesn't make any sense. Where would the gold have gone? Uh oh, guys, there is a guard right in front of me. What is he saying? Don't worry, we got the gold. They don't even suspect a thing. <gasps> They stole the gold. Someone else did before me. Looks like I'm not the only person after this centillion dollars. Now, mister, <laughs> you better tell me about this plan. How did you know? This was meant to be a secret plan. Gah, leave me alone. I'll give you gold. I got lots of it. Sorry, man. I'm here to take the gold. I want to become a centillionaire. Now, tell me, where are you moving it or else I'm going to call the guards back here since all of them have now left? You wouldn't do such a thing. You're here for the gold, too. If I go down, you go down. Oh, he's actually got a point, though. If, if he goes down, then so do I. Well, clearly, they're not too far ahead of me. So I'm gonna deal with this guy and then find this truck, wherever it is. <laughs> don't let them escape. Whatever you do, Franklin, don't let them escape! All right, get in the car and let's go. They can't be too far ahead of me. Once I find this truck, oh, believe me, that gold is gonna be mine. This can't be good. Which way do they go? This way or this way? I'm gonna go with this way. Let's follow the helicopter. There's quite a few police out here. Oh, my days. I can't believe this. They're all searching for him. I can't believe they've taken the gold. Yo, we better get this gold quickly. This guy has an entire Armageddon after him. And there's a barracks truck. Wait, hang on a second. This has the gold. I think I found the gold. What? <laughs> hey, mister, pull over. I need that truck. No chance. This is my gold. Mine. Fine. Looks like you've made your choice and I've made mine. Rah! Oh my days. Hang on a second. What is this? No, 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 no. He's got other people helping him. What am I gonna do now, Franklin? We're completely screwed. This car's gonna explode if I don't get out of it anytime soon. Guys, stop it. Stop it. I'm just a normal person. I'm gonna have to get them from in here, Franklin. It's the only way. Urgh, there's so many people here. What? I have no idea there were people working with him. I didn't even see them in front of me. Next time, I keep my eyes ahead, not behind. Like, I really bought some time. Yo, guys, I have just got a crazy idea. But I need to get out of this car quickly before that tank explodes. Here goes nothing, Franklin. Three, two, one. Urgh! Screw you! All right, now everyone's down. Grab that tank, Franklin. We're moving. Sorry, mister. You gotta get out of the tank. Listen to me. I'll catch your guy. Don't worry. I found him. He's at the airport, and I think he's about to be picked up by a magnet helicopter. I didn't realize they were on the records. Take him down. You never take the gold. This gold is mine. We gotta stop this helicopter from picking up the truck. Oh my days, this is so reinforced. Looks like you're not gonna be escaping today. Right, get him out of the truck. You got nowhere to run, buddy. That gold is mine. Not gonna allow you to disrupt any more of my plans. And now let's look at this gold. There's so much of it. No way. Oh my days. Franklin, we are now officially called a Sedillion... Franklin, what just happened? No, 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 no! Finally, this goose chase is over. Bring the gold back home and take it with us. Seriously, I was this close to getting the money. And now I'm stuck behind this wall of lasers. This is not fair, man. Come on, you gotta let me out. Welcome to my evil lair. You, my friend, are 10 feet below my house. And if it wasn't for you, none of this would have happened. I'm pretty sure some of this would have happened. There was someone else out to take your money. Why wouldn't you believe me? Oh, my dear. I can't believe I'm back with you again. I thought I dealt with you. And I thought I dealt with you too. Harry the Shark wasn't very happy. Anyway, 
You're gonna meet him very soon, and this gold will be the closest you ever get to it. It's where I store it, in case of emergencies. Seriously? Oh my day, so I can't get through these lasers, but I can stare at the gold. But there is a keypad here. Guys, I've got the note still. Franklin, we still got the note in our bag. I know the password to these lasers. No way, it actually worked. Get him, Franklin, get him. <laughs> this gold is mine. Okay, grab his gun, grab his gun, grab his gun. Uh, uh, screw you. Yes, and you're not waking up again. Oh, hang on, he's still alive. Oh my days, how are you still alive? That was crazy, dude. I can't believe that. I finally got the gold. All right, let's load all of this stuff up, get it to my house and start spending, Franklin. At a glance, it looks pretty yellow. You know, it's just gold, but this is now mine. It's all mine. And check this out. You haven't seen the best part. This is how much a centillion dollars is. It literally goes off the charts. This is like nothing we've ever seen before. I can do whatever I want. I can buy whatever I want. I could buy Los Santos a million times over and still have change left over for a McDonald's large meal. We're gonna have so much fun. And first things first, I'm gonna go and pay a visit to Simeon and see if he's got anything good for me. And I wanna upgrade this house. I mean, I have not just come this far to be the richest person in the world and not do any upgrades or get nice cars. <laughs> Simeon, 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 have you got something nice for me? <laughs> I can see there's a car in the store. Let's see what he's actually got. This better be a nice ride. Simeon, I got money to spend and plenty of it. And whoa, I gotta buy this car. This is a Lamborghini. No way. Hey, Simeon, tell me about this car. How much is it and can I buy it? All the way from Argentina. Rumor has it. The person who drove this last was a king. Are you ready to be a king? For a price of 50 million bucks, it's yours. I don't even care if I'm getting ripped off. I won't even see it leave my bank account. Simeon, I'll take it. Thank you very much. Oh, my days. I have just bought myself a supercar. It's a Lamborghini, dude. Check this out. The inside. Everything about this is luxury, dude. I can't believe I'm driving this thing. Okay. What else can we buy, Franklin? There's gotta be some other crazy things around this world we can buy, like houses and other stuff like that. Michael, what do you want today, buddy? Yo, I heard you ran into some money. I got some boats you might like. Swing by the beach. You'll love them. Now, these better not be some tiny little rowing boat, Michael, or anything like that. I wanna get myself a luxury yacht. Let's take a look at what Michael's got for me. It better be good. Whoa, this is awesome, Michael. Where did you find this? Skylight walkway right above me. A spiral staircase going up. And check this out. Dude, this entire area underneath is just for diving in. Hey, Michael, this is an awesome boat. Or should I say luxury yacht? Wow, there's even an inside to this, like a kitchen? How much for this boat? I will pay anything. 250 million? That's a bargain, Michael. I'll take the yacht right now. <laughs> I just bought a luxury yacht from Michael and check this place out. Look at this kitchen. I'm gonna make guacamole first thing. You just wait. There's bedrooms down here, marble bathrooms. This thing is a piece of luxury. And there's five stories of it. It's oh my days. Yo, Michael, this is a masterpiece. Thank you so much. Hey, what do you think about this place? I came across it just earlier, and I think it looks amazing. And get this, from above, it spells out F. So this is the front drive, and there's even a drive going into a garage underneath the house. Da -da 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 -da. Now I've parked my car underneath the house. This is awesome. Is there anything else down here? Like, what's through this glass door? This is the craziest house ever. Oh my days. I got my own security room? Now we're talking. And I think there's another secret door over there. I wonder where this goes to. No way. Hang on a second, guys. I've got an armory here for when people attack this house. And I got a vault for putting cash, gold, and everything else I want to stay secured. Wait, there's another secret door here? What? Guys, there's so many secret doors everywhere. I've got an office down here. This is so cool. Check out my view, guys. A view of a centillionaire. Why are we still wearing that bandana, Franklin? We're a centillionaire, dude. Well, you know what, guys? I've had a pretty crazy day. And it's about to get even crazier. Because when you weren't looking, I ordered a couple more supercars from Simeon. I told him I got money to spend, and he put an order in for me. Let me show you what's outside. I think it should be there. I know he said they were $50 million each, but guys, I couldn't resist. <laughs> now I have every single one of these kinds of Lamborghinis in the entire world. Check this out. I got so many of them. There's a sea monster in San Andreas, and it ate two surfers this morning. It's not a conspiracy. There's literally photos of it on the screen. And they're paying $10 million to anyone who slays the sea monster. Jimmy, you're coming with me. If you don't come with me, you're grounded for the rest of the week, Jimmy. Come on. I'm gonna find this sea monster and slay it myself. And if you would do the same, then smash like on the video. And make sure you subscribe, because if you're lucky, I might just 
share some of the 10 million dollars with a few of you who have subscribed to the channel. Jimmy, where are you? Come on! Don't make me throw your console out the window. I know you like that PlayStation 5 you recently got. I will smash that if you don't come now. Jimmy! Jimmy! Right, that's it, Jimmy. I'm. Oh, thank you. Good to see you finally came out. Come on, get in the car. We need to get a few supplies if we want to slay this sea monster. So I don't know too much about this guy. All I know is that he's at the top of San Andreas. He's eaten two surfers this morning. And the photos of him look insane. But I want to learn a bit more. Let's put the radio on and see what else they're talking about. Officials believe the sea monster is at least 100 meters in length, 20 meters in depth, and has more than 72 teeth. But remember, anyone who slays the sea monster will be rewarded with no 10 way. million dollars. Jimmy, we're finding this monster. And trust me, we're going to be well prepared. 72 teeth plus more. 100 meters in length? That's crazy. It's a normal day. And to think there's a sea monster just like floating around at the top of the map, which is like 100 meters long. I don't believe it. I genuinely don't believe it. I got to find this guy. I got to see him for myself. You guys need to see him. I will not end the video until I find this sea monster. Anyway, I got to go to the pier because we got to buy a few supplies to find this monster. If this monster knocks me into the water, I want to make sure I can breathe. Sharky's bites. Hook me up. Have you got any tanks for me and Jimmy? Man, they only had one left. I got the last scuba diving kit. Check it out. They gave Jimmy some armor, though, just in case. Yeah, let's just make sure he doesn't get bitten, shall we? Come on, Jimmy, let's get in the car. We gotta find a boat and we gotta get some guns. This is serious stuff. I'm not even kidding. If this sea monster even knocks us out of our boat, then we are 99% gonna die. I have no idea what to expect, but considering two people have already been eaten alive by this monster, I mean, anything could literally happen. Okay, the ammunition store. Let's take a look. What have you got in here? So, if I'm taking out this monster, Monster. We need to get some seriously heavy guns. And right now, I've got nothing on me. Okay, let's see. What would you recommend? Yeah, the RPG. All right, I'll max out some rockets. Anything else? The minigun? Of course. That's a really heavy gun. Do you recommend anything else for this sea monster? Amazing idea. The grenades. Yes, of course. I can just throw a bunch of these into the sea. Hopefully, one of them will land in its mouth. And then that's the sea monster exploded. Okay, this is actually coming along really well. Let's get some stickies. Nice one. Okay. Homing launcher. Not a bad shout, actually. Yeah, one of those. Close range. Now, I'm gonna need something short range. Yeah, okay, pretty good idea. Just an MG. I'll get one of those, and just in case we're doing something from a distance, let's get a sniper rifle as well. Other than that, I think we're pretty good. And then just in case we're knocked in the sea, this is my last resort. I got a knife. Are there any boats here? Oh, amazing there are. Okay, Jimmy, grab one of these. It's a luxury speedboat. These are like the fastest boats in GTA 5. Yeah, I think we're gonna be safe and fine in one of these. Come on, Jimmy, get in. You can take the sofa. Oh, no, guys. Jimmy's just standing there. He literally doesn't want to come with me. <laughs> Jimmy, you're coming with me or else I'm banning chocolate bars for two weeks. That's going to be horrible. I know you like chocolate, Jimmy. Now that got him moving. Come on, Jimmy, get in the boat. Under my watch, you're going to be A-OK, -okay, I promise. All right, he's down. Okay, let's go and find this sea monster. I can't believe it. We're fully prepared. I got my oxygen tank. Jimmy's got his armor. We have all of the weapons we need and we got a speedboat. Now, what we got to do is find this monster and I really hope the weather clears up because look at this, dude. It's cloudy. It's it's rainy. If the weather's like this up there, then the waves are going to be huge. Hopefully it brightens up a little bit. Oh, yes. The weather cleared up. Amazing. It's not too bad up here. Way better than Los Santos. Anyway, I'm at the north point of the map, and this is kind of the area where they found the sea monster. So I'm just going to take a look around here until we find him. Hmm, maybe it's going to be kind of tricky in a boat. It would be really handy if we had a helicopter. Okay, Jimmy, you stay in the boat. I'm going to find a helicopter. Project 53, are you aware there's a sea monster in your facility? Uh, where? Where? Where's the I don't see anything. Wait, what's that? Is that what I think it is? Oh my days, he wasn't joking. There it is. I gotta warn Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, it's over here. Can you sell the boat over here? <laughs> there is no way Jimmy's doing that. I gotta go down and grab that boat. But I just saw the sea monster. Did you see how big that guy was? Yeah, I know why they're paying me $10 million now. That guy was huge. Okay, I'm jumping out the helicopter and I'm landing back in my boat. Jimmy, I saw the sea monster. Jimmy is gonna freak when he finds out how big this thing is. Like, seriously. All right, land it in the boat. Oh, just missed, Michael. Come on. Guys, listen to this. Don't get yourself in the water again. Oh, my days. I can hear it, dude. I can hear it. It's so loud. Jimmy, you gotta pick me up. I don't wanna get eaten. Where is he gone? There you are. Jimmy, come here. Come on. Don't let your father just swim around in the sea. There is literally a sea monster like a mile away. Just pick me up, Jimmy. Come on. Okay, the sea monster was somewhere in that direction, I believe. Yeah, it was in this direction, just a mile this way. Do you reckon the monster's gonna eat the entire boat? Can it even do that? I'm gonna just be positive and say probably not. Hopefully not. Oh, Mr. Sea Monster, I know you're around here. I literally saw you like 10 
seconds ago. Where is he? Okay, I'm gonna dunk back in the water and just take a listen around. Jimmy, just look out for the boat for me, okay? Let's see. Can I hear anything? That's so loud. No, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, Michael, get out. That's so loud. That's really loud. Okay, we are really close to this sea monster. I've already seen him as well. I think he's in that direction. That was so loud. Let's go this way a bit more. Just a little bit more, Michael. A little bit more. We should see this monster at some point. Hold on a second, Jimmy. I'm gonna need you to throw some grenades when I say so. I mean, he's gotta be like here. There is no way he's anywhere else. Guys, the ocean has like calmed down so much around here. Good for seeing things, but I still don't see the monster. Where are you, man? Where are you? Okay, let's throw some distractions out. I'm gonna lob a grenade. Maybe that'll do something. Come on, Mr. Monster. Come on, Mr. Monster. Two, three, lob it. Come on, Mr. Monster. Come on, Mr. Monster. Where are you hiding, buddy? I know you're there. Where is he? Come on. Talk to me. Show yourself. Where is this guy? I know you're here. Come on, bro. Why are you going to be hiding from us all the time? I'm going to dive down one more time. Do you reckon we can hear him again? Jimmy, hold on to the boat for me. Hello, Mr. Sea Monster. This is so nerve-wracking, dude. Every single time I jump in, I just expect to see him. No, 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 no. Get on the boat. Get on the boat. That is so loud. Okay, we're getting really close to this guy. And that was extremely loud. No, Get on the boat. Get on the boat, Michael. Get on the boat. Oh, jeez. Okay, on the boat. All right, guys. I think it's fair to say we're really close by. I'm going to just take a look with my sniper, actually, and see if I can spot him. Come on, buddy. Come on. I know you're around. Where are you? Come on. Show yourself. I know you're here. Sounded like the noise was coming from that direction, to be fair. So I'm just going to throw another grenade and see what happens. Come on, Mr. Monster. Come on. Show yourself. I want this $10 million. Now, when I see him, I'm going to fire all of these rockets straight into his mouth. <laughs> Jimmy, this is gonna be epic. Oh, 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 guys, did you see that? Oh my days. That looks like the monster. I'm gonna take a look down. <gasps> oh my goodness, are you kidding me? That's huge. Okay, let's just take a swim round. I've got grenades. Don't worry, guys. If this tries to eat me, I'm gonna literally blow it up from the inside out. Oh my goodness, that is massive. Look at that thing. It's got like five tentacles. It's kind of like a giant starfish. That's so weird. Okay, monster, I'm here. And if you wanna eat me, then come and eat me, buddy. Come on. I got grenades. If this guy tries to eat me, I am literally going to explode it. Okay, let's try and get it back to my boat. So my boat is over there. That is like the size of the tip of its tentacle. That is crazy. Okay, let's get back to the boat. Come on, Mr. Monster, chase me. Chase me, buddy. Come on, chase me. It's going to get pretty crazy from now on. Prepare yourself and hold on. And whatever happens, do not fall in. All right, get on the boat. Where's this monster? Is he still chilling? Oh, no, he's still there. Okay, Michael, get ready for this. Three, two, one, fire. Did that do anything? Oh. <gasps> Oh, yes, it's exploding on him. Okay, and again, and again, and again. Come on, keep firing, Michael. Come on. Yes, this is working. This is working. I am literally firing rockets at this guy. Come on, come on. We're gonna take this guy out. Wait, guys, he's coming out of the ocean. Shoot him, Michael. Get him, get him, get him. Come on, come on. Get this guy. Dude, he's trying to swim. What? That's so weird. He's got like arms and legs and everything. Okay, I'm gonna try and get really close. Attach some grenades to him, and then bam, sea monster done. All right, let's go around the back. I don't even think he's that hungry. He's not even even trying to eat me. This is so weird. And, okay, three, two, one. Attach that. Attach this. Okay, perfect. I've added some, like, uh, grenades onto this guy, and I'm gonna swim away and detonate all of them. That should at least do some damage. Swim, swim. Go, 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 go. All right, get back in the boat. Jimmy, this is gonna be crazy. I hope you're ready for this, buddy. Three, two, one. Oh, oh did I do anything? He's still swimming. What is going on? I'm gonna shoot that thing. Is that the mouth or is that the eye? Like, I literally don't know. Come on, Mr. Monster, die. I gotta get the $10 million. Jimmy, can you help me out? Can you, like, find something else? Like, lob some grenades or whatever? This guy is not dying. We just gotta get him to stop moving and then I can take him back to land. Oh, yeah, these are landing right on the eye. <laughs> Oh, yes. All right, that's good. Again. And another one. And another one, Michael. And another one. Come on. Go Hold on. Did I get him? No, he just disappeared. I think I got him. Oh my days, dude. He's not moving. <laughs> we got the sea monster, Michael. All right, let's tie this up at the boat and take it back to land. Jimmy, sea monster is down. We're getting $10 million. I'm doing so many upgrades and Michael's house is gonna look pretty crazy. Check it out, Jimmy. I knew we'd get the sea monster. Check it out. I'm gonna take this guy back to land and celebrate with the people. Guys, take a look at this. That's the sea monster I collected. That is way more than 100 meters long. It's huge. And it's got one, two, three, four. I think it's got five tentacles, which is amazing. I've never seen a monster this big with five different tentacle arm thingamabobs. There's the fifth one. Wow. And they're kind of like arms. Look at them. They're curled up. Yo, okay. This is a big monster. Now, it's definitely dead. There is no way this thing is waking up. So let's go and get my reward. <laughs> 
And before we do, I want to take one photo with this epic beast. Beautiful. All right, we're never going to forget this day. What a crazy day. I can see the house upgrade. I can see it already, dude. Okay, I've never done this, but I have modernized Michael's house. You know, it was built in like 2013. That's such a long time ago. And now this is basically what the house would look like if it was GTA 6. <laughs> All right, let's just go inside the garage and take a look inside. So I don't think I change much on the inside, but the outside is where it matters. Check it out. This is the kitchen. Blah, 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 blah. We do the cooking. We do the eating. We do the sitting. We do the watching. And if you need to know the time when you're in the garden like Amanda does. Amanda, I'm not going to come near you. Okay, I just want to show people the clock. There's the clock. It is midday. And if you guys thought this was cool, you haven't even seen the best bit. It's not down at the tennis court. It's not in the swimming pool. It's not in the garage. It is over at the side because I bought this car back from Simeon. I collected it yesterday. And let me tell you, it was insane. This is the most futuristic car I've ever seen. I have coated it in solid diamond. It's the Mercedes Vision AVTR. One of the fastest I've driven. One of the craziest I've driven. And check this out. When you get inside, the display literally lights up. Look at that, dude. That's amazing. <laughs> I can't wait to take this for a spin. So I'm going to take it outside. Start driving this around. It can go side to side. It can go forward. It can go backward. It can do it all. But speaking of which, I have done everything today. I've taken out the sea monster. I got the $10 million reward. And we have spent it well. No way. <laughs> hey, they came through. It is a giant super robot. <laughs> all right, let's get this. Let's get this. We got to buy it, guys. Ron, just hold me up here, okay? You know, you're my hype man. Oh, geez. This guy looks scary. Okay, there's 20 people watching me. Be very careful. All right, Trevor, just hand him the duffel bag. Look at this thing. <laughs> I can't wait to drive this. It's got like blades in the chest as well. Those hands look like they spin around. And oh, my days. Imagine if we could like pick up the maze bank, like, you know, drill into the ground, like. <laughs> You can count it if you like. No, he's gonna trust me. All right, well, uh, in that case, he knows where I live. Let's go and take a look at the robot. <laughs> I can't believe I've just bought this, dude. Wait, hang on. I can't go in it until he's left the scene. All right, well, in your own time, buddy. In your own time, please. Does he really not trust me? This thing is a beast, dude. Okay, I'm gonna climb it through the spine and get in. We gotta find a way into the head because that's where you drive it. This is mighty high up, Trevor. Be very careful with your next step. This is incredible. Guys, look at this. Look at the view. All right, let's get inside. No way. Guys, I'm inside the giant super robot. <laughs> And the mouth lights up as well. That's so cool. Okay, let's test out some of these powers, guys. Hey, Ron, can you see me from up here? Wait, I can shoot rockets? I can oh, no, I've got a wanted level. Someone, someone just, someone just... <laughs> I got jetpack feet as well. No way. Okay, someone has called the police on me already. Ron, was that you? Okay, Ron, I'm coming through. <laughs> Wait, Whoa. Oh, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, Ron. Where did he go? Where Ron? Uh, hey, Ron. Trevor coming in. Ron, are you good? <laughs> There's no answer. Guys, if you had this super duper robot, what would you do? Trevor's found something else out, actually. Why is his spine going red? That's kind of scary. Trevor, have you found the LED lights? <laughs> have you found them yet, buddy? Whoa! Hey, we got laser. Is this laser mouth? Is that la is it? It's laser mouth. We have laser mouth, guys. And we can incinerate anything. Even this guy, watch. Boom. Oh, hang on. We got a helicopter. Wait, wait. It's coming. It's coming. <laughs> We can incinerate anything. I gotta take this to Michael's house, guys. He's gonna get the biggest surprise ever. <laughs> Any other police officers? There's this guy coming up. Get incinerated, dude. Get incinerated. How have they only given me four stars? If this was roaming around my city, I would evacuate the city and just give the city to the robot, to be honest. There is nothing you can do. Hey, just casually flying up to Maze Bank. I mean, think about how heavy this beast is. And the fact that we got jetpacks. It's like I'm sending a rocket to space every time I fly. I want to do this sort of King Kong style, guys. You know, we're going to do this monster style. We're going to stand on Maze Bank. And Trevor, we're going to do a roar. <laughs> Hey, what's up, helicopter? Can I destroy them with sound waves? That would be pretty cool. Let's just get them out of the sky. Oh, we missed. We missed. No! <laughs> get the hell. Whoa! He just came off my shoulder. That's even better, dude. I can fly into them. Oh, I just kicked him to the ground. And that's one lost helicopter. Okay, off to Michael's house we go. <laughs> Literally nothing is going to get in my way. Hey, Michael. Michael, guess who's up? <laughs> it's me, Trevor. Uh, he will have no idea it's me. Or will he have an idea? Uh, let's find out. All right. Three, two, one. 
Uh, what are you gonna? Oh, here we go. Yeah, start smashing the house. That's what we're talking about. All right, we're gonna do some kicking now. We're gonna we're gonna take down those hedges. Let's do it on the roof, actually. I'm gonna stamp on top of Michael's roof. Oh, he's gonna be so angry about this. <laughs> Michael, your house is getting destroyed. Oh my days! I have like a glowy thing in my hand. How on earth? Uh, what is it? What is it? What, Trevor, what is this? Stay away from me. I'm destroying Michael's house. Adelia, Adelia, I'm destroying the house. <laughs> okay, I think that's enough. But I'm going to cause a scene outside anyway, just for fun. There's so many police down there. And I just took all of them out in one stamp. Fantastic. I'm going to use the hands this time. I've picked up a car. Nice. Just like that. And we're going to throw it at Michael. There we go. It's in the tennis court. You know what, guys? Maybe this will send a message and ultimately eradicate Michael forever. Michael! Wait, hang on. No, just Michael's house on fire. Let's let's bring this up a notch and set the neighborhood on fire. Oh, oh, just beautiful. Just beautiful. Look at that. That is a fantastic, magnificent scene. <laughs> He is so gonna hate me for this. Hey, I'm curious. Do you reckon we can get the plane with this? What's the range like? That's not very good on the range. You know, they told me we could destroy anything. I'm struggling with this plane, you know. What about the helicopter? Oh, oh, oh. You must be terrified. You must be so... <laughs> Seriously? Man, these are the lucky... Okay, you know what? I'm flying up to them. We're gonna use the jetpack and we're grabbing it. What's the distance with this thing? Hang on, I take it back. I think we did actually destroy the plane. All we did was create some minor turbulence. We barely did anything to that plane. That's so disappointing. They told me this razor could destroy anything. Clearly not that plane. Anything flying above me is pretty safe. I'm going back to Trevor's house because we got to, of course, park it outside his house. Being very big and all, it's quite difficult figuring out where to put this thingy. And considering everyone probably doesn't like it, <laughs> you know, it's a difficult thing to store. So we got to get creative with this. How are we going to store the giant super robot? Seriously, guys. I mean, let's think about this. You know, we got to figure out a way some way or else they're going to take it from me. And then the next thing you know, Michael will be the one with this and he'll be destroying my house. No, this is too powerful. Look how far we sent that caravan <laughs> like seriously we can't allow that to happen so where are we gonna put this thingy yes yes trevor i know it's stressful no need to punch the ground about it dude look there's plenty of things to go after like this police car but don't just go and take your energy out on the road what's the road done to you all right let's find a place guys if you were to think of a top secret location where would you put it i've got a really good idea we're going to fort san Cuto. if we wipe out everyone in fort san Cuto, then no one's gonna notice and they're just gonna think oh they're working on a special project. Little do they know, it's Trevor. And Trevor has literally captured Fort San Kuto. That is a fantastic idea. All right, what's up? Bam! Did we get him? I heard some glass smash. I think I think we got some, some something. Oh, we got him. There we go. <laughs> I can still pick him up. Poor guy. All right, let's go inside. Oh, yes. There's so many people here, dude. All right, let's sort them out. Hey, get out of here. Go. <laughs> Right, I'm destroying the cars. Bye-bye. See you, Fort San Cuto. That was fun. I'll be taking this place now. It's all mine. This is my place now. <laughs> this is all mine. There's got to be everyone. That has to be. I'm getting some planes spawning in up here. Oh, hang on. There's someone over here. It didn't reach to this side. Three, two, one. Is there anyone in the tower? I feel sorry for them if they are. And boom. Hang on a minute. There's one person left on the runway. They're coming from the fire station. All right, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Let's just sort this out. We know we'll be gentlemen about this. <laughs> They're still coming at me. Where are you coming from? All right, you can get out of here. You can go. You can scram. Go. Oh, no. They brought in air support. Uh-oh. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah, you might want to get back. Seriously, you might want to go back home. <laughs> <laughs> Get out of here. This is... Oh, jeez. We're still chasing after them. Trevor, they're done. They're sorted. All right, let's go back inside the base. And you know what? That is a very empty base. I don't see anybody left around here. Nothing moving. Nothing happening. This is mine. This is beautiful. Okay, can I park the robot up inside the hangar? Is that possible? I'm gonna give it a go. Uh, no, it is not possible. So I'm just gonna leave this thingy right here. If anyone wants to try and get it from me, then good luck. I have captured Fort San Guto. Trevor, let's get out of this and stretch our legs. Welcome back, everybody. Today, I got a brand new job, and this job has a lot of responsibility. It might end up saving your life. So, please take me seriously. Grab your popcorn, buckle in, because today, I'm playing as a paramedic. Guys, this is gonna be awesome. I can't wait. And I need to pick my province, the location, the hospital I want to work at. We could do downtown Los Santos. We're gonna get so many emergencies there, dude. Or we could go just outside of Los Santos to Pillbox Hill. No, I don't want to go there. That's a tiny hospital. Let's
let's go somewhere big. Where's the next one? We could go to the side of Los Santos. Oh, man, I don't know. No, I'm gonna go downtown. Let's go downtown and start this out. Oh, yes! I get to pick my vehicle as well. We could choose a 4x4. Four four. This is the emergency team supervisor car. I'm not a supervisor today. We're a paramedic, guys. Or we could go with the helicopter. We would get to scene very fast, but I'm gonna leave that to the other guys. I am gonna play as the paramedic. We're taking the ambulance. Let's go. <laughs> All right, guys, let's do this. So, who are we working with today? We're working with this guy. Oh, my days. I just realized. I've got a call out already. Del Perro Freeway. Police department and fire department on scene. Oh, my days. This doesn't look good. And it's on a freeway? Guys, there's gotta be an entire pileup or whatever. Oh, man. All right, can you see anything, guys? I can see a vehicle over there. I can see a fire engine. Oh, my days. Oh, come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. We gotta save their life. All right, here we go. Right here, guys. The fire department are trying to do CPR. Oh, my days. Guys, guys, guys. We gotta close off the area. This is not good. I'm leaving the ambulance here. Someone's trying to repair the car. Don't worry. Clear the area, guys. Oh, my days. It's a woman. Okay. Move, move, move. You stop doing CPR. I'm gonna figure this out, okay? Uh, wait. Wait. <laughs> This is not where we do CPR, buddy. What? Okay, I'm gonna train the paramedic clearly because right now he's doing CPR on her leg. No! Oh, come on! My first case of the day. Oh, no! Guys, she's dead. We lost her. That's so annoying. We Don't worry about it, buddy. We'll find another one. We'll find... Victim is dead. Update your status and call for the coroner office to remove the body. Oh, man, I really thought we could have saved that one. Unlucky, man. Suppose crashing on the freeway has its dangers. Hey, hey, guys, what are you doing? Don't try and drive through here. Excuse me. Can't you see there's a victim on the floor? She needs our help. Jeez, some of you people. Now, let's get out of here, guys. I'm gonna... <laughs> He's still trying to repair the car. <laughs> you guys can clear the area. I'll leave the police on scene. I'm gonna find somebody else. The time is coming up to 9 a.m. This is peak time for crashes. Rush hour. People are tired. You have no idea what happened the night before. Oh my days. I've got another call out. Rescue 27. Red Desert Avenue. Police department on scene. Can you get there? Yes, I'll be there right away. It's only 0.73 miles away. Okay, that's not too far, guys. Uh, Red Desert Avenue. I don't know which avenue that is. All right, coming through. Coming through. Ambulance driver coming through. Excuse me. Ambulance. Jeez! Guys, clear out the way, please. Hey, where is the victim? Where, where are they? Oh, my days. Okay, I need everybody to clear the area. Clear the area, I tell you. Don't worry, officer. I got this one. Don't worry. All right, we can do this. Let's just take a little check. Stand back, stand back. I'm just... Just checking the pulse. Can we hear anything? Come on. Oh, they're dead again. Don't worry. Don't worry, guys. We're gonna we're gonna bring him back. We're gonna bring him back. No, don't die on me. Don't do this. Come on, guys. We can't let it get to 100%. You see that little bar over there? Hey, stand back. St oh, my days. It's going up. It's going up, guys. If we let that bar go too far out of control, then we're not gonna get them back. Come on. Come on. You can do this. What do you reckon this guy's name is? Bert? Okay, we got his name. It's Bert, guys. Come on. Come on. We can do this. Come on. No, the bar's going up, guys. Everyone's telling me to leave him. I'm not leaving him, guys. We're taking him to the hospital and we're getting him fixed up. He's gonna be fine. He's doing some weird performance. Not gonna lie. Don't you're standing on the victim. <laughs> He's not gonna wake up like this. There we go. I'm taking him back to the hospital, guys. All right, Bert, don't worry about it. I'm bringing you back to the hospital. Let's just turn it around. Oh, my days. How do we get that on the back of the ambulance? What? Okay, we'll just ignore that. Luckily, there's another ambulance driver there, guys. <laughs> Don't worry, bud. I'm bringing you to the hospital and we're saving your life. Hey, 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 can't you see I'm trying to get through here? All right, come on, come on, bring it around. And, but it's time for you to get off. All right, nice, fantastic. There we go, guys. Rescue 27, we got a call out on Del Perot Freeway. There's police department and fire department on scene. Can you get there? Affirmative, I can get there. We're gonna be there right now. All right, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. There they are, guys. All right, nice, fantastic. I'm just gonna take it around the corner. Guys, coming through. Just let me weave through, fantastic. Okay, I'm making a little roadblock here, so no. No one can really get through. Don't worry about it. I'm gonna help him out. What's the status report on this guy? Does he have a pulse? Come on. He's been doing CPR. That's good news. Already increases the chances of survival. What are we thinking? Let's see. Just checking for a pulse. Stand back. Oh, no pulse. No pulse, guys. And they're already quite close to... Oh, no. We can do this. We can do this. We can do this. Come on. Come on. I want to save somebody today. We got to save somebody. We're going to have to put her on a stretcher, guys. No person left behind. All right. You guys get her in the back. I'll deliver her to the hospital. Oh, man. Another person. No pulse. 
no beat, no anything. Are we gonna save anybody today? I'm playing as every animal in GTA 5, but on top of Mount Chilean is a top secret animal, one you've never played as before, a Tyrannosaurus Rex. And if we find these four animals, we get to unlock the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Oh my days, is that a Megalodon shark? Do they exist in GTA 5? <laughs> oh no! Anyway, this is my kennel. What do you guys think? I think it looks very nice. Oh my days, you haven't eaten your pork chop yet? Chop, are you feeling good, buddy? <laughs> Seriously, man? Oh my days, he hasn't even touched his food. Well, uh, okay, clearly we're not very hungry. Yay, this is the life, everyone. Shop in the jacuzzi. Franklin is so gonna kill us. <laughs> if he finds out what we're doing, he is not gonna be happy, dude. Chop, let's get out of the jacuzzi. And let's go in the pool. Oh man, I don't even know if Chop can swim, but there's only one way to find out. Do you reckon Chop can swim? Let me know in the comments. Oh, Okay, and oh boy, we can't swim. Chop, <laughs> we, need to, we, we need to swim, boy. Oh no, this isn't good. Chop, chop, we need to. Oh my days, guys, I don't even know what to do. I think I'm drowning. Chop, chop, we need to get out of the swimming pool. So all I need to do is find an animal. That should be simple enough. And one of them on the list of to find is an actual, like, cat. That should be easy. You know, all we gotta do is find the cat and keep our fingers crossed. Chop doesn't go for the cat. Chop doesn't like cats too much. So let's see. I wanna find this cat because I really wanna become the Tyrannosaurus. Rex. If you could become any animal in the world, which one would it be? Let me know in the comments below. I have a feeling I'm gonna get some really crazy suggestions. <laughs> if I had to be one, I would love to be a turtle. Don't ask any questions. I just really want to become a turtle. Come on, Chopper. There's gotta be a cat here somewhere. Seriously? I haven't found one at all. Hey, have you got a cat lady? No? Okay, she ain't got a cat. Oh my goodness, they're so difficult to find. Where are they? <gasps> yes, I found a cat. All right, little kitty, you're coming with me. <laughs> I'm gonna become the cat! Three, two, one, BAM! I'm actually the cat! Yo! That's one animal off the list! Now we're just three animals away from a T-Rex! Why are we walking so slowly? Come on! It's not chill day! This is the one hour of the day you actually have to be awake, kitty! Come on! <laughs> we need to get away from the big angry dog before he realizes we're a cat! Run! Run! Can cats swim? I kinda wanna find out, let's just <laughs> let's throw him in the pool! <laughs> Seriously, come on! No one can swim! Oh, hello! No, a cat can swim! Cats can swim! Hey, look at- look at- Bobbing, bobbing up and down. Okay, little bob. <laughs> Wait, wait. <laughs> I can literally spend all day doing this. But we need to find some more animals. So let's... We're so unbothered by the fact we're in a swimming pool. This is not cool. Come on. We need to get moving. Hey, be my friend. Come on, be my friend. Be my be my friend. I'm just a little cat. Come on, be my friend. Be my friend. Be my, be my friend. Come on, buddy. <laughs> Come on. Why are you running from me? What, what have I done? <laughs> are we a witch or something? Like, bro, we're just... We're literally a cat and I just terrified that guy. So he is clearly scared of cats. Are you scared of cats, lady? Come on. Come on. Someone just pet me or something. I'm a little cat. Come on. Come on. Why won't you pet me? What about you, buddy? You want to be my friend? Oh, oh. hey. Hey, you don't kick the cat. Oh, my days. People are terrified of cats. Why? <laughs> what? I thought cats were so adorable. Oh, my days. I feel kind of bad for this guy. Let's, let's get out of here, man. We're gonna find another animal to be. It is not safe being a cat in GTA 5. Oh, my days. He's still running? I can't even attack people. I just scratch my ear. I'm not even vicious, guys. Look, I'm just, you know, scratching my ear, doing my own thing. Oh, have you got a problem? with me scratching my ear. I literally have not even spoken to you, buddy. Do you want to pet me? Stop kicking me. Stop. Stop it. Stop it. Okay, we're really gonna find another animal. People hate me. Why? I am just a cat. I found a bunny rabbit. Come here, buddy. Come here. I just want to become a rabbit. Hey, we're a bunny rabbit now. Amazing. Finally, I'm no longer an animal which people hate. Alright, now we're a bunny rabbit. This isn't even one on my list, but I'll take it anyway. We're, we're just hobbling away. Little bunny rabbit, you know, minding his own life. He doesn't need low sandals. He doesn't need those cheeseburgers and fries. He's got grass around him and plenty of flowers. Lovely red flower. Nibble, nib, nib, nibble, nibble, nibble. Oh, sniff your toe then. Yeah, wh whatever. What do rabbits do then? Sniff toes? Is that what you do? <laughs> okay. Hey, there's another rabbit friend over there. Oh my days, there's so many rabbits here, man. It's like rabbits all over the hillside. Hey, buddy, do you want to be my friend? No? No? Okay. You just run into your bush then. Fine. Whatever. I don't need friends anyway. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> Rabbits don't want to be my friend either. Why is everyone so scared of me? All right, guys, I need to find a deer because a deer is like one of the other animals we need to become if we want to become that T-Rex. So let's go and find this deer. We can't afford to scare the deer. There's the deer, guys. And all I gotta do is go up to the deer, ask him very politely, like, hey, Mr. Deer, would you would you like to uh, to be possessed? And yeah, then that, that that's how we roll. So <laughs> we just gotta find the deer. <laughs> hey, buddy. He's... Oh, no! No, why? Are you running for all oh my days? Come on! Seriously, a little bunny rabbit scared you? Wow, these deers are so scared. They can be scared so easily. They're running up the road. Are you crazy? What? We need to sneak up on one, like properly sneak up on one. 
Speaking of which, there is a deer right there. And he's eating some grass. I don't even think he's seen me. Steady on. Careful. Careful now. Careful. Careful. Go slowly. Go slowly. Come on. Come on. One step closer towards becoming the T-Rex. What do you know? I'm the deer. I did it. <laughs> Finally, another animal off the list. That means there's just two animals left, and one of them is a bird. That's gonna be really hard, because I, I don't want to state the obvious, guys, but birds can fly, and deers can't. We're gonna have to figure out a really clever way to be- Oh my days, there's butterflies. Imagine if I could become one of those. You fly away, butterflies. Go migrate somewhere. <laughs> so I'm a cool deer. Do you reckon deers can attack things? Let's find out. There's a deer over there. Just gonna walk over to that other guy very slowly. Hey, what's up, buddy? Can I be your friend? They're not running away from me. They're actually being friendly to oh no <laughs> I didn't even decide to attack the other deer. He just did it for fun. I'm very sorry, buddy. Didn't mean to do that. That was an accident. Are you gonna be my friend now? You know how it is. That's how friends become friends. I just gotta test out the strength. You know, this is character building. If a big giant tiger comes after us, then we're gonna have to fight it. Okay, I think we're gonna do a play for- Oh no, come on, man. All right, he's not gonna fight me. That's cool. You just keep eating your grass then. <laughs> he is the most laid back deer I have ever seen. <laughs> I'm just sending the deer to the ground and he's just loving life. Like, I just wanna eat my grass, please. There's a rabbit down there. If I hadn't have become a rabbit, I would have so become you. Oh my days, guys, look at this. I'm gonna overtake him. Yo, 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 you're so slow. I just overtook him, yo. This is the craziest deer ever. Wow, I'm so impressed. The deer literally overtook the car. We go light speed and there's Mount Chiliad. That's where the Tyrannosaurus Rex is hiding. And I've actually found some birds. Shame they're in the sky though. Would love to become one of those. This is gonna be really tricky. I don't even know how to find birds. Like, where are they gonna be? Are they gonna be on the ground in the grass? Like, are the little bird houses, little nest icons? find. All right, Mr. Cow, I want to become you. Ooh, I'm a dairy cow now. Awesome. Hey, guys, if you don't subscribe, this is what I think about you. You gotta subscribe to the channel. Seriously, give it a go. Something actually happens when you do subscribe as well. You won't believe it, but if you press the subscribe button, you actually affect the video, so press the subscribe button. It's like somewhere around. It's free to do. Has anything happened? Let me know in the comments. <laughs> oh my days, there's some little piggies in here. Oink, oink. I'm now a little piggy. I think he's meant to be pink, but he's black. That is mud. He used me rolling around in so much. <laughs> this one isn't as dirty. All right, nice. Now I feel much cleaner. All right, you just go and get yourself a shower. All right, get that mud off you. <laughs> Look at him splosh, splash. Yo, this is so messy, this place. No wonder why these pigs have mud all over them. Come on. Right, I gotta find a way for one of those birds to come down and get me. And I think I've got the perfect solution. I need to find a bunny rabbit. You're not gonna like this, guys, but it's the only way. I found a bunny rabbit. Now, instead of becoming the bunny rabbit, we're gonna do something a little bit different. Hey, Mr. Rabbit, three, two, one. <laughs> come on, get the rabbit. <laughs> This rabbit's magical. Oh, there we go. Now we finally got him. So now there's a bunny rabbit on the ground. Oh, my days. I can already see a bird shadow. <laughs> Oh my days, the laws of nature. All right, let's just wait for a bird to come down. I've given it a very nice meal. You know, which kind of bird would skip on that? Yes, a bird's come down. Quick, before he flies away, before he flies away, before he flies away. Come on. Oh my days, I've done it. I've become a bird. I've successfully done it. And look at me, I'm a boss. This guy's like king of the sky right now. <laughs> Thanks, little piggy. Guys, screw Franklin, Trevor, Shop, Michael, whoever. This bird is the king of the game. Anyway, let's do some flying. I want to go and like... Oh. She's still flying to anything. I want to find this Megalodon shark because we're just one animal away now from unlocking the Tyrannosaurus Rex on top of Mount Chilia. I don't see a Megalodon, but I can see lots of hammerhead sharks. Maybe we'll have better luck finding the Megalodon if we actually become a fish in the sea. And hammerheads can go really, really fast. All right, let's become one of those, little birdie. All right, cool. I'm a little hammerhead now, so... <laughs> <laughs> Look at me. Oh, my days. This is awesome. Right now, I'm on a mission to find a Megalodon. Oh, my days. Guys, I found him. I found the Megalodon, and I think he's sleeping. He's not even moving. You are massive. Right, I'm not even wasting any more time. Let's just become this big guy. I've done it, guys. I've unlocked the Tyrannosaurus Rex, and now I'm the Megalodon. <laughs> you are terrifying. Whoa, look at those teeth. Hey, guys, I don't know about you, but I would not want to come across this Megalodon shark. Let's go back to land and see if I could spot any other bits of food. You know, after all, I'm always hungry. When you're this size, you'll eat just about anything. Blah, 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 blah. Come on, there's gotta be some animals here. It's so lonely being a Megalodon. Everyone's so scared of you. I have 
haven't seen anything. Wait, there were. I just became a fish. Oh, swim, swim, go, go, go. There's a megalodon behind you. Quick turn this way. We're going up there right now. <laughs> I don't really want to get swallowed by that megalodon. So now I'm a fish. I mean, at least we'll be able to find other animals. You know, playing as that megalodon was way too tricky. And I got to figure out a way to get back on land now. If we can make it to the island, maybe there's a couple of animals chilling on the island. Like, even if it's just a rabbit, I just got to find a way to get back on land. I really want to become that T-Rex. Dude, now I know it's on Mount Chiliad. That's all I want to do now. Just become the T-Rex. Can you imagine the havoc we'd cause in Los Santos as a dinosaur? <laughs> Not just any dinosaur. The scariest dinosaur in GTA 5. No way. No way. I've done it. I've become a bird. Amazing. I don't need that fish anymore. <laughs> oh my days. I hate flying with birds. It's so easy to crash. Hey, look at me. I, I, I got a friend in the sky. Way. <laughs> Guys, this is perfect because now I can go straight to Mount Chiliad and find the Tyrannosaurus Rex. Hey, buddy. I'm going to race you to Mount Chiliad. Let's go. <laughs> there it is, guys. Mount Chiliad. The one and only. It won't let me go up anymore. This is like the maximum height I can fly. Are you crazy, right? Oh, my days. Guys, I can't get up to the top of the mountain as a bird. Wait, I think I can see another animal. We got to find another animal to get up there. And hold on. Is that what I think it is? Oh, guys, if this is the animal I think it is, then we're in for a treat. This is like the rarest animal in GTA 5. Oh, it is what I think it is. It's Bigfoot. No way. <laughs> All right, let's become Bigfoot now. How on earth did I find this guy? I'm out here trying to find a T-Rex, and I just found Bigfoot. The mythical creature, the one and only legend. This is Bigfoot. I don't believe... How have I found Bigfoot? This... <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm so loving it. All right, so I'm just Bigfoot, and I'm on my mission to find the T-Rex. I just heard it roar, dude. It's on the mountain. We definitely unlocked that guy, but check it out. I'm running so fast. I want to find some animals to go up against. I'm not going to fight a T-Rex, guys. I know Bigfoot's cool and all, but let's be honest. He's not going to be a T-Rex. <laughs> I want to find like a deer or something. Yo, I'm Bigfoot. Look at this. I'm jumping like really high. Guys, humans can't jump like this. Bigfoot has been training his legs for a while. <laughs> you ain't skip leg day, buddy. You're just jumping like 10 meters high. Anyway, I still haven't found anyone. No nothing. No T-Rex. No people. No animals. It is just me up this mountain. You guys hear that? That sounds like screaming. I think something's happening on top of... Oh, I can see his tail. That means the T-Rex is definitely up here. I have a feeling the T-Rex is already causing some damage. Oh my days, you just took out two people? Guys, this is the T-Rex. Wow, look at those arms. Look at those arms. <laughs> I'm gonna become the T-Rex. i become the T-Rex. We've done it, guys. <laughs> I can now do whatever I want to. I am the strongest animal on this planet. Hey, guys, are you not scared of a big T-Rex here? Come on. <laughs> What's wrong with you guys? All right, let's eat them. That is a very strange way of eating them. Hey, come on, stamp on them. What? How are we supposed to? There we go. Yeah, I kick him down. Kick him down. This guy literally does not care that I just kicked his friend off the cliff. You're following, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. See ya. Wouldn't want to be you, buddy. All right, let's jump down there. Oh, my days. Not head first. Not head first. Not first. Oh, boy. I went straight through the map. What well, T-Rexes are not meant for this game, clearly. B-5-0-5. Be scared. Seriously. <laughs> let's go out of this guy. Oh, my days. Oh, I just blew up some cars. I literally just blew them up. Hey, you show not pass. I'm a T-Rex. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this is amazing. Look at this guy in a pickup truck. Oh, uh, day's over, buddy. Sorry, day's over. Bam! Oh, my days. I just sent that guy so high in the sky. Where did he go? I didn't even see where that car landed and just went high in the sky. I wonder if I'll ever get a wanted level. Like, does that cross the code? Dinosaurs on the road? Like, uh, am I in their draw restriction or something? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go off road now, guys. It's been a pleasure. Absolute pleasure. You know, I wanna see what happens if I play as like a little bunny rabbit and I go after the dinosaur. Like, could you imagine? <laughs> hey, there's gonna be some animals here. Come on! You won't believe it. I found a chicken. So now I'm playing as a chicken and oh my, what's happened to my dinosaur? Buddy, are you good? Excuse me, dinosaur. Are you okay? I think something happened to you. <laughs> What's, what's, uh, let me let me come and help you. <laughs> oh, 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 there we go. Got your head out of the sand, I see. So uh, can we be like enemies? I kind of want to be chased by a dinosaur. I'm a little chicken, so you got to bend down quite a bit to, to even try and eat me. Oh my days, this is crazy, dude. Mr. Dinosaur, how are you doing? Doing good? Yeah. Go, yeah, go get him. Go get him, little chicken. Go on. <laughs> Come on, little chicken. Wait, where are you going? You better come after me. No, I set the dinosaur loose. Oh, no. <laughs> Guys, the dinosaur has gone loose now, unfortunately. 
Wake up, Franklin. Rise and shine, buddy. <laughs> he doesn't know it yet, but I've got Franklin a brand new job. And this is literally the best job you can ever imagine, guys. It ain't just working at a store. It ain't just sweeping up the streets. It's being an actual full-on fireman. And with the three hours sleeps Franklin got last night, I think he's gonna be fresh and ready for the day. We're gonna be rescuing cats from trees. We're gonna be putting out fires across Los Santos. And we're gonna stop buildings from literally burning down. Guys, we've got some important stuff to do. And I gotta admit, I'm looking forward to this. Franklin is going to be risking everything, but he's going to come out such a stronger person by the end of this. And if you could support him by pressing like on this video, not only will it give him a nice little bit of good luck for today, it will also make my day as well. So let's all press like together, guys. Three, two, one, smash like on this video. <laughs> all right, Franklin, let's see. What have we got in ye old fruit bowl? We've got some bananas, some oranges, some apples. Yum. Oh, look at that massive improvement already, guys. Franklin's ready for the day. Okay. Okay, let's take him to the station and start the first job. Guys, what do you reckon we're gonna find this morning? I mean, people are gonna be going to bed a bit later than usual. Maybe someone's woken up and their house is on fire. I got a clock in for six in the morning. So we've got 40 minutes to go. Start off the day well and begin saving lives. I can't believe I'm doing this. Guys, this is gonna be awesome. It was only the other day I played as a paramedic and now we get to play as a fireman. <laughs> Franklin, you're gonna love this day, dude. Guys, I got my first call. Commercial structure fire, rescue 27, Mad Wayne Thunder. Under drive. You're the closest person and first arrival. Oh my days. Guys, guys, guys. <laughs> We're gonna be the first one due. The commercial structure fire. It's only around the corner. Oh my days. Guys, don't let them down. Put the sirens on. I'm on my way. I'm on my way. First due. I don't believe this. Where's the fire? Is this the barber's store? Oh my days. Bob, Bob. No, there's a fire in the store. Okay, guys, I'm gonna have to go inside and put out the fire. Franklin, grab the fire extinguisher now. I hear other officers coming this way, guys. I reckon there's gonna be other responders. Come on. Oh my days. Not the reception desk. I literally get my hair cut here. Every single day. Come on. Oh my days. The fire is spreading. This isn't good. This isn't good at all. Come on. Bob, I'm here. Yes, we got someone else. Okay, we got other people on scene. Jeez. Are you gonna help me or what? Dude, there's literally. Yeah, come on, guys. Put out the fire, please. Please. Come on. Okay, reception is safe. How's it looking inside? Oh. Thank you so much. Okay, Bob, I think your salon is good. I think we saved the place. Let's just take a look around here. Are the toilet's good. Anything in the toilets? No, toilets are locked. Staff only. Nothing in the staff room. Okay, guys, you know what? I think we put out the fire. Coming in, coming in. Rescue 27. We got a commercial structure fire on Portola Drive. Can you get there? You'll be the first to arrive. You're the closest there. Oh, jeez. Guys, I'm the closest one there. We got like a mile left. I'm gonna have to make a jump. We're gonna risk this. Nice. That's cut off so much distance. <laughs> Literally a third of a mile. Four. It pays off, guys. It pays off to have confidence. It's so foggy, dude. If there's smoke coming out of this building, then it's going to be weighted down. And, man, it's going to stay in the air much longer. we got to put out this fire. Commercial structure fire. Let's see. What have we got? Oh, man, that spread pretty fast. Come on, get inside. Ow, 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 ow. I just literally just ran on the fire. <laughs> Come on. Jeez, this is dangerous. Dude, the entire store's on fire. Are you kidding me? Come on, I can really do with some help. I've only got 60% left of this fire extinguisher. Dude, we're not going to have enough. Come on, I've only just put out this corner. It's still... We go. Okay, nice, 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 nice. 40% left. Back up, anyone? I'm the only responder. Come on, grab the clothes, dude. The clothes. There's so many expensive clothes in here. I hope they've got insurance. Okay, you know what? I think we're good. Oh, no, guys. The shopping assistant was in here at the time. Okay, I'm gonna need to get um ambulance back up. Afternoon officers. We got a receptionist behind the desk. Doesn't look too good. Doesn't look nice at all. Oh, my days. I can't believe that, guys. At least we put out the fire, but can't save them all. You just can't save them all. That's what we gotta tell ourselves. Calling all teams. Calling all teams. We've got a vehicle fire on Sandcastle Way. You're going to be the first Jew. Rescue 27. You seem to be closest. Can you get there? Can you get there? I repeat. Can you get there? Oh, my days. He seems serious. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll be there. I'll be there. First Jew. I think I can see a helicopter in the sky. Oh, my days, dude. Wait, hang on. Where's the waypoint gone? I can see the vehicle, but no waypoint. What have they done? Oh, no. It's flashing. It's flashing. Oh, my days. Guys, I have a really bad feeling about this. No, 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 no. Guys, I'm spending way too long trying to get this car. It's flashing as well. Come on. On. I'm doing some off-roading. I'll apologize later. Going through the car park. Where's the fire? I've arrived. We've got fire brigade. Excuse me. Can I just get through? I can see a car. Oh, there it is. I can see the fire. Let's put out the fire, guys. This must have been so close to exploding. Imagine the casualties, dude. There's so many people around. Oh, geez. Sorry. 
<laughs> just ran over someone. Okay, I think I think we're good. Fire done. It's just smoking now. Uh, we got an automatic fire alarm going off on West Mirror Drive. It's been buzzing for 10 minutes. No response from owner. We believe there could be a fire. Rescue 27, you're the closest unit to the location. Can you get there? All right, we got an automatic fire alarm. So this could be anything. You know, someone could have triggered a fire alarm. Maybe it's just going off because it's having a bad day. Who knows? I gotta check it out, guys. You never know. Oh, my days. Petrol station. I don't blame them for wanting me to arrive. There is a fire going on. This is at the petrol. Guys, move it. Move it, man. <laughs> guys, I better put this out quickly. A fire at the petrol station is not good. All right, don't worry. I'm here. I've arrived. Come on, come on, come on. Stop the aisle. Guys, I need your help here. I'm actually working with the fire department team. This is so cool. <laughs> Let's just put out the gumball machine. Carnage. That was total carnage. What is the shopkeeper okay? Hey, hey, excuse me. Hold up here. I came here first. This was my... Oh, my days. I see how it is. Hey, 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 hey. I'll have none of this. Yeah, I got fire extinguishers. See how you like that, huh? Dude, they don't like me. Why don't they like me? I'm gonna check if we put out the fire. Just bear with me. Let me just get through. All right, fire has been put out, guys. Now I'm getting... Hey, 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 hey. What's, what, what is your problem with me? Seriously, dude. Okay, I'm just gonna back away. I don't really fancy having problems. I gotta call backup. There's a bystander down. Guys, can we just help the bystander quickly? Well, we got an ambulance here. Don't worry. Bystander's gonna be fine. If you could just do some... Uh, paramedic work on that. Uh, guys, I got another call out. So, uh, yeah, if you want to help me out, you can. But if you want to just get angry at me, then be my guest. Yeah, yeah. See how you like it, huh? <laughs> Screw you. All right, let's get out of here, guys. I got another commercial structure fire coming in on the radio. I'm the first one on scene. I definitely will be the first one on scene now. It's two miles away. Jeez, I have the worst team in the world. It's two miles away, dude. I'm going to be the first one to arrive. All right, you better get there quickly. This fire can spread very fast, if not. I think this might be in the clothes store. Oh, Oh, geez. I used that clothes store as well. It's a pretty good value store and they sell so many things. They sell some amazing shoes in there, dude. And hats. Let's not forget about that. Oh gosh. Okay, guys, we got to the fire. Don't worry. I'm here. I've responded. I got a fire extinguisher. Let's go in and sort this. Oh, geez. That's right at the door, guys. Stay back. Stand back. I'm going to run up. Ow, ow, ow. Yeah, run on the fire. That's always a good idea. Put out the fire. Put out the fire, dude. Dude, this is spreading so much. Where are the other guys? Come on. Okay, I think this is kind of working. If we set a perimeter around my feet, then the fire can't get to me at least. And that'll buy me some time. Man, it's setting fire to so many expensive clothes. There's gonna be like tens of thousands of dollars of damage here, dude. Alright, how long do I have left of my shift? I got like one hour left, guys. So let's carry on. I'll do another task. I really want it to be epic this time. Like, I want to run into a building and like save people. How cool would that be? Uh, coming in, we've got a vehicle fire. Address Clinton Avenue. Unit assigned rescue 27. You'll be the first one to arrive. You're the closest on scene. Can you get there? Oh, yes, I can get there. <laughs> Whoa, jeez. Jeez. What are you doing driving on the road, buddy? Can't you see fire engine coming through? All right, guys, I got to go and sort something out. We got a vehicle fire happening on Clinton Avenue. I am the fastest and the best fireman around. Franklin, don't let anyone else tell you otherwise. If you start putting comments in the comments below saying there's better firemen in Los Santos, well, go and find them, guys, because they ain't doing anything. All right, I can see the car. It's flashing on my radar. I'm going to take the street aligned to that car so we're not, like, turning too much. I really hope it's not a supercar. Dude, you can lose so much money like that. Oh, my. My days. It's already exploded. Guys, I was here too late. It literally just exploded in front of my eyes. And oh no, the owner was right next to it, dude. Let's make sure there's no other casualties. I can't believe that. The car exploded in front of my eyes. Oh my days. I don't think he's gonna make it, you know, guys. Let's find out. Oh yes, fire brigade. Good to see you've arrived, huh? <laughs> Bit too late. What kind of car was this? Do you recognize the... What are you doing? Seriously, I put out the fire. What do we have? A grotty. That's a sports car. That's a nice car. There's the owner. I'm so sorry. Sorry, lady. Guys, I'm gonna do something better. I'm gonna do one more shift. We got a motor vehicle accident on the Del Perro Freeway. Police department on scene. All units, please arrive as fast as possible. Del Perro Freeway, huh? Motor vehicle accident. So this could literally be anything, dude. Yeah, we better go and put out this fire quickly. We don't want any more accidents. We don't want to hold up the traffic. People are trying to get home, see their families, go about their day, maybe sort themselves some dinner. We don't want any of that to happen, guys. Traffic can build up so quickly. I don't know if it exploded, but it looks pretty bad. There's a body right next to it. Oh gosh. Oh my. And, and a police officer. Oh my days. Okay. Fire has been sorted just in case. Let's see if we can put this out even more. Take a look around the car. I don't want this exploding in my face. No. Okay. That's good. We're going to try and save the victim. Don't worry guys. Clear the area. Clear the area. I'm going to try and save the victim. I know a little bit of CPR guys. You know, after all, we are a fireman. We got to rescue people. We got to save the day. How is she doing? Does she have a pulse? Come on. Looks like she went straight through the windscreen. Let's 
Let's see. Okay, we're doing some CPR. Come on. You can do this, ma'am. You, you pull through. Pull through. We need to help on the police officer as well, guys. I'm gonna call some ambulances on the way. Oh, dear. No, my guy, Franklin, thinks there's nothing we can do. Just in case, let's call the ambulance. Yeah, he, guys. This isn't good. Paramedics, let's get some on scene. Victim is... Oh, no, she's dead. Oh, man. That's so annoying. Okay, we got emergency services on the scene. But you know what, guys? On that note, we put out loads of fires. I'm really sorry for the victim. There's nothing I could have done. But now she's in the hands of the paramedics. Maybe they can save her. Who knows? I'm getting out of here. We're going back home. We're clocking off. And we're getting ready for the next day. Well, I won't be needing this fire engine anymore. It's all yours. Have fun, night team. I'll be getting out of here and going home. <laughs> oh, man. What a day. I fancy saying hello to Chop. You know, making sure he's good. Chop, how are you doing? Do you have a good rest today? Oh no, he's gonna be up all night barking. He was sleeping throughout the whole day. This is what happens when I leave him alone, guys, and not take him for walks. He just sleeps and stays up all night. Today is the day where we get to play as Santa Claus, guys. I have been waiting for literally the entire year to play as this guy. There's been a lot of planning, there's been a lot of effort, a lot of work. We've read every single Christmas list, and we are not letting Los Santos down. We played as Santa Claus two years ago, we played as Santa Claus last year, and now it's the time of the year where we gotta play as him again, guys. And none of this could be done without Santa's little helpers. Literally. <laughs> They're just adorable. They have helped me throughout the entire year. And I haven't shown you guys a top secret feature which Santa Claus can do because, you know, he's magical, guys. We can use our magical powers to do a few things and twist time and basically make it look like we do all of the work. <laughs> Underneath Mount Chiliad, right below our feet, are a few different grottos where presents are being built as we speak, guys. They're being wrapped, they're being sourced, they're being bought upon spells and just created there and then. And then they're sent up the chimneys to Santa's little helpers. We got one down here actually, who was collecting some presents. Yep, he's still getting them, guys. <laughs> yeah, we just gotta reel them up with fishing rods. It's the most practical way. But there's so much going on down there, and these chimneys only show up around Christmas time. If you guys go to Mount Chiliad, you might actually see them. Although, then again, I don't think anyone can see Santa Claus. I don't think humans are able to. So, maybe you won't, guys. You'll have to check it out for yourself. There's another one around here, though. You got all your presents? One left to go. One left to go. Okay, keep it up, guys. In just less than an hour now, we gotta go into Los Santos and deliver these presents. Guys, how about this one? Is this all good? That clipboard is huge, dude. Oh my days. Yeah, he's got everything. Nice one. Okay, one has been done. We got all the presents out of that grotto. A few more out of there. A few more out of there. Oh my days. I'm so nervous, dude. I cannot wait to go into Los Santos and deliver all of the presents. These are all the houses we have to go to. And you're probably wondering, why aren't we going to all of them? Like there's a house there, 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 there. But the only ones we got to go to are these two red ones. There is no way one man, Mr. Santa Claus, can climb down every every single chimney and get to every single household in one night. You know, time zones help a little bit. <laughs> But we gotta split up and we share the work with all of the other Santa's little helpers. You never know which one is the real Santa because all of us are technically the real Santa. Hang on a minute. Is that another one of my elves? Yes, it is. Santa's little helper. Oh, my days. Okay, three out of three grottos done, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Time to get in the sleigh and deliver these gifts. I cannot wait, dude. This is gonna be so much fun. All right, we got train sets, a boat in there. We got a few parcels. We got a plane. And then inside that giant brown sack is every single present in the entire world. Billions of presents guys. Do you want to see the coolest trick? All right, we just got to take off. Give it a second. Wait for it, guys. Wait for it. Bam! We got it, guys. 20 different Santa Claus sleighs. Let's go! Oh, my days, guys. This is just amazing. We got every single Santa Claus out. So one's going to go to Los Santos. Another one's going to go to Sandy Shores. You guys have fun now. I will catch you all later. Have fun! <laughs> oh, my days. It's so foggy, dude. We got to be careful. One of the sleighs have just landed over there, dude. Oh, my days. This is amazing. This is amazing. I love this time of the year. <laughs> All right, where's the first house at, guys? All right, just around there. I know exactly where that is. I went there last year. We share the houses, dude. It's always different every single time, but sometimes I get the same ones. We've arrived at the houses. No one is out. No one's awake. Perfect. Okay, I'm gonna land this. Let's put this over, over on here, guys, just in case. I want to make sure I can climb up to it, just in case, dude. Oh, man, this is exactly how I remember. They play really loud music. These guys party on Christmas Eve. Makes it even more difficult just to go inside. Oh, they left cakes. Yes, please. I'll be taking one of those delicious cakes. And oh, they even left me notes as well, guys. Looks like someone forgot to write to Santa. <laughs> All right, let's see what they left us. Oh, 
Oh, guys, these notes are really written out. Okay, Santa, I'm sure we can figure something out, right? Yeah, we can give him something. <sighs> okay, let's get inside. I wonder who's gonna get that giant football, guys. What do you think? <laughs> Not Jimmy, I can tell you that. Guys, if you're ever driving on Christmas Eve, you could end up being like this person. Who would have no idea Santa Claus is literally meters away from them flying past. <laughs> they would have no idea, dude. Because guess what? Humans can't see Santa. You stay here now. Be very good. I'll bring some carrots up. Guys, you do leave carrots for the reindeers, right? If you don't leave carrots out for the reindeers, then the reindeers are gonna get grumpy. And you might not get the presents out on time. Seriously, be serious about that. <sighs> Look at the Christmas tree. It's beautiful. All right, slowly, slowly. We just got to place a few presents down. Uh, Behind the red one, maybe behind the green one. I gave that guy loads and loads of new socks. He needs socks, guys. That's literally all I saw on that list. Socks, 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 black socks, comfy socks. Look who came to show up, guys. People are still landing here. This is magical. This is magical, dude. There's another sleigh over there. There's another sleigh down there. And there's another one in the garden round there, guys. Oh, my days. Police Obey is getting treated tonight. Easy. Easy now. Easy now, Rudolph. Don't want to end up missing this. This roof is so small. Okay, I'm going to give it a go, guys. We're going to give it a go. All right, just forward. Forward. Turn. And let's go back down. Here we go, guys. Here we go. Shh. Ooh, cakes. Don't mind if I do. Nom, 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 nom. <laughs> I'm joking, guys. I'm gonna go for... Oh, I think they got blueberry muffins in there, dude. They're delicious. Yeah, I'll get a blueberry muffin. All right, let's see what we have here, guys. Green, yellow, red. Yeah, I reckon we could put down... Hmm, PlayStation 5? They've been asking for one for a while. Let's put one of those down. Whoa, whoa, whoa. <laughs> this is quite a takeoff, Rudolph. Yeah, guys, he didn't get any carrots. He's being a bit annoying now, not gonna lie. But it, it is what it is. He knows what job he's got to do. So Sandy Shores, let's see. Oh, hang on a minute. We didn't do the two houses in Grapeseed. We gotta go there first. Oh, no, is there someone outside? Oh, man. Guys, if we open that door, they're gonna get freaked out, dude. Okay, we can't go in that way. We gotta go in another way. Let's see. Good guitar playing, though. Good guitar playing. Okay, I think this is a back door. I Fingers crossed, please. There's a window here, at least. Okay, that will have to do. All right, put the present down. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Yes, we finally get to go to Los Santos, guys. I've been waiting to go here for such a long time. The apartments, the flats, the luxury places we get to go inside. These people celebrate Christmas. Guys, look who's arrived. <laughs> it's good to see you all again. Oh, my days. I thought I wasn't going to see you for a while. Wow, it looks like we've all done Sandy Shores, Grapeseed, and Polito Bay at the exact same time. You're doing an amazing job, everybody. And it's not even two in the morning. Guys, you're all doing an amazing job. Let's keep it up. We're on track to actually finish early tonight. Can you believe it? I still got that plane and boat to give away, guys. I, uh, trust me, I haven't forgotten about them. <laughs> yeah. We gotta do this with style, though, guys. Straight over the Vinewood sign. Let's go! Guys, it's not every day you get to see that. Come on. Come on, dude. Let's go! <laughs> Yeah. All right, guys, let's go to our houses. I got one right up there, another one there, three over there. I think we'll go over here first, guys. Let's start here first, and we'll make our way down into Los Santos. Again, what is it with the chimneys, dude? There's no chimneys here. Oh, we have to take the front door again, I guess. Not the end of the world, but I would rather a chimney. Where is the Christmas tree? There it is! There it is, guys! All right, let's put down some presents and get out of here. Oh, man, I knew this would come up. We got an entire apartment block to do, guys. Look, this is one house. <laughs> But there's at least 50. All right, we got to sneak in through the chimney. Let's go with this one first. Shh, shh. All right, put the present down and let's go. Oh, I'm glad that's done, guys. That got rid of a lot of presents in this sleigh. Ooh, look at this house. It's lovely. Oh, my days, dude. Okay, I can't wait to go inside this. How many rooms do you think they have? Like 20, 30? Let's find out. And their neighbor's one as well is beautiful. Looks like we're all right on time. Well done, guys. Well done. They got the neighbor. Over there, they got the other neighbor. Guys, we are sweeping through. Okay, the chimney, chimney. Here we go. They actually have a chimney as well. And a mini golf in their back garden. Guys, that was the best house I've ever seen. They literally had, like, marble pillars inside. And it was complete marble flooring. Whew. Those guys are living in luxury, dude. Oh, my days. Okay, let's get out of here. Let's go. We got another house to go to. Oh, no. I got this one. Oh, come on. How many flats do you think are in here, dude? <laughs> I'm gonna estimate maybe around 120. That's a lot of different flats, dude. Okay, probably less. Probably less, but still a lot. This will definitely take us a while. How long do we even have, Santa? Oh, no, not long at all. Okay, we gotta 
do every single flat in under an hour. Do you think we can do that? Okay, you stay here. Trust me, I'm gonna come up with a giant bag of carrots after this. Oh, they got notes. Oh, guys, look, they actually left notes out. It looks like someone forgot to send their letter to Santa Claus this year. No worries, no worries. We can read these and hopefully, fingers crossed, deliver. You can, right, Santa? Yeah, I'm sure he can. He's magical. That ought to do the trick. Two giant bags filled with presents. Now, let's get out of here before anyone hears me. Do, do, do. Can we drink this, actually? Oh, man, they left this out for me as well. Why can't I drink it? This is Santa Claus we're talking about. Guys, you're never gonna believe this. What was meant to be an hour's job is now like 15 minutes because all the other Santa Clauses came to help out. <laughs> they got two Christmas trees. There's another one over there. Oh, that's amazing, dude. All right, put a present down and let's go. Okay, let's get out of here. Where else do we have to go to now? We've done most of them, guys. I've got all of these. I've got this one. I mean, I've got a couple over here. I think probably a good idea to do a few of... Ooh, hang on. There's loads of houses there as well. Okay, we'll go to that neighborhood next, guys. Let's go. <laughs> Some of the Santas, believe it or not, have delivered all of their presents and now they're helping me deliver mine. So this neighborhood, there's quite a few houses. How about we all go for one each and then maybe another one each? Yeah? Sounds good to you? Sounds good to you? <laughs> Sounds good to me, guys. All right, this is the neighborhood. Let's deliver the presents. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's go. And you know what? That's a wrap. That's a wrap. We got every single house included. Every single one of them on the list, guys. And it's not even dawn yet. We finished early. This is great. And we've already got a few other Santa Clauses joining me, guys. Let's go back to Mount Chiliad. Is everyone done? Did you guys finish? Yes! Yes! Everyone's done! We got everyone back, guys. Just at the right time as well. The sun is beginning to rise. Come on, let's get back to Mount Chiliad. Set up base. I could do with a hot chocolate, actually. And a good night's sleep. Or a good day sleep, I suppose. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey guys, good to see you again. You'll never guess what Michael did. No, go on, actually take a guess. Just the other day, he was watching TV. What's that? Advert came online. The advert says, Super Cup Police Officer. Do you have what it takes? In like a really cool, dramatic voice. Like, do you have what it takes? <laughs> And then Michael was sitting there on his sofa, you know, like, oh my days, I gotta do this. So guess what he did? Walked into the police station, blagged his way into this role, and now this is us, guys. We're the people they call on the high-speed chases, guys. You know, we're talking about the high, high speed. Have you ever seen GTA Online? Supercars literally everywhere, guys. Why are we in the meeting room? There's no one here. <laughs> Let me just do my briefing. I gotta fit the part. <clears throat> You're probably wondering why I made myself this empty meeting room. Well, this is where we're introducing my partner. He'll be here in a second. <laughs> in exactly five minutes. Ah, here he is, guys. <laughs> There's no briefing. I was just making it up. I just wanted to try and be professional. Let's go. Let's go and take these supercars. Are we even gonna solve anything today? I don't know, guys. <laughs> right, supercars, let's go. Uh, yeah, we're in the wrong place. <laughs> We gotta go around the front. Give me a second. The arrow is probably gonna take us in the right direction. Through these doors, maybe? Yep. Oh, nice. I made it outside. Did my partner make it outside? Uh, give him a second. Give him another second. Give him another... I think he lost. We lost him. <laughs> Let me show you the cars while he finds a way out. So this is one of them, guys. I don't even know what make this is. It's a Mercedes. Mercedes AMG. And let me show you guys the other two. Police car. Lamborghini. Lamborghini, guys. Nothing is gonna mess with us with this one. And we got the police car Bugatti as well. So which car would you take? The Bugatti or the Lamborghini? The Bugatti or the Lamborghini? Or the Mercedes? You know, it's, we could go for the Mercedes. We're not gonna go for the Mercedes. I'm taking the Lamborghini. Come on, partner. Get in. We're gonna solve some cases today. You're gonna get in? You're gonna get... Can you even get in? <laughs> Bro, get in my car. There is literally a passenger seat next to you. Oh, what's that? You want to take the Bugatti? Fine, we'll take the Bugatti. Oh, my days. Lady, I gotta go and check this out. Oh, oh, she shouldn't be sleeping there. She shouldn't be sleeping there, guys. Not happy about this one, to be honest. Okay, lady, I'm gonna have to take you in. I'm gonna have to take you in, lady. Okay, my partner's going in. Excuse me, lady. Get down on the ground. You're coming in with us. Get down on the ground. I'm gonna go around, and I'm gonna cuff you. I don't know why we're doing this. I have no idea why I'm doing this. Should we let her go? <laughs> I think we scared her enough. Let's let her go, okay? We don't need her. It's fine. We can let her go. Let's go back in the car and find some actual stuff to do. We scared her so much. She was just sleeping. Hey, get in the car with a supercar police. Guys, I found the first suspect and he's in a Lamborghini. <laughs> get off the road, sir. Get off the road. Come on. Oh my days. He's so difficult to take in. We got helicopters on us as well. This is why we need supercar police officers. Get in there. <laughs> oh my days. I almost took out a pedestrian on the way. Stop. Stop in the net. Yes, you get him. You get him, officers. <laughs> what? 
How are you still alive? How is this one still alive? Oh my days. Okay, being a supercar police officer, you really need to be a good driver, guys. And I am not a good driver. Get off the road now. Get off the road, sir. Oh my days, dude. How am I supposed to get this person? Off the road, off the road, off the... No, 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 Come on, come on. Jeez, this is so difficult. Oh yes, we got them now. We got you now, dude. Get out of the car, out of the car, out of the car now. Get out of the car. I won't ask again. Get out of the car, sir. Out of the car. You've left me no choice. Get out of the car, dude. Oh my, you know what? Get him, get him, get him, get him, get him, get him. Yes, he's down. We did what we had to do, guys. We can confirm he's definitely been taken out. My partner can confirm that. You can go now. He's done. It's over. Let's get out of here, guys. <laughs> and wait for the next suspect. Listen, that was a very dangerous chase. And I don't want to be taking this Bugatti anywhere. I want to take the Lamborghini. This just looks beautiful. And if you don't want to get in, then that's your problem, dude. <laughs> you can take your own car for all I care. Are you going to get in the Lamborghini? Or are you going to stay in that Bugatti Veyron? Oh, yes, he's getting in. Oh, yes. <laughs> yes, guys. Right, we're taking this to the next scene. Oh, my days. I'm getting a call now. We've got to go to Polito Bay. Don't worry, because we're the supercar police. We'll be there in a second. Let's go. Now, I'm sorry. Sirens on. Everyone out the way. Dude, you just got in the way of a police officer. How dare you? <laughs> Is he even okay? Let me just double check on that guy. Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. You carry on with your day, dude. Just be careful. Super car police. Super car police. Super car police. Super car police. Everybody out the way. Coming through. We got a robbery going in Polito Bay. <laughs> Literally the other side of the map. We can go in the middle of the road, guys. And ain't no one gonna be in the middle. Oh. <laughs> Oh, oh, sorry. Are you okay? Yeah, he's fine. He's fine. I don't think they're okay. <coughs> Right, how are we gonna do this? The Polito Bay Bank. Last time I remember it was around here because we also did a heist there. Do you guys remember? <laughs> it was a pretty big one. We'll just keep that quiet between us though, okay? Don't tell them. Oh man, they weren't messing around. Check this out, guys. Oh my days, there's a lot of people around here, dude. I can't believe this. And the suspects got away? Are you serious? You literally set all of this up and they got away. I gotta speak to whoever's inside. Let me see who's inside. Is someone managing this operation? Excuse me, officers coming through. Guys, I don't know what to say. They've definitely left. Nobody is here. We've got some workers over here. Anyone through this door? Oh no. What happened to the workers? Come on. Please tell me you guys have got witnesses. You must have got witnesses. They even got into the vault. Yep. This is open. This is... Oh my days. Okay. This is quite a robbery guys. Good job. The supercar police is around. I don't know what I'm doing here. I need to find the suspect. That's our job. <laughs> my partner is eager to go and find him as well. This guy looks like he's in charge. They've got this place surrounded. Please tell me you know what's happened here. They took off with 10 million dollars and they drove off in Lamborghinis? Man, they must be so far by now. Yeah, I know. I know. These police cars don't catch up. Good job you got the supercar police team here. Good job we're here, guys. Now, where did I put my supercar police car? Supercar police? Don't worry, sir. I will find this Lamborghini. Let me ask these people. Do you reckon they've seen anyone take off in this direction? We just gotta confirm, guys. Hello, did you see uh, a supercar race down the highway earlier today? Yep, you did. Nice. Okay, that's good. We know they came down here, guys. They definitely came down here. We're on the right tracks. Mark my words. We will find them, dude. Don't worry. We'll find these guys. Let's go. <laughs> if we actually catch these people, I'm gonna be impressed and amazed, bro. You literally... What is up with that guy? Some people just can't drive. Ooh, let's check out down here. Don't worry. I'm the police. No one's gonna complain that I just broke that fence. Hmm, van over there. We got some more vans down here. I don't see any supercars, to be honest, guys. Nothing fast to me. Let me ask this person if he's seen anyone come down this way. Hey, excuse me. Have you seen any supercars around here recently? No. Okay. No. I don't think they came down here, guys. I don't know how much this guy would have seen anyway, but I don't think they came down here. I trust him. I trust him enough. Maybe that could have been the robber. Who knows? But uh, I believe him. I don't see any supercars. I don't see any guys. And it was a roundabout anyway, so it doesn't matter. Hang on a minute. There's a crashed car here. Whoa! Whoa! Dude! Excuse me! Oh my days. No, we got them. We got them. We got them. We got them, guys. Sirens are going on. Oh, man. They pretended to crash. Get off the road. <laughs> that was easy. Wow. <laughs> oh no, come on. You still want to try and drive off? <sighs> These people give me no break. Right, you know what? I'm going to try and go for the tires. We're going to give this a go. <laughs> Don't mess up. Get the tires. Get the tires. You've got nitro as well. Hey, stop right there. Stop right there. Stop right there, sir. Stop right there. I think it's a late. Yes, we got the tire. How are you still alive? We've got helicopters above. They're beginning to chase her. You're literally going towards the scene. I would not recommend. <laughs> oh my days. Another tire down. That's it. Now you're done. There is literally no way you're getting away. Oh my days. No, 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 no. Get back in. Get back in. Get back in. Don't let her get away. We're literally the supercar police. If we don't get her, no one will. You have left me no choice. But we had to take you out. That was the only way. With 
There was no way we could get him out of that car, guys. <laughs> but we got him! The robber! Only one of them, though. Does that mean there's another one around somewhere? Let me just check, guys. We're gonna go up there. They said there were two robbers, didn't they? So we found the first suspect around here, and the other one is definitely nearby. Maybe they took shelter in this shed. Just a theory, guys. Just a theory. Let me check, guys. Do you reckon there's someone in here? Do you think this is where they were hiding? Okay, so this is the female Lou. Anyone is through? Uh, no, I'm not going in there. We ain't going in there, guys. Don't worry. We're not gonna go that far. Come on. Mm, that window's open, and a pretty bad smell is coming out of that, guys. Not gonna lie. Whoever's in there is, uh, well, I feel sorry for anyone else in there. <laughs> oh, no, it's locked. Hmm, interesting. Hang on a minute. I can hear somebody around the back. Is that who I think it is? Please. Please tell me you found them. <gasps> what? What? We found the money. We found the money. I definitely heard someone around the back. Where did they go? Where did they go? Come on, we can't have lost them. We found the money and I've lost the suspect. Oh my days. Guys, you know what? Case closed. We got the money and the suspect can escape with his life. I have no idea where he went, but they fooled me. I'll give him that. They fooled me, guys. Hey guys, welcome back. How are you doing today? I hope you guys are doing well, just like every day. And today, we are playing as the owner of the prison. I know we did something like this three years ago, and I thought we may as well step this up a little bit and play as the actual owner of the prison. What we say goes, if we want to lock people up in solitary confinement, we can do that. But I won't because I'm a nice guy. <laughs> Unless I have to. Anyway, today is going to be a very stressful day. Being the owner of this prison is pretty difficult. Every single guard is under my command. Whatever I say, <laughs> they have to do. And this job comes with perks. I have one of these. So we can actually stand on the tower and, you know, if any prisoner escapes, then we can uh, zoom in and go bye-bye because we have the authority to take him out, guys. No one's escaping this prison. <gasps> Wait, someone's escaping over there. Guys, what's going on? <laughs> Bro, what are you doing? Bye. Uh-oh. Oof. That's what happens if you try and escape, guys. Do you want to escape my prison? No, that's what I thought. Don't try and escape. It's not gonna end well for you. <laughs> clean up at Tower 7. I repeat, clean up at Tower 7. And just like that, someone's already arrived on the scene. On the wrong side of the fence. Oh my days. What do I have to do? So before we start, I need all of you to read the emergency procedure. You never know what could happen today, guys. If there's a massive breakout, then everyone needs to understand what we do. So this is the emergency procedure. If there is an event of prisoners escaping, run for your life. That's literally what it says. You just run for your life, basically. That's all you gotta do, and then we'll deal with the aftermath later. <laughs> we'll blame it on the other guys, the other prison, the one you've never heard of. Oh, that reminds me. We got some new prisoners coming in today, and they've just arrived. How amazing. Right on time as well. Yes, 12.36, the exact time I gave them. Okay, let's go downstairs and say hello to the new prisoners. Before we greet the prisoners, I'm showing you guys a secret door, which I personally, and I'm saying this from the bottom of my heart, I actually didn't realize this existed, but since we're playing as the owner of the prison, I now know it exists. So you know, when it comes to escaping the prison, this might actually help us. <laughs> On this rooftop, right outside the entrance over there, next to tower A, is this. Authorized personnel only. Now this roof can only be accessed via this door. There's no staircase. There's no nothing to get up here. You can simply walk around there, look around there and stuff. Dream of getting here, but you can't actually get up here, guys. <laughs> in fact, this is so well hidden, but you can only get here through the actual police station inside the prison. That's right, police station? Yeah, I didn't realize there was one inside here either, but since we're playing as the owner of the prison, there is! We walk through here, and this is the authorized personnel only access, and if we go down this staircase, it takes you to a super secret police station inside the prison, which has been pretty useless up until now, because we've escaped this place at least a dozen times, and we have not encountered any police officers. There's even a guard here. <laughs> Yo, what are you doing? Stop bunking off, dude. Gotta help us out. There's a soda machine over there. Hey, they even got a prisoner over there. Why are you clapping? Yo, you're in prison. This is not a time to celebrate. Just be quiet and let them do your paperwork. Anyway, we got soda machine. We got a drawing room, a boardroom, everything else like that, guys. Authorized personnel only, though. You know, this is top secret stuff. This is what it looks like in the boardroom. Usual. Nothing too special. Yeah, looking through the files, etc, etc. Let's take a look down here, guys. <laughs> Have we got anybody in the holding cell? Now, this is where we put people in case we don't know if we should put them in prison or not. And there's usually a handful of them. You know, maybe they're from a different country or maybe we just don't know their name or maybe we lost their paperwork. Either way, this is where we put them in the holding cell. Do we have anyone inside here? Let's find out. <laughs> yep, I'm the owner. I can go in. Hey, what's up? How are you guys doing? Don't worry. I'm sure you'll be let out soon. So now you guys
guys have pretty much seen the entire prison. Let me show you guys the outside. So where does this go to? This takes you there to number 332. I didn't even realize it's a secret door. And check this out. If you try and go through here, you can't go back in. Oh, that's amazing. So it's like a secret passageway to the yard in case there is a prison escape or like a riot or something. Oh, that's amazing. I had no idea. This is the office. This is my main place. It's my residence. You know, we're inside the prison. We got to get an office to do all the paperwork and stuff. And this is the office. It's quite nice. We've only been held hostage in here twice. <laughs> Something we can do is send orders to all the prisoners. So let's say who's inside here that I don't like. I think we just recently got Trevor Phillips. So I'm going to just mention Trevor Phillips quickly. Hey, uh, Trevor Phillips, make your way to the toilets. It is now your time to clean the toilets. I want to be able to see my face in the reflection of the toilet bowl. Trevor Phillips, to the toilets. Your mop and cleaning stuff will be waiting for you. Yeah, I think that works. I think that's fine. <laughs> Can you see him? Eh, nah. No, I can't see him. He's probably in the toilets already scrubbing those toilet bowls. And we got bongos here, a champagne glass as well. I mean, come on, guys. It's the most stressful job being a prison officer owner. I mean, this is just... This is so stressful. Everyone looks up to you as if you meant to, like, spend the budget on the prison. So this is where we keep all of the prisoners. We have a few spare rooms over here. This is the gym where everyone does some working out and stuff. We got a few people in there. This is the canteen. How's it going, officer? Have a good day. And everyone seems pretty calm, apart from this guy. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I'm gonna have to ask you to relax. Wait, do I have anything else which isn't too lethal? <laughs> it's gotta be something. Let's see. Uh, no, not that thing. This thing. This thing will work. Excuse me, sir. Excuse me. I'm gonna have to ask you to stand down. You're dealing with the prison owner here. I'm gonna have to ask you to stand down. Why are you running into the chef's chef thingy? Why are you doing that? <sighs> okay, I didn't want to do this. I'm sorry. <laughs> I told you a million times to chill out. He was not chilling out. It's normal behavior for everybody else. I don't want to see a single foot out of line or else you're gonna get it. <laughs> and trust me, I am not messing around. Nice. Okay, so I'll be taking the bananas. I'll be taking the oranges. I'll be taking the apples. Oh, the bagels as well. And the sodas. Oh, this is gonna be a party in the office. <laughs> yeah, I'll take a burger. I'll just have to step over this guy. Hang on a minute. I can loot him. Do you have any contraband on you? Two resources. Hmm. Okay, that's just giving me a thought. I might need to check up on the cells and make sure no one has anything on them, which they're not meant to have. Who is it gonna be? Who are we gonna find stuff on? Is it you? <laughs> is it? Wait, what's this thing? What's this arrow? Why is it locked? I'll come back to that in a second. I need to get the keys to that cell. Okay, let's take a look. This one's... Oh my days. I need the keys. I... Okay, which cell door is open? Which door is open? How about this cell? Excuse me? Oh my days. What are you doing? What are you doing? You're using a tool you're not allowed. Get down. You're going down to isolation, sir. You're going there. <laughs> oh my days, dude. Okay, well, that's one person down. He had a power tool. Oh my days. People these days, huh? People these days. Excuse me, sir. Stop doing some yoga. This is a random search. Oh my goodness. Is that what I think it is? Dude, is you've got something under your bed. No, no, no. Okay, you're going down to isolation. How dare you? Why are you using one of those? Get down to isolation. Stop doing yoga. Stop. Stop. This is not cool. Going to isolation. Oh my days. <laughs> We knocked him through. Where does this go to? I don't recognize this. This should not be inside a cell. Uh, okay. Okay. Okie dokie. They, is this, is this what I think it is? Have they built a tunnel? Where is this? What? I'm so confused. They built a tunnel. How have we, for how have we forgotten about this? Where does this even go to? Is it down here or is it down there? I don't want to go back in there, to be honest. Oh my days. Dude, they've actually managed to make a tunnel to escape from. Okay, this is really concerning. I think somebody has actually escaped. So before I alert everybody else, I am going to get into a car and track this person down. You're not getting away, dude. Not like this. This isn't how it's going to work. All right, guys, I need every single one of you right now to keep your eyes focused on the surroundings. If you see anybody in an orange jumpsuit, suit and I need you to shout literally because I can hear you through this video. <laughs> so make sure you shout or just write a comment below. Oh, hang on. There's something over there. There's something orange. Oh, it's only a stop sign. So let's be real here. If he escaped, he's going to want to get a car. So maybe he came down here and grabbed a car from somebody. Okay. We just got a police chase. Uh, that's not him either. <laughs> he's not in a jumpsuit. Although to be honest, this officer seems pretty concerned. I'm going to join him on this chase. What's going on here, dude? What's going on, officer? <laughs> Is this the person we're looking for? Is he in an orange jumpsuit? Let's find out. I'm with you on this one. Let's try and get this guy together. All right, three, two, one. Pit stop. <laughs> Who are you? Oh, they're not the escape prisoners. Okay, I'll leave them to you, officers. They're your problem. <laughs> so the prison is over there. They're not going to go towards the prison. No way. Why would they do that? So they got to go away from the prison. I'm going to go this way. There's a scrapyard over there. That's the number one place to try and hide. I mean, think about it. No one's going to think the scrapyard. It's such a hidden place. All right, what do you guys think? Can you see him? There's a massive abandoned plane over there. That'd be quite a good place to set up camp. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. Hang on a minute. <gasps> 
Oh, no, he's not there. He's not there. Where is he? Where is he, dude? He could literally be anywhere around here. Wait, guys, do you see that? Did you see that? I think that's him. I can see him. I can see him. Oh, my days. Let's just use this quickly. That's him. That's him. Oh, my days. Okay, make sure we don't get spotted. I'm taking this guy in. Careful. 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 He's right there, dude. He is literally right there. Okay, don't make a noise. We've got to climb on top of this. Oh. Oh, did he hear that? I hope not. I hope not. Okay, let's just climb up on this thing. I didn't want it to come to this, but you're going down. Get him. Yes. Yes. <laughs> get him quick, 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 quick. Get him, get him, get him. You're coming in with me, sir. How dare you escape the prison? Don't try and resist. You're coming in. That was surprisingly easy. I got him in. He's going back to the prison. So how was your brief few hours of escaping, huh? <laughs> yeah, now you just got yourself like four years extra in prison. So uh, I don't know. That was a stupid idea on your behalf. But I got to say that mine was pretty impressive. <laughs> he built a huge tunnel. Dude, people would have loved to have heard that story, but unfortunately, they never will, because I'm not telling a single officer, a single guard, or a single person. You're gonna be the only person to live to tell the tale, and nobody is gonna believe a single word you say. <laughs> As for that cell, that cell is gonna be demolished. Greetings, officers. I'm bringing a prisoner in. Can you open the gates? I'm... No. Why is he walking away from me? Is he... What? Who are you calling? Oh, people these days. They're so slow to doing stuff. Okay, well, now you're inside the prison. Go back and enjoy the yard time. If you Go now, then I won't give you an extra four years. How about that? <laughs> oh, my days. Well, that was an interesting day, guys. <laughs> we got up to so much. We stopped somebody from escaping. We caught somebody who escaped. And we even did a search around the block as well. So, you know, I think you deserve to put your feet up, buddy. Da -da 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 da 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 Lamar, it's amazing to see you. Oh, my days. Guys, how has it taken me seven years to play as Lamar in GTA 5? <laughs> I can't believe it, dude. You're literally one of the best characters in the entire world. I have seen thousands of comments asking me to play as Lamar. And seriously, guys, I have no idea how it hasn't happened yet. But since playing as him, I have discovered so many secret things about Lamar's life, which I didn't know about and you guys didn't know about as well. He's building a house. He's got a Lamborghini behind him. Lamar has been grinding in his spare time. And let me tell you guys, Franklin's got nothing on Lamar. Lamar, I'm hyping you up, buddy. I'm basically your hype man right now. You know, look at Lamar, guys. I mean, come on. You don't want to mess with him. You know, he is so powerful in Los Santos. I got to drive this Lamborghini. It just looks beautiful. It's Grove Street Green, guys. Grove Street Green. And the interior is orange. No number plate because, you know, when you're working for Simeon, you want to make sure you can speed off without the police getting you. But let's get inside this thing. Oh, my days. Guys, come on. Lamar is so overlooked. I bet you guys don't even know where he lives in GTA 5. You know, where his original house was. Anyway, this is my street. Down there is Denise and stuff. And we once lived down this street, guys. We had a nice little house. It was okay. It was all right. But, you know, we got ambitions. We got goals. And I wanted to live near Franklin. You know, since Franklin moved, why not Lamar? Why not get him up to find wood? Let me show you guys the house. Oh, my days. It's literally just been built. And you guys are going to know where this is as well. If you go and check this out, you can say to yourself that this is Lamar's house. Lamar, you got to cool down. He is an insane driver. I'm actually scared to be in this car right now. Lamar, slow down. Oh, my days. Never again am I getting in a car with Lamar like that. Lamar, you got to chill out, dude. Guys, that was hands down one of the scariest experiences of my life. This is Lamar's house, guys. It's still under construction a little bit. Welcome, guys. Welcome. You're doing a great job. Why is everyone scared? Lamar, what have you done? Why are you... I'm not gonna do anything. I'm just here to check out my house. Alright, this is the house, guys. Well done, everybody. Amazing job. Amazing job, guys. You're doing a smashing job. So, I'm gonna show you the garage first, actually, because down in the garage is uh, a secret vault, which no one is technically allowed inside, apart from Lamar, but since you're watching, guys, and since you know, we're playing as Lamar. There is a bodyguard guarding this vault as well. Very important stuff in here, but this is exactly what Lamar has been grinding for. Let's go inside. <laughs> We got dollar after dollar after dollar after dollar bills, guys. Artwork. We got collectibles. Even jewelry, guys. You know, you name it. It's in here. Lamar has collected so much over time. And we're basically a multi-billionaire pretty much at this rate, guys. Thank you so much. You can lock the door. Don't let anybody in. Anyway, let me show you guys upstairs. Because, you know, it's still being built. I got to show you guys at least what has been built. So we got ourselves some furred carpets. Some money on the sofa and under the table. So when uh, Franklin comes over, I can finally tell him. Hey, Franklin, look who's born. 
falling as well. Next time you run into money, how about you don't leave me back in Grove Street, huh? Okay, going on downstairs, this takes you back down to the garage. But up here is a lounge, you know, dining room. Oh, hang on a minute, the kitchen's over here as well. We've got arcade machines because, you know, who doesn't like an arcade machine? Up here, though, guys, is one bedroom. I quite like it. You know, we can overlook the outside garage, the gate as well. Through here, by the way. Oh, my days. There he is. There he is, dude. When I gave away Chop, I really wanted to have Chop back, you know. But it was too late, so we got ourselves another dog. I present to you, Frank the dog. Come on, turn around. Give us a smile, Frank. Frank? No, it doesn't matter, guys. It's whatever. You know, he's a bit shy today. Anyway, this is where we do the meetings and stuff, discuss world domination, say what we're gonna do next, etc, etc. I gotta show you the warehouse as well. You're gonna be really impressed by that. But first, we gotta smarten up, guys. You know, it is a video after all. I wanna make sure Lamar is tip top -aroo. And speaking about tip top this is the ceiling of my house. You guys may have noticed this on the way in. We had an actual Apache helicopter, because why not? We're not really meant to have this, but you know, guys, it's Lamar. He's a legend. He just had to say, my name's Lamar, I'm a legend. So what do we decide to use today? Lamborghini or Apache helicopter? Lamborghini or Apache helicopter? Apache helicopter, we gotta take this. Be very careful though, Lamar. Please don't destroy Los Santos, you know? I don't wanna get a wanted level today, please, not today. <laughs> this is actually my first time flying this as Lamar. Oh, by the way, guys, I completely forgot to mention, we're pretty much neighbors with Michael. You know, so when he comes outside, I can wave to him and, you know, we can be best mates and talk about how annoying Franklin can be. Anyway, I gotta get myself a haircut. So what I'm thinking is going down to Bob Mullet. I mean, that's not too bad, right? You know, we kind of went bold. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry, Lamar. Well, look, you're gonna have to wait for it to grow back. Let's just get back into our Apache and fly away. I gotta show you guys our warehouse. You know, Lamar does have a business. It's a pretty good business. All right, time to take up. Just don't, don't, don't destroy the trees, please, Lamar. Oh, jeez. Oh, my days. Oh, my goodness. How on earth did this not destroy itself? So this is my business. I think it's a pretty good business. You know, it's a warehouse east of Los Santos, in case any of you guys want to come and check it out. It's got slidey doors. You know we've made it when we've got slidey doors. All right, open up the door. Thank you. And this is the inside. So this is kind of like the greeting area. You know, we've got to make sure they take their shoes off and stuff. I want to make sure there's no mud everywhere. Through here is the CCTV room. You know, we can check up on everyone. We got cameras in North Yankton, not in the warehouse. Did you not think about putting them in the warehouse, Lamar? <laughs> this is North Yankton. Oh, you have to sit in front of these. Okay, these cameras are actually inside the warehouse. That's pretty cool. Moving along, everybody, we got tons of collectibles. Uh, this is yet to be filled. We just did a, a shipping the other day. And then through here is the vault. <laughs> no one's allowed in here except for me because we got more money and gold. I actually didn't realize Lamar had this much money. Lamar, how do you have this much money? Please tell me. I, I need to know. <laughs> what have you done? This must be more money than even the president of Los Santos. This is mad. Anyway, guys, we got very important matters to handle. Franklin has never let it down. That me, Lamar. Look at his face, guys. I mean, come on. He's angry about this, even to this day. When we played tennis last time, I had a really sore wrist, and Franklin has never let it down for two years that he beat me by a landslide. So we finally need to give him a rematch, and since we're playing as Lamar, we gotta give him a rematch. So I'm calling him up, and we're playing some tennis, and we are beating him today. Wait, hang on a minute. I just got a text from Franklin. Bring one million dollars to the meeting point by midnight tonight, or say goodbye to Franklin? What? What? Oh, come on. In Lamar's video. Really? You got it? Oh, my days. Guys, we gotta say, Franklin, what would you do? Would you leave him? Would you? I I'm very tempted to leave him, to be honest. That's a million dollars. That's a lot of money. Yeah, we might have several billion, but the million is still a lot of money. The meeting point is over there. Oh, my days. That's so close to the airport. <gasps> I know where that is, guys. That's the abandoned warehouse. They must be keeping Franklin in there. So here's the deal. We might be a multi-billionaire, Lamar. I know. We got all the money in the world, but I don't want to give him a million dollars. They can do a lot of stuff with a million dollars. That's a lot of power, guys. Here's the deal. We're going to go in there, storm the place, rescue Franklin, and we're not giving a single penny away. First stop, ammunition, guys. You know we got to go there. We barely have anything on us. If we want to go in there and storm the place, we got to own everything. What's up, sir? How are you doing? Lamar, we got to stock up. Let's go. Thank you very much, buddy. Right, you know what we're going to do? We're going to do a little bit of target practice as well. Is anyone in there? We got loads of people in there, dude. We got time. We got until midnight. Here we go, Lamar. Don't mess this up. Let's see how good your aim is. We're going straight on the heavies, guys. Here we go. I reckon this one's pretty good. Challenge one. Hitting targets increases your score. Yeah, no way. Bullseye. 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 Really? 
Okay, we're gonna go ham. Oh, yes. Oh, my days. That was a terrible shot. Lamar, we gotta get better at this. Come on. Yes, bullseye, 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 bullseye. That's what we're talking about. Oh, we're missing. We're missing. There we go. Nice one. Oh, my days. We're doing good, guys. We're doing good. I think we've done it. I think we've done it. Smashing the score. Let's go. Let's go, guys. 6,000. I'll take it. That isn't too bad. Not bad, Lamar. Let's go for challenge number two. Here we go, guys. Say hello to my little friend. Boom, 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 boom. <laughs> oh, we're going silver, guys. We're going silver on this. Oh, we were 1,000 away from 40,000. You know what, Lamar? We're quitting, dude. You've done enough. You've proven that your aim is excellent. Franklin is going to be reassured that he is not going to get taken out tonight. Now we got to get some backup, guys. You know, we can't just go in blind. I gotta make sure we got some backup. If we want to save Franklin and make sure he's A-OK, -okay, we gotta make some friends. And I know just the person who's gonna help me. Trevor, you're coming with me, buddy. I'm gonna need your help. I'm really sorry about that haircut, Lamar. I did not mean for it to come out that bad. <laughs> Awesome. Thank you, Trevor. All right. Trevor is more than happy to spend time with me. Now, where do we meet up, T? Whereabouts are you? So, Trevor is meant to be just around here. Can you... Oh, there he is. I can see him. Hey, Trevor, get in the Lamborghini now. Come on, get in the Lamborghini, T. We got important business to do. Franklin has been taken. Oh, jeez. Put that away. We, we, this is Trevor. He's a friend of ours. Did you guys know that Lamar can hang out with Trevor? Exactly. I didn't know that either, guys. He is literally a secret protagonist. So, this is the location, guys. Inside this building. <sighs> Let's find out if they're right. If they're lying to me... And Franklin isn't in here, then I am going to be very annoyed. I'm just saying. Trevor, you're going to want to equip something for this. It's going to get very serious. Are you ready for this? Let's go. We're going to save Franklin. Mark my words, guys. Nothing is going to go wrong. Ding dong. Guess who's arrived? Your worst nightmare. Keep a very close eye on this. Franklin! Franklin, there he is. Oh, my days, dude. Okay, there's a lot of people here. Oh, my days. They're all looking at me. Well, uh, this is not how I expected to go. Franklin, I'm going to rescue you. I don't have the million dollars. Stop asking me for that. Okay, I'm just gonna walk out. I'll be back in here in a second. Uh, Trevor, there's a lot of them there. Do you have any ideas? I was not expecting to walk into that many people. Okay, you know what, Trevor? We're just gonna storm in and keep our fingers crossed that nothing happens to Franklin. I mean, at the end of the day, he'll just respawn, so it's all good. All right, guys, get on the floor now. That's what we're talking about, guys. Get down, get down. This is what you get when you try and get a million dollars from me for taking my friend. Damn straight. Do you want to leave? Get out of here. Get out of here, dude. Franklin, it's okay. We got them all. See? Well done, Trevor. Good guys. Congratulations! Oh my days, this is a mess. This is a real mess. Let's get Franklin out of here, dude. I'm telling you guys, don't take my best friend, ask for a million dollars, and run away when things get a little bit serious. Don't do that! Anyway, we better get out of here, guys, before they respawn and come back here after me. So, uh... Oh, I just realized it's a two-seater, isn't it? Well, Franklin was the one taken, but then again, we did just rescue him. All right, whoever gets in the car first gets to come with me. Franklin, congratulations! Let's go! Sorry, Trevor, we gotta go now. Have fun going back home. Okay, Franklin, clearly you can't be trusted by yourself. So I'm taking you over to Denise's and she can look after you tonight. No, you're not getting out of this, Franklin. You need to speak to her. It has been a long time and she always talks about you. Now this is the life. <laughs> <laughs> no parents, no rules, nobody to tell us what to do. An entire week of doing that, guys. We've lasted one day so far and I gotta say, this is pretty luxury. I mean, check this out. We order pizza. We can just throw things on the floor. Nobody to tell us anything. <laughs> Apart from Tracy. Wait, speaking of Tracy, someone's at the door. Tracy? Who's that? One second. Hey, Tracy, you know they said no one is allowed over unless we know them. Uh, do you really know this guy? I've never seen this guy in my life. Shut up, Jimmy. Wow. Really? Right. Okay, Tracy, you do your own thing. I'm doing my own thing. But he better not be crazy, and if he is, I'm not saving you. Let's go and watch some more TV. Actually, no. <laughs> I'm hungry. What is there in the fridge? What did he leave us? Some salsa, some mayonnaise. Ooh, just get the nachos out and we're already good to go. Oh, tango and Coca-Cola. I'll be having some of that. I don't really know how to cook, to be honest. Yeah, there's some orange stuff, some steak stuff, some hot sauce. Ugh, loads of vegetables and green stuff. Pfft, to be honest, I don't really know how to cook, so... Eh, any nachos around? Have you got any nachos, Michael? Doesn't really look like it. He's not, he's not the kind of nacho guy, to be honest. Uh, I'm gonna order some pizza. <laughs> Pizza ordered. Now let's go and annoy Tracy. Tracy! Tracy, what are you doing? What's going on in there? Can I come in? <laughs> hey, Tracy, it's me. It's Jimmy. No, I'm not going to go away, Tracy. Come on, let me... Okay, you know what? Screw you, Tracy. Let's uh, play some music. <laughs> I know just the right thing to play. And no one is there to stop us. Oh, this is perfect. This is the stuff, the heavy metal stuff. Hey, Tracy, are you annoyed at me yet? 
<laughs> no one's gonna stop us. Oh, wait, hang on. I think the pizza's arrived. Let's go and get the pizza. Hello? All right, I'm coming. I'm coming. <laughs> Don't leave with my pizza, please. Oh, hello. There you got my pizza. Uh, yeah, we're a bit hungry, guys. <laughs> How many do we get? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight pizzas. That'll last me the entire week. What? It's not my money. It's Michael's. Come on. Come on. Drop them inside. <laughs> Lovely. An entire week's worth of pizza. Or at least, to be honest... Let's be honest, guys. That's gonna last three days. <laughs> it's not gonna last any longer than that. I mean, if you were given eight pizzas, how long would it take you to eat them all? Uh, yeah, probably me three, four days. <laughs> right, Jimmy, let's go uh, Let's go and eat these. Hey, Tracy, I ordered pizza. Do you want some? Well, no, you're not allowed some. Order some yourself. <sighs> Let's do this, guys. What do we fancy doing first? Watch some videos, watch a movie, play some video games. We could do anything. We could literally do anything. Uh, I think we watch some TV. Let's do that first, Jimmy. Oh, we're knackered. I mean, have you ever seen three hours of those videos in one go? Oh, my days, my eyes. <laughs> oh, come on, Jimmy. Let's get you some wash and we'll go to bed. It's about time we get some sleep. Wait, hang on. The maid's still here. I didn't know the maid was still around. Hey, look, you can eat anything in the fridge. You can use the house as you want to. I won't tell them as long as you don't tell them what I'm doing. <laughs> Ugh, green juice, no thank you. Oh, by the way, if you want a pizza, help yourself. <laughs> Plenty to go around. Oh my days, Jimmy, hold on to something. Jimmy, are you okay? Get up, buddy. Hold on to the banister. We're on the stairs. This isn't a good place for an earthquake. Hey, Jimmy, just hold on to something. It's gonna be fine. Stay close to the wall. Close to the wall, buddy. It's just an earthquake. We're gonna be okay. Oh my days. An earthquake just happened. Did you guys see that? Come on, you must have seen that. That was crazy. Hey, Tracy, how are you doing? Are you doing okay? Yeah, you must be confused, just like me. Yep, she felt it too. Yeah, how weird was that? Hey, I'm going to bed anyway. I will see you in the morning. That was a crazy earthquake though, dude. I don't think I felt one that big before. Eh, it'll be fine. Let's get some rest. <laughs> Oh, Tracy, switch off the alarms. Switch them off, Tracy. Why do you want to be awake at this time? Oh, my days. Tracy, switch them off. Sw Tracy, oh, come on. Oh, what time is it? Have I been asleep long? My phone's on the desk anyway. Oh, my days. Tracy, you are so done. How dare you set alarms that early? Hey, Tracy, switch off the alarms. Come on. Give me a break. Uh... Tracy? Wait, hang on. The noise isn't even coming from here. Where's the noise coming from? Uh, oh, wait, is that the phone? I think that's the phone. And uh, there's definitely an alarm going off somewhere. In the toilet, maybe? Wait, it's coming from outside. The alarm's coming from outside. Oh, my days. All right, let's go and pick up the phone. What's going on? What's going on around here? Um... Michael? Amanda? Uh, what's going on, Tracy? Where are you, Tracy? Where are you? Did you get a new job I didn't know about or something? I need to know what's going on. Oh, she's got the radio on. And the maid's sitting down. Everyone okay? She doesn't sound okay. Hey, I'm gonna get the phone. I'm gonna get the phone, guys. Um, someone is clearly calling us. Hello? Uh, where, where is the phone? I don't actually know where the phone is in this house. Guys, does anyone know where the home phone is? <laughs> Everyone uses mobile now. I have no idea where it is. Well, there it is. All right, let's pick this up. Hello? You have approximately five minutes before a tsunami sweeps through a tsunami? low Tsunami? Are you serious? You high ground of 1, no way. Feet no, way. no, no, that, that can't be happening. From, from really, the, the earthquake last night, you're really telling me that now. It sounds like an automated message, guys. I don't think they're lying, actually. Hey, Jimmy, let's go and check outside. Yep, I believe them now. I believe them now. Hey, Jimmy, let's go back inside. Uh, oh, my days. Tracy, Tracy, where's your car? We need your car. We gotta go. Get away from that radio, Tracy. There is a wave outside. It's gonna flood the entire city. We gotta go. The garage. All right, go to the garage. Go to the garage. Follow me, Tracy. We gotta get out of here. Get in the garage. Tracy, get in the car. Get in the car now. Days, dude, I can't believe there is a wave on the way! Tracy, come on, get in, get in, get in, quick, quick, we are driving, we're getting out of here, guys. Don't look behind you, whatever you do, Tracy, just don't look behind you, we're getting out of here. Oh my goodness, there is no one around. How late are we to this? All right, go up here. What even is a thousand feet, guys? I don't even know what a thousand feet is. Um, observatory, yes, observatory's gotta make it in this tsunami. It's gotta make it, guys. Oh my days, this is scary. Oh no, everything's getting darker! No! It must be close, Tracy, whatever you do, don't look look behind you. Don't look behind you, Tracy. Don't do it. Oh, my days. Oh, gosh. Hey, Michael, how are those steaks coming along? Medium rare, remember? That's how we ordered them. <laughs> hey, Franklin, you got quite a jam going along. I might have to join in in a second. 
This is brilliant, guys. We're getting a tan. Look, we got a beverage over here. Michael's losing some gray hairs. Everyone's, you know, smiling. They're happy. This is great. Oh, I wish I could stay here forever. It kind of feels like the life in Los Santos didn't even exist. Ugh. Hey, Amanda, I think we better check up on the kids. You know, just see how they're doing. Just a little checkup or something, you know? Just find out what's going on. I hope they're not having a party. They better not be having a party. Dialing. 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 Jimmy, are you there? Come on, pick up the phone. You always have your phone on you. Mm, that's odd. I wonder why he's not picking up. Tracy! Tracy! Oh no, I've lost Tracy. Oh my days. Come on, she's got to be here somewhere. Tracy, come on, where are you? Tracy, come on, you've got to be around here somewhere. There's the car, guys. I haven't seen her. The moment the wave hit, I haven't seen her. Oh no, I really fear for her. Tracy, come on, you've got to be here somewhere. Tracy, Tracy, come on! No, no, guys, I, I, I can't find her. I don't hear her either. One second. No, I don't hear her at all. Come on, where could she be? Where could she be? Okay, maybe she swam to land. Maybe she did that, guys. I'm gonna give it a go. At least once we're out of the water, we can try and look back or something. Tracy! Tracy, where are you? Oh my days, this is crazy. I wonder what- I wonder what's happened to Michael and Amanda and those guys. Where did the tsunami hit them? I have no idea, guys. Oh my days. Jimmy, just get to land. It's gonna be okay. We'll find Tracy. I promise we'll find Tracy. I have no idea where she's gone. She could be anywhere. She could be the other side of the map for all we know. Oh man, I don't want to lose my only sister. I, I know I annoy her a lot, but you know, she's my sister. Come on, Tracy. Tracy, are you here? Did you make it? Did you make it? I'm just hoping to find Tracy somewhere around here. Tracy, come on. Come on. No, don't do this to me, Tracy. No. No, this can only mean one thing. She's in there somewhere. Tracy! Say something! Anything! Nothing. I don't hear anything, guys. Just thunder, lightning, and rain. Oh, my days. Guys, we might have lost Tracy. I'm not giving up yet, though. We're not giving up yet. Wait, no, I thought that was somebody. It's just a post. I'm gonna get up this road. Maybe there's some base or something. Maybe someone knows what we can do about this situation. There's got to be someone who can help. My sister is out there in the tsunami somewhere. We've got to find her. Oh, yes. She sent me a text. Help. I'm stuck on a building. Which building? Which building? That one. It's got to be that one. It's the closest one I can see. Right. I'm going to go to the observatory. Do you think I can save her, actually? No. I'm going to get some help first. Tracy, just to hang on in there. Hang on in there, Tracy. She's okay. She's okay. As long as the water doesn't rise anytime soon. We've got to get there quick. We've got to get some help quick. Come on, Jimmy. Run. Run faster. Run faster, dude. Your sister is out there stuck in the tsunami. Hang in there, Tracy. You're going to be okay. Yep. It's got to be that building. Oh, no way am I swimming to that. It's either that building or that one, guys. I didn't see any other buildings around here. No way could she have gone downtown Los Santos. She wouldn't have made it that far. Come on, someone up there has got to help me. We just need a boat or a helicopter or anything which will help us get her. There's got to be something. You guys must have something, please. Yes, someone is there. They barricaded it, guys. Yes, we might be in luck. This looks like a base. We're beginning to see a couple of people. Keep on running, Jimmy. Keep on running. Guys, it's an entire base. They must have planned for this way in advance. Hey, hey, does anyone have a boat? Anyone? Guys, my sister is out there stuck in the tsunami. I need something to rescue her. Does anyone have a boat? Hey, you guys, do you have a boat? Hey, excuse me, officer. My sister is stuck out in the tsunami. I need somebody to help me. Oh, no. Yay, he's helping me. Hello. Oh, thank you so much. You know where there's a boat. He's going to get me one now. Oh, my days. You are a lifesaver, literally. Right, let's go and get Tracy, guys. Yes, there she is. There she is. Tracy, I'm here. It's me. It's Jimmy. Get in the boat. I got your text. Quick, Tracy. There isn't much time. This is rising as we speak. Oh my days, dude. Uh, I don't want to get out of this boat. Hey, Tracy, you're gonna have to jump. Oh gosh. All right, I'm gonna try and park this on the building. I don't want her to jump and get stuck in the water, guys. That would be even worse. Right, Tracy, now, now is your chance. On the next wave, you need to jump in. All right, three, two, one, and come on, jump, jump, jump. Yes, we got her in. And sit down, and we're gonna leave on the next wave. Let's go. <laughs> Yay, we saved her. Jimmy, you did something amazing today. Tracy, I'm so glad you're okay. Part of me really did think that, you know, we lost you, but we didn't. You're still here, and you're still in one piece. Let's get you up to the base. <laughs> Let's get you some food, Tracy. Guys, check this out. They got so many people here. What are you doing now? Wow, they must be planning something big. 
big. Hey, all of you guys, you're doing a great job. Keep saving people. You're doing amazing. Anyway, guys, on that note, I'm going to end the episode here. We saved Tracy. We made it through the tsunami. And I gotta say, considering we're playing as Jimmy, he did pretty well, guys. So if you enjoyed the episode, smash that thumbs up button and subscribe as well. It's free and you won't miss out on stuff like this on a daily basis. And if there's anything else you want to see me do in GTA 5, comment your idea in the comments below. And to never know, guys, your idea might make it into another video. But check it out, guys. Los Santos is completely flooded. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. My name is Nort, and I will see you guys next time. Thank you so much to these amazing people for becoming a member of the channel. If you guys would like to have your name randomly selected and featured at the end of every video just like these amazing people, then press the join button just below this video and become a member of the channel today. And feel free to watch another video. There's two on the screen right now. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys soon.